Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Which today I'm scared. I'm scared today because I'm going to the hailing tree, and I've already noticed there's a lot of people. Sort of looks a lot like cackling going on in the chat. Lots of I definitely say mean spirited cackling. At the something, suffering. Something breaking your soul. Yeah, I, I saw mention of breaking my soul. That's true. So I'm, I'm mildly concerned about the possibility of what I'm, uh, what I'm walking into today. So, yeah. Yeah, today's, today's going to be interesting. I don't know, I've, I've no idea precisely what a healing tree is or why it's there. Or anything, but we're going. We're gonna figure it out. Damn it! Say hello to me, by the way. We just go to. Hang on. <laughs> just go to wall one. Set set things up correctly. Yes. Now there we go. Say hello to me. Just a quick uh, reminder who I am. So yes, I'm John. I do. I I do a blend of uh, yes, swordiness and maginess. Uh, so yes, those are my current stats right there. Vigor up to 53. At this point, mine 48. Intelligence up at uh, 75. Uh, so I think like, yeah, 80, like, like 60 is one of the caps, then 80 is another cap, and then you get real diminishing returns. So at this point, honestly, probably I'll just keep putting Vigor up towards 60 at this point. Maybe a tiny bit more mind uh, uh, as well. My current loadout, uh, yes, involves a whole bunch of, uh, bits and pieces. To be honest, I might replace the Ice Storm with the Meteorite if I can justify fitting them together. We'll have to see. Um, so yes, that's, that's where I am. This is my current, I don't think the characters changed much since the last time I did the stream. If you heard the last stream, you know roughly what's, uh, going on. So yes, Perceptor's Big Hand gives me a little bit of extra mind, which is lovely. Beyond that, yes, this is just the best combination of gear that gives me both good resistances and a cape, which is very important. Moonveil plus 10, Kari and Regal Scepter plus 10, Kari and Night Shield plus 8, because why the cock not? Uh, Gold Scar, Bradigan Icon, Scar, is there. Stargazer, and uh, Graven Mass Talisman is currently equipped. Together with, yes, a whole bunch of various summons at plus 9 or plus 10. I like all these guys for uh, for different reasons. They're, they're useful. So, alright. There we go. This is, uh, this is fine. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay, aside from the fact we're all going to horribly die. Uh, so yes, the hating tree is way over here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look that big. I mean, like, compared to, like, you know, other areas around here, the hating tree looks pretty small. Though, interestingly, yes, it's got, like, like, towers? Did it used to be a tower before someone drew, like, grew a tree out of it or something? Oh, it's Michaela's hailing tree. Was Michaela the woman in the egg? There's too many cocky people. There's too. There's, this game has too many men whose name begins with G, and too many women whose names begin with M. All right. I want a mod that just changes everyone's name to be more memorable. Steve. Like and yeah. Gary. That would be fine if there was only one person with like you know that that particular name. I'd be I'd be so okay with that. Um. So okay, we've got just charge a comment. Can you be one shot by a comment, buddy? Yeah, okay. How about you? Could you be one-shotted by a great glintstone shard? Two-shotted. That's probably the most efficient way of uh, doing it in that case. So, yeah, there's just weird... I'm not sure what they're supposed... I, I call them snowmen. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. But there's weird-ass snowmen around. I saw these guys in the city. I'm not really sure what their, their deal is. Just drop down. Sacramental butts. Don't re oh, there's there's oh there's a big lad over there. That's a big one. Okay, so we're just we're just oh don't don't fall off the tree because of random bits of scenery. That would be bad. Yeah, they're just they're just snowmen who play horns and blow bubbles at you, but like in a really bad way. You're a big one. You're quite a large one. I'm gonna charge a comet at you. You're clearly a big lad. Okay, uh, one, two. And another one should take care of you. Okay, three charged comets take out the bigger ones. That's not so bad, uh, to be honest. Just, just don't be quiet. I'm just going to slightly, slightly adjust the audio levels. Claire! Uh, Michaela is the uh, the man who was cursed to eternally be a child and then was kidnapped by Mog. Was she in the egg, yeah? yeah. 
Uh, yeah. In the egg. I don't know. I think in the egg. The problem, John, is there's several people in eggs Ooh. in this game. What? Who's the other? What? Who else is in the egg? Wasn't the, the person who, like, uh, uses tears to reset you? She had an egg. She All was right, hugging fine, it. Fine. And I think she made you come out of the egg. But, like, okay. the, the, the mechanics of it were very unclear. So, okay, there's, like, someone's built, like, actually, you know what? Look at that. That looks like a nice summer home down there. Like, you know, nice greenhouses, canopies. Mm. I wouldn't, you know, that's nice. I mean, that looks like a lovely place to live. And yeah, there's the, the outside bits of tower that we saw. Let's just get some advice if we can. Here, says somebody, suggesting this is important. So I'm guessing, yeah, you probably can't make... Actually, it feels like you could make that. Maybe with a bit of cotton wool, you could make that drop. But let's let's just explore, careful like. We now know we you know we know we're in bad bad area right now. One, keep charging. And oh blimey, what the hell is your deal? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Don't stop doing the thing. There we. That was completely an accidental dodge. Also, where did where did you just go? And he just flung himself off a cliff. <laughs> Possibly just flung himself off a cliff. There, not a hundred percent sure. So we're going to go to here. I'm not sure whether they can see up or not. Oh, there's ants. There's ants here as well. Okay, it feels like if we go down this branch, that'll take us towards... I mean, let's just go towards the center in the long run. And also try to avoid falling. So honestly, I feel like a ranged character's got like a pretty good advantage here. <laughs> which is I can hit people without having to actually go up to them. And I don't, I'm not relying on dodge rolling so much because otherwise problems so yes there's there's the there's the big tree that's on fire i'm not sure how i didn't see this tree from a distance it appears to be the same size as the elden tree or uh, sorry the earth tree broadly that's so, right if i'm in range this should be or i'm not okay uh loretta's great bow test how strong these ants are and yeah just charge it fully Okay, uh, almost a one-hit kill. And can you even make it to me, buddy? Can you even make it to me? We try and do. So oh, oh, you can do. You've got spit. Okay, well that's fine. It's an ant. Yeah, it's it's a giant ant. We've seen them before. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like a real small ant. Do that with the butts as well. What they spray you with? Acid, yeah. Do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like every ant or just some ants? I mean, I'm assuming that they have like different levels of like venom or whatever, but. Or, I mean, I don't know, toxicity, because it's generally a defense mechanism of ants. Sweet. Yeah. You've just gone exactly off in the wrong direction. Where's the other one? I'm just going to wait for you, and as soon as he's around the tree. How did you miss that shot, you cocky, useless bastard? Go. There should be a one-hit kill, with the benefit of, yeah. With the benefit of this, that's going to be a one-hit kill. I wonder where the other ant's gone, to be honest. We'll just go hunt him down, that'll be fine. How's everyone down in the chat, Claire? Yeah, everybody is uh, good. We've had, uh, of course, a message from the book 778 to kick us off as ever. Who gave us yeah. five pounds. And says Thursdays are my favourite day of the week because I get to hang out with you guys for a few hours. I, I mean, I don't know that that's going to be John's favorite day this week because of this damn tree. Yeah. Um, but the hanging out part is always fun. We get you from here, darn it! Something's in the way. Sorry, I was, I was, I was, I was taken, I was taken, but I was ambushed by a man with a giant with a big horn, as as happens sometimes on occasion. Right, Whoa. get round over to here and then just spam the comment in you. Okay, that's you dead. I see. Oh. Get away from you. Oh, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be painful. One, two, one. Okay, uh, you know what? How about we just get oh blimey. How about we just get out of here and have a little uh drink in a second? You know, I really shouldn't have both my flasks on the, the Y shortcut. I should have one flask on the Y shortcut and one on just the X bar, just have that set all the time. But that would actually be fine. Uh, go, go, take them both out, roll forward. Right, clear. Okay, this is yes, this is a this is a difficult area to to, to work with. 
I, I would say. And you are, I'm once again, okay, I'm gonna need to change my distribution. I'm going through magic a little bit fast at the moment. And I'm sorry you did not need a second one for you. There's a couple of, oh, there's a big plant up there. Might be a different variant, I'm not sure. All right, this is, this place is a bit of a weird old mage, but I need a maze even. Though I do need, yes, my big, my big spells for you, buddy. I want you back over here. It's quite pretty when the when, it, when the daylight comes in. And one and two and the third comet will take care of you, buddy. Done. Oop! Ow! 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 They do hurt mine. Okay, well I've got plenty of health potions. When we get to the tree, there'll presumably be a new point to top up so that's fine uh go back over to basic shard two will take care of you and then oh there's there's more than two there's there's plants up here just the one plant i think this was a different oh hang on someone's blowing a pipe i think it might be okay if i loop around this way this is okay i'm, I'm i've already been this way haven't i well then who's blowing the pipe because i would have seen them but hey Okay, hang on. I need to. Oh, do I? And wait, I don't need to make that jump, do I? No, I just need to loop round to the to the top of the. Okay, I'm not sure. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Ali who gave us five pounds. Hello, Ali. Uh, and Ali says I bring chivalry news. Ah, yes, we've got the really big update coming soon. Uh, yes, and Ali says I took part in the public test. Horses are fun, but difficult to get because right now they're in high demand. I mean, understandable. And also, easy to kill. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Um, I've also got a message from uh, Jake. Junk jumping a little bit forward in the messages because this is relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake gave us $20 and says, Hello, John, Claire and Tabby. I managed to beat Elden Ring re recently. I'm watching past streams, but I managed to catch you live. The Helix Tree almost ruined my opinion of the game. So Lol. I'm just hoping John has a better experience. Oh dear. Yeah. I'm seriously, where the cock is this guy? He's he's up top from there. So why is he behind the tree? Is is that you? This oh oh oh, oh no! The plant's about to do thing. That means plant's about to do solar beam. Detected me from a very long way away, buddy. That was a very, very long, long shot. Okay, I need to, I need to get up to him, and I'm a little bit concerned that the only way to do so is to do a, a terrifying do jump. So we'll have to we'll have to have a think about that. You apparently, oh, what are you about to do? You're about to do your thing again. I think you are. Yeah, you are. Okay, roll because totally be really cocking hurts. How much have we just hurt you? I think we completely missed. In fact, great. Uh, yeah, I assume you do nothing but solar beam. Uh, are you about to do so? Oh, yeah, you do you, you do nothing but solar beam. And when you lean up... Okay, the branches are very in the cocky way. Uh, you've got pretty good perception for a plant. None of you guys are not... Oh, that's doing nothing. Okay, and also, yeah, the moment you lean up, the cocky branches get in the way. Very irritating. The only way to get up to you is going to be to loop. Hang on. Up to here. From a here, if I was to go, okay, if I jump down to. Really hope this is a survivable fall. Because, ah, oh, there's. Okay, well, it would. It, 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 life would be much easier if, that, if if I hadn't just walked straight into a. No! No, no. Didn't rest there. Oh, there was. There were more ants around the back, actually. Uh, okay. Now, ow! Okay, that really, really, really hurt, actually. That hurts a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, didn't realise I hadn't cleared this branch. Lots of ants. Also, I've got no magic, so I couldn't use the uh, transient moonlight. But this will get me to here. Problem is, I'm a little bit concerned the plant's going to detect me. But if it all it can do <laughs> is solar beam... Yes. A uh, shout out to Sir Roderick Quincy Fonts on the bottom of the Magnificent Hiking of Australia. Who wants to know, is that, um, is that Alola Executor? Ow, ow. Uh, ooh, 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 where? The palm tree? Palm tree. Yeah, That's the a palm, palm tree. thing that you've been fighting. Oh, yes. I suppose it does do a bit of a stretchy neck thing. 
You didn't you didn't indicate what you were referring to. Because I thought it was obvious. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh it's I'm sorry. If it's not a Smoliv, John doesn't I care No anymore. no Pokemon matters to me apart from Smoliv, it's true. Uh-huh. Fuck off. You know what? I'm willing to accept. Uh, I'm willing to accept uh, the the Scarlet Rock. I don't care anymore. We'll sort. Of, we'll, okay, I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, infantry, go. Bolluses, activate the bolus. Uh, okay, I just need to stay out the way of him. Uh, now, in fact, you know what? Fuck you, buddy. You can't dodge. <laughs> You survived that. Well done. Go in for an attack! Go! Right, there we go. What if there was a reason to kill you? I'm 100% convinced there was. Poison Bloom and Miranda Powder! I don't know what Miranda Powder is or does. Uh, okay. Well, he's dead now. That's the important thing. Plus, I, I just enjoy using uh, Comet Azure on enemies that can't dodge. Always a good time. Okay, careful. Careful. Don't fall off. This you this better be worth it. I've come a long way to get this. It's okay, don't don't read the message. Oh, it's a so a, sto a stone sword key, which is okay. Can I ride my horse? I can't ride my horse on the tray. That's that's reasonable and also probably for the best. I feel like the game's actually doing me a mercy uh, on that occasion. I feel like the game letting me uh, yes do my. Oh hello. Sorry, I didn't realize you were over there. Uh, one, two. Right, that's you, Dana. What about a hundred thousand right now? What do I need to level up? One, three, nine. Ah, you know what? I'll probably be at that in no time at all. Let's get over two here. Careful, up the. Hi! Didn't see you. There we go. I just well, fortunately you didn't see me either. Also didn't see what I just picked up because I was distracted by the plaid that nearly killed me. Uh, because I didn't see him. Right, drop down. Round to here. I feel like I've cleared all this. This is good. So we're now moving. Well, aside from the fact I jumped down onto a different... Ah, this will be the branch I fell down onto earlier. So I've already cleared the two ants that were on here. Right, be wary of group. Oh, that's a concern. When I see there's groups of snowmen people... I mean, one, two, one, two. Burning through. Ah, hang on. What's, is this the same branch as I was on before? Okay, well, I see there's a, dis there's a different distinct branch. At least one group of ants is dead. We're, we're, we're approaching the tree. We're coming up to the tree. I think, okay, that must be the branch I fell down onto from above. And then I took a left to get over to here. This must be, use the map. Okay, that must lead back towards where I started, because, yeah, this is clearly a different angle. So, go over to here. There might be something else on these branches, potentially. Oh, it's a big lad. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's... That, is that a bigger lad than I've seen before? I'm concerned it might be. More golden rooms. You feel big and important, and I don't 100% like you. Okay, you know what? We're going to Terra Magica. We're gonna do my last drink. In fact, you know what? Screw it. I'm I'm doing the infinite magic potion, and then we're going to Comet Azure your ass! You can't tame this up, can you? No, you can't. Oh fuck. Uh Comet! Go! 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 I'm out of rage! Go! He went down anyway. It it worked in the end. Everything worked in the Why did you do the Magic top up potion just before you actually did that. Never mind. All that. Ooh. And I, I, I do enjoy a new hat. I never use it because I enjoy. I, I really like my existing hat. Yeah, but I always, I always enjoy fantastic. seeing a new hat. Uh, he, what do you do, buddy? Uh, raises. Ooh, raises the potency of bubble based skills. Okay. What's a bubble based skill? Uh, like Oracular Bubble. There's like a, various spells that have like bubble stuff. Some of them are actually okay. Some of them are actually pretty good. Uh, we can. Oh, if I just charged that, we could have killed you easy. Uh, okay, go back over to Great Glenstone Shard. Uh, take the left hand branch. Make sure we don't turn too early, fall over, and die. 
This tree has definitely got, yeah, Scarlet Rot signs going on, doesn't it? Because it's got Scarlet Rot infested plants. And, ooh, Dappled cured me. Very fancy. Uh, and, yeah, there's these mushrooms and stuff. So, okay. Up to this point, the Scarlet Rot was kind of limited to Kaled. So, this tree's presumably connected to the war that was fought in because there was a war and the war was settled only when the scarlet rot was unleashed on Kayla, which kind of won it by default it was a big bio nuke this is the only other place we've seen it speculation either this is where the person who did that came later or where they are from originally all right Get the sword out, because we're almost out of magic, so I'm going to run dry on magic. So, okay. We've cleared the opening branches. We can now move towards the center and hopefully find a new uh, site of grace to top up the potions. So, all right. Just shield up, because there's no reason not to have shield up. You never know when the game's, you know, going to be a dick and just uh, attack you. There's okay. Yeah, like, like right there. Like, right there, there is an extreme range. Ow, 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 ow. That really cocking hurt. Okay, that's... It's, it's long-range bubble man. Long-range bubble man is doing long-range bubbles. I might just need to... Okay, if there's cover, I can run between cover. Otherwise, I might just need to roll through it. Um... I feel like you just auto-see me. And you're way out of... You're way too... Okay, bare minimum. We can clear some stuff out the way. Um, so I can make a clean run. Because I'm guessing if... Yeah, you just... He's just... what Some, some enemies are just like programmed to auto-see you at extreme range. Like the, the golem archers do this sometimes. Alright, we're just going to have to run. Um, bubbles are magic, presumably? Alright, this is... Oh yeah, the Lake of Rot! I forgot about the Lake of Rot, but people said the Lake of Rot was below Kaled, so I kind of assumed you just kind of like seeped down into the groundwater, and that's what was going on there. Okay, this shield has got good magic resistance. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to accept a tiny bit of bubbling to test the, the effect of the shield. That was not bad. You know what? I well, Then again, I ate one bubble, and Top up the health to max right now. Alright. Let him stop blowing and then we're just going to run. If we can get below him, he won't have a sh Why is he still firing? Now he's just firing permanently. Oh no. Now is he stopped? There we go. Now he's stopped. Alright. Go, 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 go. Shield up. And... Then we just roll. Roll! Ow! Completely flunked the roll. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. Roll. 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 Got that. Straight through. Ignore the plant. We're probably below the guy now. I'm hearing bubbles being cast. So this, oh, what the... I just got a charge back. I'm like, wait, I got three charges back in my magic. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> who, who did that? Okay, well, there's a ladder here by the loot of it. I mean... Sure. Alright, just slide down. It's all fine. I seem to have made it past terrifying man. Possibly I could have just... Oh, hello. Cool lever. Oh, well, that's a shortcut for later. So we're going down. That's that's the direction we... Oh, hang on. That's a special one, isn't it? Shortcut ahead. Oh, no, that just means someone who's got the same thing as me. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Yes, we made it. Alright, so we've beaten the Halig Tree. Uh, first time Sue Tony Silent Assassin. Uh, I'd say that's pretty much all there is to the Hailing Tree. I'm... Claire's looking at me suspiciously. Like, she doesn't believe that's all there is to the Hailing Tree. <laughs> well, I believe you don't believe that's all there is to the Hailing Tree. No. How many slots does this use? And how many slots does Mega Mega Thing use? Uh, Meteorite. Yeah, Meteorite of Astel. The ultimate Meteorite. I wouldn't mind having ultimate meteorite. I did, I did do a bit of testing with this. Like, I feel like if you can get right up to an enemy and then, like, you know, just unleashed on top of them, it can be really good. Uh, but I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. Uh, do I want to change my flash distribution? Also, do I have enough? Already? Oh, wow! Flash charges at maximum! Okay! That's... 
I cannot be- Okay, I've ma my flask is maxed. My flask is now maxed, but 7-7 seven, seven. apparently it doesn't go any further. Alright, so that's interesting. I could have sworn I still had... Uh... Spare McJibbles. Also, I'm just carrying around an eyeball. At some point, I run to that woman again and give her the next finger break. Great, because she, she really wants to eat eyeballs. That's that's just what she wants to do. And and who am I to stand in the way of her dream of eating eyeballs? Uh, golden rune. I've got so many golden runes. I'm going to get up to. Yeah, I'm going to level up now. Uh, so I need I need to get up to. If I hit 140, we're fine. Clap. While well, I just uh, arrange that. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jake, who's been a member for 25 months. Hello, Jake. Uh, and says two whole years of being fancy green. Also, my birthday was yesterday. There is far too much cake. Everyone have some cake, please. And thank you. All right. If only we could have the cake, Jake. I'd love the cake. Cake now sounds good. Would you like a slice of that lemon cake we have in the fridge? I think I opened it and forgot about it. And now it's gone a bit not good. Has it? I think so. When did you have it? I can't remember, but long enough ago that I can't remember, and it says on the packet that you're supposed to keep it in an airtight container after you've opened it, which it didn't, because I didn't read the packet after I opened it. I just put it back in the fridge. I mean, I literally ate some of it, like, yesterday or the day before, and it was fine. And you don't appear to be dead. Yeah. Maybe I'll have some later. Uh -huh. I think I'm just over the right. Yep, I am. I have got, wow, spot on. Um, okay, let's take Vigor. Up to a little bit more. Let's get Vigor up to 50 at the bare minimum. Then I might take a little bit more mind. Those are my unadjusted stats, obviously. The stats you saw earlier were my adjusted um, stats with all equipment, etc. Yes. Also, happy birthday, Jake. Sorry happy we birthday, Jake. distracted Jake. by the cake. I think cake discussions are exactly the right thing to do on a birthday. Yes, but, you know, also happy birthday. No horse ahead, suggesting you probably can. Oh, oh, well, hello. Hi. Who, who, who are you? Oh, it's just you guys. Oh, you cute. Oh, did oh, what, how, how are you staggering me? Okay, that's surprising. I thought I was trying to do a, a counter parry, but there was I don't know if he, he hit me he, like he did so much poise damage I was staggered backwards and couldn't do the like you know the quick thing. Okay, so them little gargoyles are going to be around. First off, up. Okay, go up first. Fine. They'll also check behind you first, always. Look for, oh, hi. Don't mind me. Just got to get behind you, stab you in the arse. Right, there's little, there's little gargoyles who are praying. These are misbegotten, aren't they? Little weird demon angels. I think they're called misbegotten, someone said. So, all right, we're going to go up first. Grace ahead, yeah, go up. Well, there's Grace just behind us too. So go up first. So yeah, that means probably the correct way is through there in the uh, flipping elven building. It looks very elven, doesn't it? That kind of looks. Yeah, that, no, that, 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 that looks like um, what's it? Rivendell. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to remember the name. I was thinking like Rivendale, River, River. I was, I was actually thinking Riverdale. It's like no, that's that's a TV show. Well done. <laughs> Comic book. Well done, that guy. It's a spin-off of like Archie, isn't it? Which I've also not read. Yes. Okay, I feel like the best thing I could do is take is just hit these people from afar. Hello, hi. How tough are you? Not very tough. Okay, this mushroom people. Uh, and I feel like I could just oh, hello, hi. You decided to all come here by yourselves, did you? Right, that's two of you dead straight away. And then jump attack because it's heavy attack with none of the wind up. Okay, cool. So that's all them dead. Then there was a misbegotten at the top, and then that was the jump back thing. If there's one thing I hate, it's the tapping B makes you do a jump back. That's killed me more times than I care to admit. Uh, okay. We've got you, buddy. So now it's just a... You're a bigger misbegotten. I swear your wings look bigger than some of the others. Hello. Right, okay, and... And there's... Oh, what the... Wait, what? Who... Where'd you come from? We all saw him just pop into existence, right? Oh, shit, are they invisible? Are they invisible enemies? Because he was not here. He was absolutely 100% not here. All right, I, absolutely he was not. And what are you? Is that one of the, the, the standy uppy lion people? Like the, the, the big... Actually, they're called misbegotten too, so that would make sense. Wow. Uh, what? 
The chat is discussing whether I am in fact a ghost Claire or zombie Claire because of the cake and she would have noticed if I was. Uh -huh. um, Paul says, uh, new indie game, Claire was here. You play as a YouTuber who slowly realizes that his video editor has been a ghost the whole time, uh -huh. having died of expired cake and all cards being called clubs. Also, did you do something to the video last night? Because there were some very suspicious comments about that. <laughs> so anyway... I'm going to dig into this later. Right, <laughs> yes, as you were saying. Ooh, Peldrake Talisman, plus yes, two. Yes, the cake should be totally fine, Paul. I, I mean, I think the cake... It, I think it must say, like, put it in an airtight container if it's to go in the cupboard. But I think we beat that by putting it in the fridge. It's fine. Okay, this is interesting. Vastly boosts non-physical damage negation, which would imply if I'm going up against, say, magic or something later. Okay, remember I have that. That could be a useful talisman under the right, you know, under the right circumstances. Because that talisman is straight up uh, potentially, yeah... Uh, you know, if, if someone's spamming spells at me. In fact, that would have been really good against uh, Renala. I just... Because I've already... That's the third one I found, and I didn't really think about it. Uh, but that would have been really useful. Was that corpse? Oh, yeah, that corpse was always there. Right, reset everything, because now I'm going to go straight on. Uh, John. Yes. Uh, folks are saying the game's a little loud. Is it? And okay. they're struggling to hear me a little bit. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Hello, let's just take you out, then we'll adjust the volume. Hi! And shoot dead, yeah. You can knock those guys out. If you can get them mid-jump, they're very... It's very easy to take them out. Right, we're just going to slightly lower the volume. Sorry, I thought I'd adjusted it, like, in the game settings. So that should be a little bit quieter now. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Claire. Uh, Lauren chat says, The reason for airtight containers in the fridge is also sometimes just to keep it from absorbing all the smells and getting stinky. This sounds like... This sounds like big Tupperware propaganda to me. <laughs> Why is tup Tupperware's a fun word, isn't it? What's the etymology of Tupperware? Oh, hello. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming the etymology of Tupperware is somebody in a branding team who was, like, smart and came up with Tupperware. It's a plastic tub. They weren't that smart. I mean, it's a good brand name. You just said it was a good word. It's a fun word. That's been it's actually necessarily good... Uh, well, it's a fun word, and and, uh, and you're about to try and use the ladder, buddy. Uh, I swear dear, there was an invisible dear. guy. Okay, you know what? They, they don't seem too interested in me. Let's just check what's further on up ahead. We've got loads of misbegotten and loads of mushroom people, who I kind of more associated with poison. Oh no! Wow. Okay. Yes. Um, Tupperware was founded by a bloke called Earl Tupper. Oh, amazing! Love it. Wow. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love any product that someone just completely just names after themselves or something. That's 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 the stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Absolute pure vanity vanity naming of stuff. One hundred percent. Oh. If I invent something cool, I'll call it like the Claire. Like the Claire knife. If it's a good knife for killing people with or something. Great. Wow, lots of people would be really appreciative of that. Lots of, but plenty of people don't get knives named after them. Wow, cannot believe that. Okay, you know what? This is probably a good time for the never used side swing. Oh, he's, oh, 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 there was a flipping. There was a flipping. There was a, there was a fake one right there. Okay, go. Okay, who are you guys? And there we go. That got all of you. Okay, there was a troll one in the door just waiting to pounce, which does happen in this game. Like, in the catacombs in particular, that happens. There's just, they're just waiting around the corner be like, oh, I see you, buddy. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, comment, oh. Oh, oh it, I broke lock with him for just a second. Then I almost fell off a thing. Okay, let's just very quickly get myself back up to where I should be. Uh, because he's going to be, yeah, nice to, to take out at this angle, because there's not much he can do. And then that's obviously. And go. Dead. All right. Big lads with an axe. Watch out for them. They're a little bit tougher than some of the others. Yeah. The misbegotten have all sorts of variants. Some of them are pretty easy to take care of. Some of them are pretty tough. Smithing stone at eight. Not 
I thought I heard something. Also, I don't like this. I don't like fluffy stuff. Like, a fluffy egg is creepier than an egg. Thank you, everybody in chat. Claire shouldn't have a knife named after her. She should have a hammer. The Clarimer. The Cl Claire Hammer, surely. Claire Hammer or Claire yeah. Hammer. Oh, no, it's just a, right? just, it's just a uh, thing. Or with the a wind. cleaver. The Clever. Oh, that's good, yeah. Uh, thank you to Ali and Nathaniel for that. Um, Ghosty Fish says, you know, of course, there is also the John Club. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's a John Club. When, when, all you've, um, when all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a club. Yes, indeed. Uh, and I, I, I'm sorry, I really enjoyed... I, I, I want to just have to give top marks to the wit in the comments who did specifically point out that John literally can't call a spade a spade, which I thought was excellent. <laughs> Oh, you okay? You were just a basic misbegotten. Sorry, uh, I thought you were a dangerous yes, one. Yes, and also, or also a, kat uh, a katana, the Claretana. The Claretana, yeah, also yeah. good, very good. Uh, Rachel with an E and the Space Monkeys, Monkeys. Uh, gave us two dollars and says, "How about a new speed called the John Club?" <laughs> We should rename our shovel the John Club. Yeah, we actually, you know what we should. That's a hundred percent true. The spade we got should be renamed to the John Club. I think going forward, that's exactly entirely how I'll refer to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Okay, right now my things are looking. Oh, hang on. That's well, that's that's a lad down to the bottom. But it look, I'm pretty sure I could just make the jump over to to here because that is not going down to. Oh, oh, uh, 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 what's going on? I just heard the sound of. Bubble, bubble magic. Who the flip was casting that? And where were you? Because I don't know that I was sitting over here. Where's Bubble Man? Bubble Man? I'm not sure. I see some ants dotted around. Yeah, I feel like the best option is not to go down that ladder. The best option is to jump uh, straight over to that platform, which I am like... 80% confident I can make the jump off. And if I can't... YOLO! Yeah, easy. Alright, cool. Now where's... Oh, it wasn't bubble. It was plant. Okay, well that's fine. I think we're okay for... I think plants can't do that when you're inside. They definitely can't do it when they can't see you. Right, that's another one of you bastards. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to Terra Magica. He's trying to do it, is he? I think so. Terra Magica. Right drink and then we're going to we're going to great bow and then we're going to go straight after that into comics you can start changing the spell uh already so then just go 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 and he's coming in now he's changing his mind now he's changing his mind where he wants to be now he now he doesn't know our doors work still doesn't know our doors work oh ah fuck oh fuck no lights attack go finish Ooh, okay, that was bad luck. <laughs> All right, everything's fine. Those guys are not... Oh, oh, there's several... Oh, no, 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 there's, there's stuff I wasn't expecting there. No. No, down on down the... Oh, down on the ground you go, actually. Uh, wait, don't get a really light tap on you. That was weird. And then the other one's over here. Yeah, just wait for them to jump, and then you can just knock them off their feet, which is a really good way of taking those guys out super easy. Uh, yeah. If you're, if you're just confident you're willing to wait till they go mid- Ooh! That's the top smithing stone. Ancient dragon smithing stone. I've already got, I think, everything I want up to level 10. But in case I come across a different weapon that I want to get to level 10. Keep drinking the stuff. Okay, that's the good shit right there. Just eyes open. And this gets me to- Oh! Oh, hello, 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 hello. It's fine. Sorry, I go cockney when I panic. Um, luckily these guys are, well, actually they're, they're weird, they're, they're deceptively slow, then they speed up when they decide they want to come in for their charge, which is very annoying. And then, lunge, like the katana having the thrust on it, very useful. Keep the shield up, like we've discussed. Okay, that brings me to the rope bridge. I'm pretty sure I just said I saw the, no, that's a misbegotten. Uh, that's just a misbegotten right there. Get the stab on you, buddy. From here, I might be able to take out some... In fact, where's the plant? That's Somber 8, which is pretty good. The plant... Ah, there it is! It's down from me. 
Uh, the problem is, I don't have any, like, good fire magic or anything. So, it's a real waste of magic to try and just, like, take these guys out with, uh, uh with that. Because, like, even, like, a fully charged Comet does, like, does nothing. Uh, but then again, if I don't take you out, then you're going to be annoying, aren't you? So, uh, I may as well. Oh, you're about to do the thing. He's about to do the thing. Solar beam, go! It's ri that hit hits like a truck. That, that, it's, it's so powerful. Screw it. I'll just, you know what? I'll go over to my most damage per FP efficient attack. Uh, which is just, uh, the Great Glintstone Shard. And we'll probably be able to take him out within this, uh, one bar of magic. And that'll be fine. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to, uh, Excelsius, who's been a member for 57 months. Ooh, 57. That, mm -hmm. I... Had somebody hit 60 in the past? I swear we've had a hit 60 in the past. I don't think so. I think 57 is the highest. You think 57 is, is the highest? Uh, let's see. Um, b -b 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 Excelsius uh, says, Another month! This uh, stream is going to be amazing. I hope I don't miss the meat of the stream when Taskmaster starts in about an hour and a half. Let's see how long it'll take. I don't know. We're gonna. This was not gonna be too long because we've got a really exciting appointment. So we've we've got to be well rested for tomorrow, which um, is oh, a okay. new dishwasher's pee delivered. Yeah, we're so old. Replacing um, the old dishwasher that I I am just not keen on, and it sometimes is is dodgy, and I don't like it. And uh, most uh, terribly for John, the other day it. Uh, was kind of doing a funny thing and uh you know he's like well it's not what you know i said to him look not not to be this asshole but have you tried turning it on and off uh off and on again yeah and he says he says yes obviously and then it, First yeah, thing I tried, obviously. yeah and then we look at it for a little while and then after a while uh Go and think, you know, it's a dishwasher. If it's if it's doing a funny thing yeah, with electricity, exactly, it's, it's full of water. water and electricity. Let's actually turn it off. But it doesn't have like an, it doesn't have like an isolator switch in the kitchen. So we thought, okay, we better turn it off at the wall. But the the plug was well at the back, and we'd have to literally remove other stuff to do that. So we thought, okay, let's turn it off at the fuse. It might be on its own fuse. We don't have the fuse because I couldn't remember exactly what what was on what fuses. So anyway, I went to look at the fuses, and we couldn't turn it off without. The fuse that it's on is the same fuse as the fridge, so that wouldn't be okay. Uh, but as it turned out, uh, turning it off and on again at the fuse fixed it. It did. Um, and John was so salty about the fact I that I fixed it. I was incredibly salty that you fixed it by turning it off and on again. <laughs> incredibly salty about this. Oh! Triple kill on the ants! Holy shit! What the flip was that? Oh, that was epic. Okay. I knew the moon I knew the moon had some splash. I didn't realize it had quite that much splash. Which is oh, that gets you down to the next level down, does it? Okay. You're kinda of supposed to go that way. Though I think if you jump off that you could get to the roof. But okay. Get over to here. Because I don't know which of these, you know, which of these guys has good stuff on it versus which of these guys it's just random random trash. Also was the plant the plants I've respawned the plant. Uh but that's fine. It's all under control. But oh wow, I'm already about how am I to a hundred thousand again already? Jesus, okay, this place just tosses uh tosses souls at ya. Right, sort out in case of trouble. I see you, buddy. Alright, well no one seems to have seen me yet. Uh... Assassination! That wasn't an assassination, but what I will say is no. Alright, and now just no 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 and wave. And then go. And then follow it with the heavy. Can't do it immediately, because I think they're kind of... When they're recovering, standing up, they're often in there. They're like... Because they, they, they get iframes too. Sorry, what? Somber Smithing Stone 9. Yep. Yeah, which is pretty good. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, it's a summoning snail. That's actually a problem. That's, you can summon Crystallians. That's actually an issue. Crystallians kind of scary. I'm not good at taking on Crystallians. Okay, I need to just rush the... I, I just need to take out him. Can they not get up the thing? If they can't, then that's really good news. Um, can I hit you from here? Please tell me I can hit you from here. Darn it. Okay, we just need to rush him. Uh, heal up and then just rush him. Go, 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 go. Rush straight past you. No. No. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. No, 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 you. And then go. Go. 
Get, no, 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 no. Just get light attacks in. Go! Random bullshit, go! Why aren't you dead? I've killed your summoner. Why are you not dead yet? Uh-oh. That wasn't the answer. Oh, no. Fuck. Why are they all despawned? They should be. I killed the summoner. Oh, fuck. They, 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 maybe they were. I thought that was... I thought you were summoned by a snail. Oh, there was another one. Fuck you. That's cheating. Take him out, too. Leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me. Oh, fuck. Now I'm trapped in the corner. There's another one. Ow. 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 Okay. Go, 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 go. Random bullshit. Go. Run. Woohoo. There must be another one somewhere. Fuck. I've killed two of them. There's another snail. Fuck. Uh oh. oh. You've killed the second one? Uh, yeah, there were two so far, and go. I can't, I don't know, this is doing, this isn't doing enough physical damage. I hate these guys, they're really annoying. Uh, fuck, the camera's not cooperating. Go, run. There's another one somewhere. It must be around the corner or something. Uh, okay, just keep drinking. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Snail, snail. I see you. I see you, mother flip up. Oh, it fell off. Jesus. Crystallians are scary because they just ha they have infinite poke. They have terrifying infinite poke power and they never stop doing their infinite poke and you've got to break their guard before you could do any damage to them and lots and you know lots of physical damage is not really my forte. I feel like I can't make that jump. Okay. I don't feel like I can make that jump. I definitely can't make that jump. Okay. Do you have to go up, up a bit so you can jump from Yeah, I feel like else. if I could get up to here, that would work. But there's no, like, grasping onto a ledge mechanic in this game. Mm. I'm not allowed my horse. I don't have a double jump available. If I could get up to here, if there was, say, a tr branch I could use to get up to there, that would all be fine. You can make that jump. Says the chat. Oh, I don't trust this. Okay, if I jump from, yeah, right here to the low bit, probably I can, yes. Though so before I do that, I'm going to loop around because I know I've missed something on the roof. Um, I know that if I can get up onto the roof of this building, which actually would have been a much better sniper spot to take out some of the snails before beginning this entire operation. So I kind of should have done that. Claire! Wait, hang on. Can I even make it back to... No, the only way to make it back to... The thing now is to fast travel, which might reset the snails. So fuck whatever was up on the roof. I don't care. Claire's class talking has been cancelled. Um, well, unless I fail to make this jump. In which case, it's back on. And YOLO! Oh, only just. Jesus. Okay, it's fine. Though now I could jump backwards to the level. Oh, it's already on the roof. Wait, no, that was the roof of this one. Oh, it's just roof after roof. Jesus, this is stressful. Um, okay. How much does a charge comet do to you, buddy? Uh, it's gonna take two. Alright, well, I could take... Oh, no offense, this feels like a waste of magic. I feel like maybe just one... Where well, one for all of you, then the rest of you just light attacks will do just fine. There's so many of you. Alright. Don't you have an area of effect thing you can use? Uh, I actually got rid of an arc. I, I, which is... I, I'm, I'm regretting that about now. Yeah, two light attacks will take care of all you guys. And no. Alright. Go. And I do have the moon. Activate moon. Go. Activate random bullshit magic. Two of them. Not great. It'll do. And. Yeah, but that'll be one light. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be one light attack for both of them. Go. And then go into charge. Go. Perfect. And now there's only one. Won't be a problem. Unless you get to like some weird. Lucky hit in. Down you'll go. Alright, smithing stone six. Fine. Five, five. Oh, oh, what? What's that? Was that their corpses? Because they were made cold by the moon? I don't know if that was their corpses because they were made cold by the moon. Okay, so that's them cleared out. But clearly I can also... Well, I say clearly. <sighs> uh, hopefully I can make this jump to YOLO jump! Fuck! Nice. Oh. Oh well. Hmm. Do you know what the snail? Actually, you know what? Now I can get what's on the roof and I can snipe the snails. 
It's all going to be fine. Yeah, because there's clearly a jump here. This gets me up onto the roof above the snails. And that means I can snipe off the snails before they can do much to me. Uh, aside from the fact you guys... you Okay, they are very good at... Uh, 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 de but the Crystallians don't appear to be aware of me. Go! And then one more, 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 one more. There we go, done. Right, that's one dead. Another one was right down here. Yeah, another one's right down there. So I can take out two immediately. Where was the third? Around the corner, which which isn't so bad. So if we just jump down to here. Hey, buddy. And go. One, two. Dead. And that will disable you immediately. There's still the tree people right there. Crystallion explodes. Doesn't really matter. And then there's you over on this side. Yeah, I see you. And then one, two. Crystallion dead. They die instantaneously. So, okay, nice. that's that's them dead. Now, there's some crystal people in that building. But I'm not sure they, they're very slow. So, they can't really get to me. Uh, now, what we do have to do is make this jump. Otherwise, I lose the runes. And... And jump! Okay. Got me many, many runes back. Right, that's you guys back. Uh, so I uh, got people in chat saying, uh, John, we never said you could make that jump. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was maybe a tiny bit optimistic. Oh dear. Uh, yes. Yes. Right, let's just see. I'm going to use magic. I'm just going to use, use a bit of safety magic on some of these guys just to thin the herd out a little bit. Claire! Hmm. Let's see. Uh, shout out to Alexander who gave us twenty dollars and says yes. Instant click when I saw the notification. Good luck, John. I've been watching since Fall as, since Fallout New Vegas. Yolo. Uh, I believe in you. Oh, that's probably a mistake. Yeah. yeah these mm. guys. A transient moonlight into a basic swing works really well. I'm just gonna top up the magic now. If you guys want to crowd, then a... Oh, that's pretty good. And then... Oh! No! 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 Bye! No, no, no. Did I... Wait, am I bonking? Am I... Wait, how am I heavy? Wait, what? Why am I heavy... Why am I heavy rolling? That's weird. I should not be heavy rolling, but that's... Okay. Uh... Okay. Wait, wait. What the... What's happening? That's... That's a heavy roll, but I've not changed my weight. What? What? But... But... That's... What? I was medium load this whole time and I've not changed anything. Their attacks make you heavier. What? What do? The attacks from these enemies, I think, make you heavier. Oh, have I got a temporary debuff on me? Yeah, I think something like that. Uh, magic up. Wish I knew what those symbols meant. Uh, magic up. Bonus uh, XP off Golden Scarab. Radagon. Uh, bonus to bureaucracy and bonus to EU membership. Have you, or you lost a buff from your rune arc. Oh, I was... Under the effect of a rune arc. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, story, that story checks out. Yep, yeah, fair. Eminently, uh, very, very fair. Right there. So let's find a pair of trousers I like that keep me in, um, keep me in medium. Uh... Um, and uh, whilst you look for that, I've got loads of people in chat saying you can actually make that jump. You just have to be careful. I don't. Um, I don't want to. And though. And several people saying they've made that jump themselves. And now I'm scared though. Ladder ahead. Yes, I've noticed. Uh, okay, let's let's start going the up safety way. Let's go the intended solution first. I'm guessing I can just loop round to there anyway if I just go the intended. The intended way. So that's all going to be fine. That's just... Oh, does that just bring me back to... Mm. Oh, you see, now this is a much easier jump into that room. I can just go up here. And from here, I can just jump here. Which is definitely much easier. That's... that's That like that to there versus this to here is, is much better. Visions of death. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Uh... YOLO part two! 
detail. It wasn't really supposed to happen, to be honest. But uh, can you not jump down from this roof to the bottom of... Macho, there's also a thing here. I also just spotted this ladder here that I assume is going to take me into the same area. So, okay, look, 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 drop down to here. Whee! Hello! Don't mind me. Sometimes your weapons get stuck on things. Screw you. Right, so now that's... I think that's the back of that room. So now I assume I can just get in this room via a... Yeah, there's a door. The door doesn't work. It's a pure, It's one of those purely decorative doors. Okay. And then there's... Door. Thank you. Thank you for specifying. What? Okay. So these are doors that are only open from the inside, if at all. Because this is clearly the room. No, it's not. This is an unrelated room because it's too far... It's too far forward. Okay, if I get the... If I get this right, then I can get into this room from the roof. Okay, lots of people saying, oh dear, it's not easier, John, you're going to die, etc. Yeah, it doesn't look easier, because I think the problem you had before was like, kind of directing yourself at exactly the right angle. I feel like if I jump about this angle, slightly before the edge, that will be fine. And go! Call it. Maybe we just don't go into that room. Like, we don't actually have to. Like, no one said we have to go into that room. Like, it's not actually the law or anything. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. Also, I should really drink my potion before I make... Those jumps, because then I wouldn't lose my things. Because I've got temporary uh, temporary immunity to thing loss on my McGibbly Jibbles. So go. One. And then charge number two. So you're going to panic. And go. Because Crystallian can't get to me. Then we just drop down. And then go. 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 Crystallian breaks. So yeah, once you know where they are, that's actually all very manageable. So then we just go over to here. He summons on the high ground, which uh, fucks up the Crystallian's help. Crystallian bursts before she can do anything. And now we're back to here again. Uh, but this time my thing is... Go! Where's my thing? Is my thing my thing's presumably up there? Oh, I forgot about all of you. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. I forgot all of the little guys existed. Presumably my thing is yeah. There's my thing. There's my thing up there. Hi. Okay. I'm just gonna take these guys out all careful, like, cause I don't wanna mess this up now. Clap. Uh yes. Shout out to uh shout out to Evil Jacqueline Clone Six 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 Queen of the Tyranids. Reasonable. Yeah. Love that username. Uh, she's been a member for nine months uh, and says, Hi, happy for catching the stream. I just wanted to ask if you figured out how to destroy the chariots in Heroes' Graves uh, heading to uh, uh, the Curse of the Strahd. I, I, I'm aware conceptually of the fact that you should be able to... Oh, you're about to give me a bite, aren't you? Fuck you. Uh, yeah, they, they, they hurt if they actually get the hit in. Uh, which can be a problem. I know that you can, like, there is a way to destroy the, uh, the drivers. Uh, or sometimes you can drop stuff on them. Like, I, I think there's various ways, but I've never done it myself. Oh, no, 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 you don't, buddy. You've got, like, no poise. You're fine. All right. Get back up top. All right, I think there might be one more behind me, actually, but I'm just going to climb away from him. It's going to be fine. Okay, we're going to stop attempting to make that jump. We're going to stop attempting to make that jump. Okay, it's clearly a bad decision. Okay, just uh, can I just ask a question? Though? Yes, you can. Uh, can you go and and look over there? Okay, so that there's no like balcony anywhere. If you jump on the roof, I mean, I thought that bit there was slightly sticky out right in front of the red room. But of if death. you jump onto that roof from here, which should that's be where easy. we that's where we came from. That's that's where we jumped across to get. That's uh... yeah, that's where we come from. Um, and I mean, certain moves might allow me to like lunge forward slightly to get in, but yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like it might be best just to let that room be and move on. Um, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Apparently that room has like an achievement for getting inside it or something. Lol. Excellent. Uh -huh. Love it. Alright. Descend and keep rotating around the thing. 
Oh, I saw someone moving here. Oh, he's open in case I'm about to be ambushed. Okay, always go behind you first, just in case. And in the event of darkness, lantern. Obviously, I'm not... I assume this is, this is like a legacy dungeon, because I haven't seen an area I'm allowed to summon in yet. Oh, hello! Don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. Oh, you're, you're swinging through a wall, buddy. That's that's not fair. That ain't cool. Don't swing through walls. All right. Can you even make it through the door? All right. Hang on. Go. All right. All right. And if he's going to come for a jump, and then go for a light to finish him off, and there we go. Just got him. That was lucky. I did not stamina manage properly there, but it did not punish me on this occasion. Right. Drink. We're in good shape. Now we're in Oh! Hello! You are a dung beetle. Take you out, buddy. That's just a top-up of, yeah, my red health thing, which I think was already full anyway, so that was... Wait, hang on. What's... Is that it? That's a weird thing to put over here, but okay. Fine, I suppose. Uh, right, keep on keeping on if that was literally... Oh, hang on. No, there was another room. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. Hello. No, piss off. Piss off. Go, go, go. Sorry, there was there was a second room in here, but it had a trap in it. Oh, and there was just a basic. I feel like that's not important. Okay, that, that doesn't feel important at all. Eyes up, there might be... Hello, yes, I see you. Don't mind me. And go. And then just finish you off. Almost enough for a kill. Oh, there we go. No. And then finish you off with the lights. Shield up because you never know when an enemy's just going to, you know, blind, blind punch around the corner. Treasure chest. To oh, I don't trust that. That's trying to bait you into jumping out of here. On I'm not going through that. That's bait. Uh, I'm not doing it till I've verified the existence of the... Oh, hello. Uh-oh. There's, there's, there's people over there and they've got staffs. They look a bit mean, don't they? That's a battle mage, I think. I've seen that one of them before. Especially as I'm pretty sure what I can do is this. Uh, Loretta's Great Bow, activate. Uh, yeah, random ranged bullshit. Go! Homing death beacon! Go. And that doesn't even upset you, friend. Go. Keep going. And now, he now he's coming. Now he's coming. Okay. Uh, comment. Comet. Comet. Screw you. Right. So that's him taken care of. And now we can do the same thing with his friend over here. Uh, the moon probably wouldn't fit through the thing. Ah, I should have recharged the thing. Ah, well, that's fine. Actually, I'm going to moon now. He's going to walk forward and then he's going to walk into it. All right. It's, it's going to be fine. And nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is he in range? He's not in range. Fudge. Okay. Good opportunity for me to just comet. I would have kind of thought these guys had magic range, given they're clearly holding staffs. But they... He, there we go. He finally got around to casting magic, but his range was appalling. So, okay, though, for, for my class, that was... Oh, Claire. Mm. Death Arena. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Oh, fuck. There's a Death Arena. Also, there are three paths, but only two of them. Which means I'm highly suspicious there's another one. I don't feel like that's it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, shout out to Jessica, who gave us 500 Swedish krona. Oh, thank you very, very much, Jessica. Uh, and Jessica says, uh, John, do you know how much prepared defense is appropriate for someone playing on Storyteller in Wildermyth? Uh, I've been upgrading every site to tier three because I figured it wouldn't hurt. But I'm wondering if I'm overdoing it and wasting time. Is Storyteller the... Is that the easy one or the or the... The hard mode. Because it sounds like the easy mode, but I can't remember the name of the difficulties. Uh, I mean, I feel like that would be... That feels like that's more than enough. To be honest, like, I only did the slightest bit of uh, uh, upgrading defences in Wildermyth. And I got right to the end. Uh, so I feel like, yeah, that's probably more than enough. To be honest, I think you're absolutely fine uh, in that regard. So, okay. I suspect... That this elevator is going to be the one that takes me back to, yeah, the start. So that'll be the shortcut I had right at the beginning that takes me back to Bubble Man. So we may as well turn this on while we're here. So just activate that. And yeah, I suspect I'm going back to Bubble Man right now. So yeah, now I've got a shortcut. 
Though, admittedly, there's not... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. So that's now in play. Uh, oh, and that actually brings me to a thing, though. Do battle mages count as respawning enemies? You know what? I feel like... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm down at... I'm two and a half. I'm going to Sight of Grace while I'm actually here. Now that actually works. So sort that out. Uh, I might need to redo the battle mages. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And Jessica says, yes, it's easy mode because I'm bad at video games. I'll tone it down then. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, I think on even on no like on the normal difficulty, like the middle, I think there's three. I don't feel like you need. Oh yeah, there was uh, there were the the battle mages are back. But no offense, they were not a problem. So if I just go you 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 you, then that's fine. I've actually I've got cover right here, and then go 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 go. Go. Oh, oh, no. oh, fudge, come on, get the hit him. My magic resistance isn't the best. Now, there's another one up there, but whether he'll actually detect me or not. So, if I do a double potion now, because I'm feeling like this is about to be a boss over here. This, this, this is, this is a doom arena. What have you got to say? First off, checkpoint. Oh, no, is there a, is there a America? Are we, are we in America territory? Uh, examine. Right, summoning pool's functional. Am I in America right now? I don't appear to be under America. So, okay. Uh, prepare titch. Prepare titch. Prepare magic bullshit. Oh, Claire, this is a really, really, really big area. Oh, no. All right, just spam titch. Get titch out. And then remember, I've got infinite magic on the... John... I'm floating 221,000 rooms. Uh, whilst you do that, shout out to the narrator who gave us $20 <laughs> and says, have fun with the bosses here, John. Oh, no. Dear, oh, dear. Uh, shout out also to, uh, shout out also to Patty, uh, who gave us 75 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, so thank you very, very much for that. Mm, Claire's Patty. very tired. It's just been a bit of a weird week. Yes. All around. It has. Uh, I should point out, by the way, we have to, we'll have to cover this at some point. Um, the anniversary special, I'm pushing back another week. And the reason for that is Tabby was not very well this week. She's a little improved today, but she had to go and hang out with the vet for two nights, which is the longest day she's ever had at the vet. She's a dumbass, and doesn't drink enough water, eat enough food, and gets herself stuck feeling so bad she doesn't eat food, etc, etc, etc. So we were very, very worried about little Tibby Tips. And I was not in the mood to record a, uh, you know, happy, fun, dumb, cooking, crafty, whatever video. So we didn't do that this week. And we will do it uh, this coming week. Uh, so the anniversary is uh, is back. Uh, is back another one. Uh, yeah, the thing is, she's, she's an old lady, you know. And she's got a bunch of health concerns already. Uh, in terms of like, you know, she's got problems with her digestive systems and she's got kidney disease. And so like all of these things together, you know, like yeah, it's a, they stack it's up. a, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky, you know, kind of balance and everything to, it's, it's quite easy to, um, to upset the balance of everything that we have in place to, to make her feel good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, it, 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 we were really scared. Yeah, I mean, we were we were thinking it might, she might be, you know, sometimes when animals get very old, they get, uh, you know, they get tired and grumpy and they just stop eating and they hide away and it's just their way of saying my body's pretty much done. Uh, and we thought we might be at that stage with Tebs. Unfortunately, we weren't. <laughs> All right, just hide. Oh, you started casting fast. Um, hey, shout out to the narrator who gave a hundred dollars for Tabby. Oh, Tabs. Oh, thank you. I mean, we we were just, you know, I mean, she she's okay, but yeah, she had to be at the vet for two nights. She had to be on fluids, and they gave her a bunch of stuff to make her feel feel better. Um, we didn't quite understand everything the vet said, so we just called it kitty red bull yeah um she there were electrolytes involved yeah. I, I i picked up that much mm. okay but unfortunately yeah. so i had to take on both so still a pretty good shape but yeah she's 
She's in better shape now. You know, we can't be 100% certain I mean, she's look, fully recovered, but she's is, better. You know, what does fully recover, what does fully recovered mean for an animal who is... 17, Elderly 18, yeah. And has some chronic health issues, you yes. know. She's not going to not have her digestive problems and her... And yes. her um, She's, yeah, kid, issues, kidney IBS you know. and kidneys and pancreas and possibly anemia and who knows what else now. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... All right, here we go. We're going in. As soon as I see the thing, I'm going to... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm allowed to summon. What is that? Loretta. Oh, it's Loretta. Oh, fuck, is she on a horse now? Oh, fuck, she's on a horse. She's on a horse. She's on a horse. Shield up. And dodge. Okay. So this is, this is interesting. And, oh, what the? Okay, she's got a, she's got a thing. Uh, spam the monitor so she takes bonus damage. The moon sort of homes. And then that's got really good range on it too. Uh-oh, okay. Now, what can she do? What's her ability? Versus, oh, okay, so she can. She's got like a phalanx ability. That's fine for now. Um, I'd say, yeah, just spam some comets at her for the time being. See if we can draw some attention. She doesn't seem to have the best of magic resistance, to be honest. Now, shields up. Oh, no, you don't. Watch out for when she's paying attention to me versus Titch. Get my, yeah, shield down to get stamina back. Then I can chain cast a bit better. And that's some good damage right there. All right, so she's actually, she's going down pretty easy so far. This seems like a good opportunity for a rest. She's prioritizing Tit. She was actually out tanking her at the moment. You can literally out walk her great bow. And then Oh, did she heal a bit? Oh no, I think just the um it wore off. Her thing wore off right there. I think she had um yeah, she had the deep debuffed her everything. Yeah, there's the oh shields up. She's doing it again. That's a powerful ability right there. Her health's going down. Now's the time to spam. We can get the kill while her health's reduced. Nice. Easy actually. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Loretta's Mastery. Loretta's War Sickle. Okay, that will be our Halberd and the thing. Uh, I'm assuming Loretta's McGibbly Jibble is... Oh, yeah, Strength. Actually, you know what? It's only Strength of 20. If I ever want to go to a Halberd, then that's there. Though, to me, a bit slower for my liking. What's more interesting is the spell. Uh, no, hang on. Uh, inventory, go over to spells... Uh, Loretta's what? mastery. So fires a great arrow versus fires at four great arrows. The cost is a fair bit higher, but to be honest, when you're doing that sniping, is it a spray or is it okay? Next time we find actually, when I say next time we find a thing, there's a thing right here. Okay, Loretta goes down pretty easy, so that's fine. So yeah, Sutoni Silent Assassin uh, for Titch, the true hero oh. of the run. Yes. Uh, Aero Hydra in chat says uh, Loretta's War Sickle scales off of intelligence. Yes, but he also needs a strength of 20, so I'd need ah. to respec uh, for that. Also, the thing is the wrong position for that, but okay. Uh, that just gave me enough to level up, so I'll take mind up towards 42. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with what Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's a really complicated game that you can't keep up with the chat and exactly what I'm saying and the mechanics of the game simultaneously is no, no criticism of you at all. Uh, yes, indeed. A shout out to Red Sev who gave us uh, five dollars and says, "Get well soon, Tabby, my first cat. Recently passed after only fourteen short years together. Aww. It's tough, but we just got a new kitten who's helping us heal." Oh, babies, babies. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's um, she's definitely feeling better now. She's eating, uh, yeah. which is very, very good. And because she's eating, she's getting the medicine that she needs because that goes in her food. Um, she is, you know, I think she was a little bit shaken when she came home from oh, yeah, definitely. the vet because it was too nice. Oh, and... two rooms. So close to zero. So it was nice when you hit zero. <laughs> yeah. She, I, I mean, I think, you know, she just was feeling really, really, really poorly. And she, I think she's starting to, to feel more like her. She's yeah. starting to... You can see she's starting to feel better because she's starting to act more like herself. Yeah, herself. she's eaten some proper food today. She's been wandering around to her usual spots a bit more. When we say proper food, she's right now on a set of plain food to make sure that uh, her, her tummy doesn't get upset again. Yeah. Uh, which means that she's just having plain fish and plain chicken. She has the fish and the chicken that we originally bought, you know, for us. For making our dinners. Yeah. 
She gets caught. Well, we don't get caught. Cod's too expensive these days. Only Tabby gets caught. Okay, John, I don't know why you are obsessed with this particular thing. She gets caught because when I did the food order, it was the only thing that was like boneless, skinless. Uh huh. And not like a freaking like fish finger battered. Mm hmm. Like the reason we don't have cod is we eat fish fingers like children do. Uh huh. So it's, it's true. Oh, this is a suspiciously long ladder. It's weird. Oh, hang on. Okay, but there's also a thing up here, which, I mean, I feel like if you fell onto that, you would die, and I don't see anything good up on there, so, all right. Uh, ah, uh, wait. Snack! Oh, invisible! Oh, oh no, it's no, a person. That's just a, per that's just the ghost of a person. Okay, shield up. Snake. Who's snake? Something incredible ahead, then try right. Okay, so... Up, try up. Okay, go up first, which I assume leads to that, uh, the top of the building I just saw, which possibly has a snake on it. Oh, I don't trust this. Didn't expect safety. Yeah, but there's a blood stain here. That person died just by tossing himself. Okay, you know what? I don't trust this treasure chest. I'm going to flip away from it in case it's a teleporter. It's not. All right. Oh, it's another ancient dragon smithing. Oh, nice. Okay. So if I find a new weapon that's a basic weapon. Because, uh, yeah, I'll say the, the limiting factor of my current build is I can't use Ashes of War. Because both Moonvale and um, the Regal Scepter don't take Ashes of War. They just have what they have. And their ability is good. You know, Transient Moonlight is great. Spinning weapon, uh, whatever. Uh, it's just a good staff. You don't use a staff for its secondary weapon, for its secondary effect, to be honest. It's special attack. Um, oh. But I've been playing with Ashes of War in other save files. Uh, John? Yes? If you see a message about a snake near a ladder, it's a uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay, I feel like we're going down into the Halig tree right now. I think we're going into the Halig tree. There's, oh, it's sunny down here. Which is... Odd, but didn't expect down. A fail brace of the Halig tree. Try jumping. No, don't. I feel like that's bad, 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 bad advice. Try jumping, but haul. Yes. Uh, I feel like that's this is bad Maybe advice. On one of those bridges that's closer to you, no? Ooh, that's still far too far. I mean, clearly yeah, you're going you down. Rainbow stones now. There is, I think I used them all. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I feel like we, we, okay, there's definitely a corpse down there with something collectible. So we'll be going down there sooner or later, but I don't think you could drop that even with, um, cotton wool. Okay. There's, oh, I see, I see Grace ahead. Suspiciously, I see Grace ahead. Target lock ahead. Uh-oh. Hello. Who are you guys? You know what? You know what we, we, we're going to be doing? We're going to be testing our brand new spell. We're going to activate Terra Magica. And we're going to see if Loretta's Mastery has the range on it. Because, yeah, fully charge. Go. It does. Good. Brilliant. And then one, two, three. Go. And it homes and they do the jump when it's cast. And go. Dead. Right, well that works. Right. And presumably that's something where if you have multiple enemies, it all go... I don't think so, because I think it targets... Oh. Well, actually, maybe if you fire it when you're not targeting anybody, that might be true. Mm. Uh, but it looks like they home on that. Though, weirdly, the anger you hold the bow means that the first one just hit the ground, which is kind of weird, but okay. And there's... Oh, hello! It's you! Woman whose name also begins with M. Again we meet. Hi! I can only summon our purposes are aligned in which case allow me to explain myself i am of melania's blood but in what capacity i know not i could be sister daughter or an offshoot whatever the case though i am certain of a kinship between us okay i'm actually not related to melania i'm just a random tarnished there is something i must return to melania the will that was once her own. The dignity. 
a sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot, the pride she abandoned, to meet Radon's measure. Yes, Melania was the person who did the war, so she, yeah, she unleashed the Scarlet Rot on Caleb. I can't remember precisely why, but apparently the Scarlet Rot's kind of like the dark side of the force or something, and she was seduced by it. There is something I must return to Melania. And that's what you the just said, isn't it? Dink. Yes, that's what you just said. Okay, so now you're just repeating yourself. Okay, if we're lucky, she might be willing to fight alongside me in a boss coming up. Because sometimes if you do characters' stories, and I have for her, I cured her of the Scarlet Rot, I gave her an arm back. That means they show up to help you fight big bosses. Like, uh, Rogier will help you fight, uh, Godric the Grafted. Um, I'm not sure anyone shows up to help you fight Renala. Uh, obviously, um, uh, Melina, or... There's too many women whose name begins with them. One eye mo does the first waifu you meet at the fire, Ghost Woman. Uh, she helps you fight uh, the gods. Too many men whose name begin with fucking G. I'm not doing this as a bit. I can't cocking remember. Um, uh, so is her is the name of this one Millicent? Millicent. Yeah, Millicent. Yeah. yeah, it's Millicent. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So okay, she might be showing up to assist me. Uh, uh, with a boss, if we're very lucky. Because she's kind of... She's kind of around. So, if we're... Oh, hello. Who are you guys? I mean, the thing just said, be wary of weak enemies. So, you guys don't look particularly tough. Hi. You guys tough? Can I just straight up... Alright, just a basic attack will do for you. You guys have got wibbliness. What's the wibble? What's the wibble? Okay, nice. they, they are going down fast. And you, buddy, our captain has a horn. So, no, don't let him blow the horn. He'll summon his friends. All right, so there's just soldiers around, but they're pretty flimsy. Don't worry too much about them. I'm pretty sure I could drop down to... Yeah, I could 100... Oh! Well, time to test that theory. Oh, that... Ow, 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 okay. Uh, mostly, mostly that worked. Mostly that worked. Mostly that worked. Um, Go! That's you, Dad. Are you aware of me? You're aware of me. Well, you're going to open your shield at some point, buddy. I need to get past you. He went... Oh, no! Well, that was too far. Okay, don't roll. Oh, there's royal fucking revenants around here. I hate royal revenants. They're the worst. Okay, well, there was... We had, we had barely any souls, and we just, we just did the safe right here. So that's fine. We're just learning how this area fits together. It's all okay. Claire! Well, what do you get back there? Shout out to Molly, who gave us $10. Uh, and Molly says, Happy 30th birthday to, to me. Oh, that's a big birthday. Congratulations. Yes, she said she wanted a proper song as well. Happy birthday, dear Molly. Oh. You're going to regret this. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Yeah, now you're hey, yeah, saying that. Oh, hello. Uh, it is a cursed Froger type of birthday because uh, my vacation has turned into a COVID party. Oh, no. Apparently, uh, she said she, called, she thinks she got COVID at her sister's wedding. Oh, no. Uh, just thought I'd share the love since uh, Stellaris streams are getting me through this. Oh, I'm sorry that you have got the COVID. And presumably more than one of your family does if there was a wedding outbreak. Mm. Yeah, okay. So these guys are not so bad. There's little side rooms all along. And some of them have got people inside them. Some of them have... A oh, some of them are not little side rooms. Some of them are staircases that go up. So, okay. Deal with the outside. Oh, hello. Yeah, I see you, lads. Hi. You come this way? You, any, anytime you're ready? Okay, so these guys are basic nothings. They're just lads with shields. Uh, to be honest, did you just put your... Oh! Okay. All right. Well, that's... Okay. No. Right. Screw you. <laughs> right. They were crossbowers. That's why they were up here. They were aiming to snipe me. Gotcha. Okay, so there's a staircase going up inside door number two. Remember, that's there. Keep your eyes on everything. Most of these guys, however, are pretty easy to take out. We're going... Actually, if we're going down, maybe we should go up that stair... Oh, 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 ow, 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 What the... What the... What, what, what? The fudge was... Oh, I think that was... Was that thorn magic or did you just stab me? They're, they're wibbly. What's... Why are they glowing? It looks like it's some form of holy magic, but I don't know what it is. 
it doesn't, it's not comparable with Scarlet Rot. Despite the fact everything around here is kind of Scarlet Rotty. So I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's a big, is that a, that's an Earth Tree Avatar down there. Well, I guess this place is built into, I mean, I guess the Halley Tree is an Earth Tree? Question mark? I mean, it's a big ass tree. So that kind of feels like that fits the brief. Right? Mm. Right? Question mark? Ah, uh, Molly says, uh, weirdly, I'm the only one who has a positive COVID test so far, but my aunt and my boyfriend are probably both false negatives given uh, how they are feeling right now. Oh dear. Oh wow. Yeah, that's how I was. The test kept saying no, but I feel like I had COVID. Uh, I feel like that was, that was rough. Oh, hello. All right. Chill out, buddy. I don't know where you came from. Did you, did you drop down from behind? Because I did not see where he came from from behind. Okay, I think it's faith something. It's like, it's faith, uh, it's, it's holy damage. I think is what they're doing. I'm just going to top up my health. I don't really know what I'm walking into. Yeah, you see right there. And, whoop. And then what's behind you for a nice stab of his jacksy. Okay, that's brought me upstairs. Has that actually done me any good? Or has that just brought me up? Ah, it's a smithing stone eight. I could jump on this branch. That wouldn't help me. That would just get me down to the next balcony down, which may or may not be useful. No, this is where... The okay, so you can sneak up behind the snipers that way. If you're really scared of the snipers, you could do that. So, okay. We've covered off everything here. We can just keep on moving down towards the Revenant. I hate the Revenants. Because they just flail. They're very hard to read. Turn back. Well, okay. I've already covered everything, I think, behind me. We should be fine. I see you guys right there. Eyes and ears open. I think there is. Hello. Yeah, I see you. I see you. And... Yeah, like, one of them seems to... The first arrow seems to hit the floor quite reliably. That feels like that hits somebody else. Okay, and that's... Oh. No, you don't. Did he have a health potion? Oh, I rolled into him and that triggered a... That triggered a thing. That's ridiculous, but okay, it worked. Uh, okay, and then if you guys want to all advance at the same time... Oh, they weren't lined up right. Uh, but if I get the an angle... I did not get the angle right. It's fine. Uh, going for a jump attack. That'll take him out. I think one of them was reaching for a flask. Ooh, Haley Tree Helm, brand new armor set. I always enjoy good armor sets. Uh, especially as these guys, I mean, they're doing. Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't realize you were here. Let me just take you out nice and quick, buddy. I mean, these guys feel like they're doing holy damage, which means they're not like proper physical knights. They're like doing their own, like, spell thing. Possibly their armor might be a bit like, you know, less physical and more magic-y or like holy resistance. If so, could be useful. Also, apparently that was my... Oh, yes, that was my last set of... Uh, apparently that was where my I, I fell last time. Oh, I don't trust this. Oh, no, that's just a treasure chest, chest ahead. I've got a sword stone key. I thought that was a boss door, but no, those are yellow in this game. They're only white in Dark Souls. Uh, this gets me in here. Just watch out for this. And open. And this better be good. Triple rings of light. Oh, that's bubble magic. Ah, you see, if I was wearing the hat. I think bubble magic is... I think it's an incantation. And yeah, I've just got a golden seal I now can't use. Which is hilarious. Uh, yes, bubble magic is an incantation. Uh, so that's... Yeah, intelligent. Actually, it's, it's a blend. It's half intelligence, half faith. I think, however, the first bubble spell I found was... What's that in here? I swear that was somewhere in here. There it is. Oracle Bubbles. That is, yeah, intelligence. Yeah, it's a weird blend magic. Apparently, these are pretty good. I just never had the arcane to use it. So I just, I, I never tried it. But, oh, hello. Well, I think you were supposed to be ambushing me, buddy. But you, you messed that up. <laughs> All right. So we just didn't bother. And I see the Royal Revenant further down. All right. We're clearing it out level by level. It's all fine. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. That's not bubbles. That's rings. Yeah, yeah. I like the name of the game. I mean, although if that game was called Elden Bubbles, that'd be quite fun. Should be called Elden Rune. Apparently, there's no ring. There's no ring in this game. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just runes. Right, that's you dead. And that's you dead too. Okay, yeah. These guys are nice and flimsy. 
the Elden Ring is just a big room that got broken up into other smaller rooms. Which is, I don't know, feels like false advertising. Oh, you look tough. I don't like this. Okay, you know what? You know what we're doing? We're terra oh we're, we're terra magicering. And then we're gonna <gasps> do what we can. Alright, and then we're gonna drink. And then we're gonna Loretta's Mastery. And you're going to be shot. And then we're gonna go over to Charge Comet. Some of these will find their way in. And go. And he's oh, what the He's casting halos. Oh, but he actually that's not doing that much damage. Uh go. No, you don't. Who's the other guy? Oh, there's two of them. Go. Okay, and go. 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 Oh, you're doing things, aren't you? Right, okay, you're... Oh, there... Oh, wait, it's... It's what's a face It's my friends. It's... It's her. Um, it's... Do you have a head? If they don't have a head, then I think I know who you are. It's... Oh, no, they have a head. I thought it was my friend who doesn't have a head. The one who had a hat but didn't have a head. You know what I mean... What's a face? I mean, I don't know, but she could also... They could also not have a head under the helmet. Oh, fuck, there's so many, so many tabs. So many tabs. So many tabs. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Loot of the Headless. I thought it was a Loot of the Headless. Yes. But it won't. It, uh, they had a head. Okay, so wait a second. Uh, shout out to shout that boy who says, "Ah, can't wait to give my fiance her engagement bubble." <laughs> uh, that I sounds fun that to one. me. I'd be down for that. Mm -hmm. Engagement bubble sounds way more fun. Yes, I want to bother proposing to you if there are any bubbles involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to uh, Maximilian who says the working title for the game was "Great Runes," so you're kind of right. Um, Anti Poster Boy says, uh, John, the real Elden Ring was the friends we made along the way. Seems legit to me. <laughs> Lol, I bet her name starts with M. <laughs> she doesn't have a head. You know who I mean. What's her face? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cutie Funny, for pointing that out. Fair, reasonable observation <laughs> there. This is a clean rot knight, whereas Lutel the Headless is a mausoleum knight. Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> How could I possibly have got that wrong? <laughs> this, this, this fucking game. There's a lot of different knights, and a rot shows up a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do you have a clean rot knight? I feel like that's like... Oh. Yeah. Ow! Stop attempting to shoot me with a thing. Screw you. Well, it's it's written clean rot as like a single word, so uh, maybe it's like a different thing from the red rot or whatever. Okay, so I feel like I could definitely shortcut down to the bottom by going down and then over there. And then I could actually take out the the Royal Revenant without having to bother going down there. Which I feel like is a sensible option. In fact, it might just be the only option unless there's... Now, there is a staircase, so I could keep going this way. So I'm going to clear out this path first, but when it comes to the Royal Revenant... Fuck fighting fair. We're going onto the balcony and we're we're cheesing it. Yeah, of course. All right, because seriously, fuck royal revenants. Uh, they are decks. And I'm guessing you've got friends. Just always check around the corner for the friends. All right, there's you. Right, yeah, 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 you saw me. Oh, you see, there was one right there. But I was iframing, so you don't get the hit. Screw you. Right, back off for a second. Uh, do you have a shield, buddy? You are not a shielder. Uh, which is great. And then, oh, he's trying to do a thing. He's not going to do it, though. Is that the faith? I think, yeah, they're, they're doing faith incantation, so I assume their weapons have got holy damage. Potentially meaning I should put holy resistance on as a priority. Because uh, that would give me significant... That would let me basically resist their, uh, their bonus damage. So when it comes to big enemies, if I start running into trouble, re respecking my armor in the direction of... Uh, Holy damage resistance could definitely be an option. Uh, that's just basic bolts right there. Don't trust... Oh, you guys have got... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, it's not just them either. All right, there's... there's. Okay. I feel like we don't want to go in that... We don't want to go in the front door. I feel like we want to loop around the other side and get up the top of the back of them. I feel like... Oh, 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 okay. They, they're still, they, they, they can still see me. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go that way. That way, okay, that way's a no-no. That way is the no-no way. 
So we're going to not do that. We're going to go the other way down. We're going to do the, the cheese I suggested. I'm going to drop away down to here. I'm going to step down. You can see Royal Revenant is over there. In fact, this is an excellent sniper spot for the Royal Revenant. And jump to here. That was a bit of a big fall, but... And then I thought I saw over here another door that was like a boss door. Um, right, I see you up here. You've seen me too, I think. But I'm not sure you can do anything about it. Can these guys jump? I really hope they can't jump. Go! Random bullshit, go! Okay, can can you jump? Please, cut. please don't jump. Well, I don't think they can jump. This would this boost the bonus magic damage of of mm, transit moonlight? Can they teleport? Can they fade in and out of existence? I ain't seeing much evidence of that. Well, I'm seeing mo fading in and out of existence, but you don't seem to be using it for any particularly useful purpose. Like, say, getting on top of the thing where I am, which is weird, but okay. Because I feel like if you can fade in and out of existence, you should use it to get up here. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing noises that will be consistent with, haha, I know how to teleport on top of this roof. And then they just don't. And now I'm not hearing anything at all, which is actually scarier. Oh, I see ya. I see you. I see you. I want to take a step out. It's hiding under cover. It's staying. I hear footsteps. It's moving around. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna transient moonlight it. Oh, this is summon territory. Oh well, fuck all of you then. Fuck everything. Get Kristoff in here. Kristoff, I've got I've got something for you to take care of. Kristoff, I didn't realize this was summon land. Kristoff, Kristoff, sort it out. Fuck you. All right, good. Right. Um. Hmm. Yes. Yes, Speedball gave us $5 and says they are, uh, quote, clean rot knights because they are infected paladins. They have holy powers, but cough up blood. Oh, nice. So, yeah, uh, something like they're infected with the scarlet rot, but it doesn't do the same to them as other people. You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they have scarlet rot powers, but it's not like eating their brains. I'm not 100% sure. Get in here, just make sure we're safe. This is a oh 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 it's fucking Crystallians. Kristoff! 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 Do not trap me in the room, Kristoff! Kristoff, this one's on you. Good luck. Uh, I need you to tank for me. Oh, that's a rotten Crystallian. Oh, that's weird. Just get we need we just need to Ow! Oh, these guys really hurt. You flipping depoised my thing. Okay. That appears to be a scarlet rot Crystallian. I need to do physical damage to it. Uh, we need to break it. And then, once that's done... Yeah, lightning does nothing. I mean, you do hit... Please hit it with your sword. Yeah, right now that's doing nothing. That's doing naffle. I mean, this is doing something, right? I mean, uh... Wait, 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 wait. I've got crystal darts. What? What's the relationship between crystal darts and crystallians? Seems to have done the job to me! That seemed to actually break their thing. And now just go. Oh, that's doing something. I think we I think actually you can use crystal darts as a way of breaking their guard. And once that's done, they're fucked. Yeah, now you're fucked. And now you're even more fucked. And now just go for the finish. Done. Okay, rotten crystallians are now a thing. And crystal darts, apparently, yeah, darts are not a bad way of just breaking their guard at range. Is there more than one though? Because oh, there's more than one. Uh Christoph. Oh fuck, there's there's actually several. Uh, Kristoff, could you, could you take care of this? Okay, go, go, a random bullshit, go! Fall back, ow, she just threw a thing into me. Right, fall back, no. That seems to have done, yeah, that actually is a ridiculously effective way of getting the, the, of doing the guard break, I think. I think that, I mean, it knocked her down, which feels like that should be enough, right? 
Just, uh, Christoph, just do what you can. This, this one's on you, Christoph. Oh, we're running low on magic. Okay, we need to definitely be using swords at this point. Okay, now, go. Go. That's it. Now she's definitely broken. Now we can just tag team her. Out of the way. Christoph, please, and go. Nice. There we go. And yeah, once that's done, she's got like zero poise. Yeah. The, the crystal darts are not a bad... I mean, it's a waste of crystal darts to burn. I'd probably use any darts for this. I feel like I should go over to a different type of dart. I've got... I've got poison bone darts. Uh, uh, and cook crees. We have so many cook crees. Let's use the cook crees for this. Alright, this is fine. There better be good stuff in here. That I did that for a pickled turtle neck. Great. Go. Go, Christoph. It's all on you. And Christoph. Go. That does nothing. Oh, she's poke. She's... I don't like the poke. The pokes are scary. Okay, Christoph. I need to do something, please. Christoph. Bring her outside. Chris... Christoph! Christoph! You're interested in getting involved in this, Christoph. Christoph. Christ Christoph. I don't know if... I don't have any rock magic set, which is the best way of dealing with them. Christoph, please, please. Christoph, please. I'm going to lead her back towards Christoph. Christoph, help. There we uh, go. The bastard stars are good against the crystallians. I don't have the bat. I don't. I've, actually, I do have that on me. But okay, let's see if we can just. I think that was blood loss. Actually, I'm just gonna toss that. Actually, the the throw is uh, really, really, really. Oh, that. I think that was it. And now, now, now. Okay, yeah, that's it. She shattered. You can tell she's broken now. Uh, now just back off for a second. Uh, do a health drink and. Yeah, she's fucked. Once they, they've got like, very little poise resistance, so once they actually, once you've cracked them, they're very screwed. <sighs> oh, I do not like crystallians. Crystallians are scary. I really, 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 really don't like them. Still, you, one of you better have something good. Somber nine is actually okay. You know what? Somber nine is a good thing. I'm out of magic healing at this point, so <laughs> ah, good stuff. Uh, and Kristoff's almost dead. So he's not going to be helping too much longer. So at least we've cleared out that room. Um, now we're going this way. Which feels like it might not be the right way. And there's... Uh, 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 oh, fudge. There was... It was it was a royal revenant. Oh, fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge. Go. 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 Just put some magic on it. Oh, I think Kristoff's done. Kristoff's done. And you're going to do a thing. And... That just about hit. Do I have enough? I don't have enough for another one. Uh, fuck you. Toss round of, round of bullshit. Go. Round of bullshit. Go. Round of bullshit. Go. Not going near you. Fuck you. Ah, fuck. That's why we don't go near these bastards. I'm not sure we can fit through this gap, which is hilarious. Uh, go. Okay, and go. Just get any light attack in. Literally any light attack. Fuck you. These absolute fuckers. Just just toss things Wait, at so it. So you can't attack it because... It, it... <laughs> I hate these things. There's there's such shits. You can't... They, they just flail at you. They're really, really annoying shits. And no. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, you're screwed now. Got it. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was the second one, but no, it just like... It just warped. I hate these things. I hate these shits. They just go like, oh, woobly, woobly, woobly. I could just be wherever the fuck I want. Uh, is there anything in here? There is not. Beast blood, completely useless. Uh, yeah, the, the way that it was like flailing at you through the gap in the wall looked uh, very much like... Fuck, uh, no, no, no. Bye, 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 bye. There's more of them. No, fuck this. Fuck this noise. You know the uh, the Xander and Harmony fight? Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Right. So. This was the crystal. Okay, so we made it down to the bottom. There's three of those fuckers in the, uh, in the way. I think we're just going to teleport back to where we started. The prayer Can we room. eat any food for HP or? In theory, yes, but it's a very temporary solution. Okay, we're going back to the prayer room. We're going to reset because I've got nothing. I've got nothing and also I can level up. So I'm getting stronger. Don't forget, like, you, I'm getting runes like crazy. 
right now. Uh, that's only like that. That's quite a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to get mine towards 50 at this point. I want mine to be 50. Uh, Millicent, if you wouldn't mind coming and helping out, I'd really appreciate it. That'd be great if you felt like doing that, but I'm assuming you don't. Hi! Yes, it's me. Uh, come, come do your thing. I think these guys are like suicide people. I think they explode. Uh, I think that's the thing. I think that's their enchantments. Yeah, look at that. They're, they're suicide people. Oh, good, good, good charge. Well done. Yeah, they, they run at you. And they just want to explode. Ivory draped thing. Tabard. Nice. Right, stab you. Just collect all their stuff. The tabards are actually quite good sometimes. They are surprisingly effective in terms of balance between damage da uh, damage resistance and weight. Like, I, I wore the, the basic tabard from, like, the starting area for, like, cocking ages. Because it's actually quite... It was uh, a very good balance. Right, take you out. And get back down to the ground... Uh, pretty easily. So if I want to get down to the ground, I can do that. So I can get around to there. Let's actually, yeah, repeat the journey I was just on. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Which I'm pretty sure was well I see you guys here. This is this doesn't seem right. Well I can get to here. I've not been onto this roof before. This gets me to here. I see you buddy <laughs> I see you down there. You're kind of clearly supposed to be a Okay, fine. Didn't actually mean to do that, but but sure. You're clearly supposed to be an ambush man. Uh, instead, you just uh, yourself get ambushed, so that's good. Uh, I see you down over there. Uh, you can be, yeah, charge comet man. Go. And go. Just take them out. There's another. There's the urge tree. If he sees me, he's going to start doing his random bullshit. His random bullshit being... Actually, can I can I hit you from here? Can, can I hit the Earth Tree avatar from here? Just from up here on, on this ledge. Oh, I can as well. Fuck you. Uh-oh, he's about to do his thing, though. Okay, but can I, can I just hide back here? Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Life is, life is suddenly good. Because that spell is bullshit. But he can't actually cast it any higher than what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to just keep casting that spell forever, aren't you? And then he's going to lose interest in me. Then I'm going to charge this up. And then we're just going to do that. And then we're going to take you out. No trouble, matey. Oh, yeah. Life is good. They're just going to do that. They can just hide here until he gets bored. Great. Okay, so we can cheese him. Clap. All yours. Yes, while we cheese. Yes, while we're cheesing him. Uh, we shout cheese. out to Ilana, who's been a member for 27 months. Uh, and they say, uh, I'm here, I'm queer, I'd like a nap. Oh. Happy Pride Month. That sounds like an excellent use of Pride Month right there. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the MATM Discord Book Club has some reading prompts to celebrate the club's third year anniversary. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. And of course, Ilana runs the uh, Discord Book Club. Uh, shout out also to Chitara, who's been a member of 49 months, uh, and says, Happy Pride, everyone! Happy Pride! Uh, happy Pride, indeed. Uh, Demon Runner gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and Demon Runner says, Glad to see you live again. I can't wait for the trumpet section to begin. Trumpets? I don't know if this is a joke or not. Well, there's the snowmen, like, have little, like, some of them have, like, horns. That yeah, could I mean, be. I don't know, because with this game, who knows if it could be a joke or not. Um, yes, indeed. And, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Dear, oh dear. And uh, also, praise Tabby, true Elden Lord. Yeah, Tabby is the true Elden Lord. Her cuteness befits a crown, as the meme goes. Uh huh. And uh, speaking of uh, Tabby, our true Elden Lord, uh, shout out to Genesis. Ooh, shout out to <laughs> Genesis Piano Transcriber, uh, who gave us $10 uh, and uh, says, My adult. Bunny uh, went oh. through some similar issues like Tabby and is still with us today. He uh, Here's a bit of cash to get Tabby some treats or anything else she might need. You dead, buddy? Yep, there we go. That's one Earth Tree avatar taken out. And that gets me the Rotten Staff, uh, which I assume is not actually a, a staff. 
No, it's not a staff. It's going to be like a halberd or a great hammer or something because it's very big. Uh, so I need to sort my weapons out at some point. There it is. It's a colossal weapon. Strength of 34. Okay, feel like that ain't for me. Not, not, not my weapon right there. Strength of 34 is not me. So, okay, that's the Earth Tree Avatar. Just cheese to death. Brilliant. Love it. Uh, drop down to you idiots. Maybe get some more, uh, new armor if I'm lucky. I've got the... Yeah, I've got the basic starting McJibbles. Uh, where's the rest of the... Oh, I shouldn't have dropped down there, because now I can't get so easily down to here. Uh, hello! Yes, it's me. And also, there's more of you here, aren't there? Yes, everyone just, uh, in, in line. We just need to take out the basic lads here. Claire, all yours while we just take care of these bastards. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Nathaniel who uh, gave us five dollars and says greeting to the Holy Trinity, John, Claire, and Tabby. I downloaded War of the Commonwealth after I saw your video and found a glowing behemoth outside Sanctuary at level two. Lol. I didn't get that, which was fortunate. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get anything too bad. I mine was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like the game could have been far meaner if it really wanted to be. So that was that was nice, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to cross over. So we need to go up. This is where the snipers are, isn't it? Uh, this is the sniper territory. I think we're just going to ignore you. Then there's going to be the snipers over here. Let's so just run away from them for a second because they're probably about to try and snipe me. Yep, there we go. Thought so. But now I'm going to be out of range, so they're not going to be able to do that then what we want is yes find an opportunity to drop down and find the right opportunity to drop down which i think is oh the the, the vertical navigation is tricky uh is it this rooftop this doesn't look right where's the right where's the right rooftop hang about clap while i try to figure this out uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Alex, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Uh, Canadian dollars. Best dollars! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, Alex says, uh, hello, John and Claire. I've just rewatched all the uh, Life is Strange playthroughs and sequels. I just wanted to say, John, you're a sweetie. Your commentary and the times you get emotional just make me love you. Uh, if you want, if you want to see that, I think before your eyes is the 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 top all timer for that. Oh dear, before your eyes with the cat that came back. That was that was that was yeah. My brain couldn't deal with that. I was very upset, as Claire will 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 tell you. I I came out very upset and had to tell Claire about the cat that came back. Yes, and uh, it, the, if you want a sample of the feelings that Jones had to deal with this week when we were worried about Tabby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little bunny butt. Actually, you know what? It looks like I could jump to here. There's clearly something going on there. That would get me to the far side. That would let me bypass them. So, okay, if we just jump to about here. Oh. Okay, I feel like that is... That's... I feel like there's going to be a lift elsewhere to sort this out. Unless I can pull this. No, nope, contraption does not move. Great. Uh, I feel like... Oh, hang on. But there's a ladder. Okay, well, this is all fascinating. I was just trying to get over to the other side. And I thought I might be able to cotton wool my way down onto where the... Excuse me, where the avatar was. Which I still think might be possible. But this feels like this is... I mean, it didn't look like there was a lift at the bottom. Suggesting there's a lift at the top. But in which case, what's the middle floor? Four. Okay, well, I found a bell. Ooh, a Mekelan Knight Sword. Is that by any chance like a special faithy sword or something? Hang about, hang about, hang about, hang on, hang about. That is, uh, yeah, it's a faith sword, non intelligent sword. So, yeah, that's like the Karian Knight Sword, but for faith, not intelligence, which makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, that gets me to. Oh, hang on. That gets me onto this branch, which is. Potentially of interest. I mean, I see you guys. Hello. Didn't realise uh, there was anyone up here before. I'm not sure I've been up here before. All right, take you out. That's some of you dead right there. Uh, no, you don't. Whatever it is you're doing, don't don't do it and don't explode. Right, that gets me to here. Here. Jump. 
sword. Well, you appear to be... Yeah, I was about to say, I was pretty sure you existed. Oh no, this is just... Okay, this is just exactly the area I was in before. Okay, I could have just walked up this branch at any point. I just did not realise I could walk up this branch at any point. Because I, I completely 100% can. Okay, well that's that's all absolutely fine then. Uh, in which case, yes, I need to find uh, the best crossing point. So I think it is, yeah, it's over to here. And then I can take... This is another potential crossing point right here. This gets me to... Wait, what? Oh, now I'm down... Yeah, now I'm downstairs on the flat. There's a courtyard here, but I do not trust it. Not one little bit, actually, but... Uh, you know what? Go. Go. Right, so that's a recharge of my health things. I see you guys. Yeah, so if I drop down here, this gets me to here. There is you two guys who are never bothered taking out. This leads down in the direction of that. So I've kind of I've cut to the side on the right of where I was to this here courtyard. No, you don't, buddy. No, you don't. I'm running low on yeah magic things and go. Okay. I'm hearing big heavy footsteps, like very heavy footsteps. Who's around? Because I feel like there's going to be... Oh, hello! It's probably you! I see whatever you are. I see you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine, buddy. And normally you guys have a friend. Alright, I've taken care of you guys before and normally you've got a friend. I bet I could, can I squeeze a moon through that door? I feel like I don't need to. I feel like actually... You know, I'm going to try... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Comet... Lock on. I'm going to try Comet Azure. Blip, 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 He got out of the way. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, get on to Comet. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's, he's coming round. Oh, he, 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 he snuck round. He snuck round. I can't get a lock. Okay, there you go. I've got a bit of a lock there. That was, oh, that was a great little shot straight through the pillars. Fuck you. Clean rock night goes down. Do you have a friend? Because previously I've seen you guys in pairs. Doesn't look like it. All right. So this is... Oh, Claire, do you need to... Are you tired, Claire? Uh, Ooh, sorry. Clean just, her at night, Finlay. I've just not been sleeping very well because we were Because so we're worried, worried about, about poor little Tiblet. Um, That's a reasonable thing, yes. It's fine. I'm going to need to go check on her at some point and make sure she has, like, food and stuff. Yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. But shout out to the Green Smurf who uh, gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, the Green Smurf says, hello, both John and Claire. I've finally been able to catch a live stream. Thank you both for the endless hours of amazing content as some of my favorite creators. Please keep up the great work, and I look forward to the next time. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. And there's another clean there's another clean night in here. Oh, yeah, there is, and I can't summon anyone to help. Uh, this is, oh, there's two. That's a pair, and this is a very awkward room. I definitely can't make a jump. Oh, fudge. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can magic wand them to death, but then I don't want to fight on this balcony, to be honest. Um, okay, Terra Magica. And then if I just go for Charged Comet into more Comets, I can take you out before you wake up proper. Yeah, there you go. The question is, does your friend know where I am? Footsteps. If he comes out, I think I just need to roll past him and get inside so I'm not by the ledge. I've not taken these guys on directly at this point. I don't think he knows. Camera. Ooh, hello. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy, bud. Go. Chain cast, chain cast, chain cast, chain cast, chain cast. Go. Oh, oh he almost pushed me off the edge there. Whew, whew. All right. He almost pushed me off the edge. Also, I did not check whether there was a third, which I should have done. Because, cause, yeah, that, it's entirely possible they could have been a third. I just thought, ah, there definitely wasn't a third. I'm John. Okay, everything's fine. You're so cute. I think I'm where I want to be, which is uh, one. I want to take you guys out. 
Fast. Oh, you're about to explode, aren't you? Yes, you are, but you killed your friend too. Oh, there's several of you. Oh, there's a few, actually. Uh, go. Go. Activate random bullshit. Oh, you've got a crossbow. Right, there we go. And then jump attack. We'll definitely finish you off. Thank you. That's just bolts. I think now I am to the right of all of the the thing. I think I'm down and to the right versus the front door. Should have looked on the map, to be honest, to verify that thing. Because now I don't know. Uh, but I think where I am right now is if I were to go back this way, I think this would bring me onto the lower path that had the Urd tree thing on it, right? Right, that's both of you dead. No, fine. All right. Is this the lower path with the Urd tree? No, that's the lower path with the Urd tree. So, okay. Actually, no, this is... Okay, that room is actually straight on. If I could have just got down to that room direct. I just took a really indirect route to get to that. So, if you go straight on, you get to the impenetrable nightmare of uh, spikes and whatever. Which I think is up and to the left now. I think that's the front door. I'm down to the right of that, which is what I wanted. Just double check for more. No, it's right there. I, I'm, I'm literally back to the exact spot I, I th said I needed to avoid. I need to be one further over. I have to get over there. But actually, it looks to me like if I just hop over here, walk down there, get over here, I see two of you guys. Okay, you know what? I need to ideally take out... I think I can take out you from range. I just don't know whether... Uh... And also, are you going to be aware of me? Oh, I don't like this. Uh, okay. Hop up to, to here without falling off. Oh, there's another Royal Revenant down there. Or possibly it's just the same one respawned. Okay, from here, I'm pretty confident I can hit you. Because you do not take a step forward when you... But sometimes you take a step backwards, apparently. How on earth did all four of them make it through? Now, what are you going to do, buddy? Can you actually do anything about me? Then three of them made it over. That's wild. Yeah, you can't do anything to me now, can you? I'm almost out of magic. Okay, but now they're all close together. Um, do you even have any ranged? I don't know. Just fire all the arrows. One of them made it over there. I need I need, I need, an error effect. I, moon. I need moon. Hey, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys, guys. guys, 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 guys. Oh, fuck. One of them's got projectile. Uh, shields up. Fuck you all! Nice. Good work. Moon again. Moon, 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 moon. It's doing some good work. Uh, basic comet should take you out. You're the tough ones. And then go. Go. I am out of everything. Um, okay. It's time to activate all bullshit mode. Uh, all spells now free for about 20 seconds. Right, you're dead. And then you're going to be dead. Okay, I'm now, as soon as this wears off, I'm out of magic for good. Uh, until I get to the next thing. So, check. Room clear. Room clear. Room clear. Now to magic. Uh, can't even do transit moonlight. Uh, turn on lantern. Could activate mimic. Uh, that's the only option I've got here. Oh, you better not make, tell me this is a dead end room. No, it's not. There's a staircase to the far side. Great. Okay, just... I'm hearing the flapping of wings. Some really, really concerning wing flapping, actually. Above me. It might be on it might be on the roof of the level above. Okay, so this is where I wanted to be. I figured there might be a trap there. Yeah, I flipping saw you. I I this is this isn't my flipping doorway, son. Alright, I flipping knew you were coming. Alright, and buddy. Come on, buddy. And it, look, we're, we're all, yeah, there we go. Now, let's, let's just, let's just, let's, let's not, you know, pretend that we're not, this is our first time. You hit me, I counter. Let's go. There we go. And then you get knocked down immediately and I just finish you off with the follow-up lights. All right, so that's you dead with no magic use because counters are really powerful. Now, I think if I go over here and stay on this side of the staircase, the lads with the blisters can't hit me. Uh, speaking of which, there's a ladder with a blister. Just check you've got no more friends. 
Yeah, they can't even see my... Oh, there's another Coconut Tree Avatar there. Brilliant. Um, your basics. All right. Now, you buddy. I mean, I'll give you this guy. That guy is dedicated to his job. Now, I think someone said to me, if you break these, then they're just broken forever. Like, they, they don't come back if you just break them properly. If you just keep wailing on them, they're just gone now. Because when you die, you don't, like, reset to a respawn point. You're returning to a universe where you already were, but people come back to life. But these things aren't people. Most looks from up here. If I had the magic, I could just zap that guy. So, uh, I mean, live in hope. We've got the ability to do something. We've got, like, another point over here. Right, so that's you dead. Because Clean Rock Knights definitely respawn, uh, which is a problem. Hello, is that just Starlight? Ooh, Haley Tree Soldier Ashes. Probably the most superior. They're probably better than the Red Maids. I am in summon territory. In theory, my Mimic has an infinite magic. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Your what has infinite magic? My Mimic. If I summon a Mimic, who is me and I'm holding a staff, the Mimic also has the staff and access to all my spells, but the Mimic is not bound by the rules of FP. The Mimic can simply cast forever. Yeah, but the Mimic's also an idiot with what it casts. It is a little bit. Um, you're not wrong. Okay, and also, if that guy becomes aware of me, then it, he will 100% start spamming his stupid star ability. Now, there is a room up here. So I can just kind of bypass loop around the top of him. But I cannot make that jump, I don't think. If I go up to the top, is there any chance of a better jump I might be able to utilize? First off, rump. Very helpful. Mimic uses HP to cast... Oh, the Mimic uses its HP to cast. Mm, no, yeah. I know the Mimic uses my hit points to be spawned, but I've got plenty of healings. So that's fine. I don't know what they actually mean. Yes, the Mimic uses its hit points when it wants to cast. Because I use my hit points when I want to cast it. I just don't know if that's the same thing. Um, okay. So, you can make that jump. You can make that jump. Oh, I don't believe I can make that jump. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you've said that many times about jumps, and every time you were able to make the jump. Aside from the jump I repeatedly couldn't make. Yeah, you you couldn't make it twice, and people said you can make it, you just need to be careful. What's the right... The thing is, if I do it, like, here, it's, it's the ratio of distance versus height I need to get right. Like, if I make the jump about here... If I started sprinting about here, then go off. Guys, John doesn't like heights. Not good with heights, to be honest. Ooh, a night helm. That's nice. Okay, so now now I've bypassed that idiot. Oh, save point. Can I actually just use it? Like sometimes the game's a bit funny about what you. Is there anyone else in here? Okay, use the, use the ladder. Check, there's no one else in here. I think I've just bypassed the stupid tree avatar. Oh! Yes! Fuck you, tree avatar! Rump and jump. Do, run and jump. Do it, do it, do it. I like that you, you that's a good Freudian slip there, Claire, that you went to rump and jump. <laughs> Listen. Good old, good, the good old rump and jump, as we call, as the kids call it these days. Yes, yes, I'm Everyone sure. loves the old rump and jump. <laughs> All right, so we bypass that. All right, well, now that we've got this saved, uh, one, I've probably got enough. I've, you, you swim in rooms in this place, like an insane amount of rooms. Yes, because because it's a high level, you know, end game thing where it's difficult. Yeah, but now we're here. Can I just get behind this guy and then just one? Activate Terra Magica. And then two, just immediately Comet Azure him. And fuck you, Button! Ow, he punched me. Well, that was rude. Okay, now get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Now just run. He can't follow me down this corridor. He's too big. Uh, there might be other stuff down this corridor. But okay, now, now we just go over here. Oh, now he does his bullshit ability. 
That's fine. We just hide around the corner for a second. Assuming there's nothing else in here, which there appears to not be. Then he's going to get bored and wander off. Then we just do it again. <laughs> I think he just got stuck in the door and thus faded out of existence in order to reset his position. But I don't think he's allowed to reset his health. Not in the same universe. That's against the rules, which I'm completely obeying right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Terra Magica. Just top up the uh, magic because I'm, I'm, I'm nice like that. And fuck you, button! I enjoy the fuck you button. Oh, that was just a Lord's room. That was worth, like, nothing. <laughs> but he won't come back now. Uh, Erd Tree Avatars are yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. you don't come back enemies. Plus, he's probably worth a fair... Yeah, he was worth, like, 80,000 or something, like, 50,000, I think, uh, all by himself. Now, are you guys back? Oh, hello! Sorry! My, my bad. Sorry, I didn't realise you guys were... Ooh! I'll get you using sorceries, not faith. Well, that just feels not right, and... Go. Oh, this, okay, I've, uh, these guys might be more trouble, actually. Uh, well, are they immune to magic if they're also sorcerers? Bra oh, d Whoa, wow, okay. Woo, what okay. did you just do, buddy? I think that was like a, a two-hit combo, and it was just both of them were like half my health bar. I just wanted to go and check out what was hanging out at the front door. Those guys are tougher than the Earth Tree Avatar. <laughs> oh, uh, so dear. the Avatar dropped an item and you lost it when you rested. What? Oh, did he drop an item? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what did he drop? I, I don't know, but I'm... Tell us what he dropped. I'm what, what assuming it... you can't get it back. No, nope, definitely not. He doesn't exist anymore. Oh, well. Hope it wasn't any good. Right. Take out you. Take out you. Uh, you got Ah, hit. you got hit by a he by oh. that guy in a arrow at the same time. Yeah, I see this guy. I can probably bait one of them without... Actually, I'm even in summon zone. Uh, so that would definitely make life uh, easier. If just, you know, Titch was allowed to be here, for example. That actually, actually, I think this is actually a good time for Radan Soldier Ashes. I like having multiple, uh, multiple Soldier Ashes. Because then that's just, yeah, then they, they, they can both keep one person distracted uh, simultaneously. Uh, which is always welcome. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And then just wait for you to do something and then wait. Did no. you pick up your runes? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. Uh, where are my runes? They're around here somewhere, I assume. Oh, they're back here. Oh, sorry. I'll just, I'll just let my Radan soldiers get on with it for a second. I'll, I'll get back to you guys in a second. Uh, oh! Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's under, it's under control. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, actually, you know what? They're, they're, shield, they're shielding. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, that was the wrong weapon. Oh, they've got healing! Where's my Radan number two? Well, that's not fair. Okay, this is, this is going not desperately well. They're not opening up for me. And, uh, ow! Ow! Yeah, they, they, they hold their shields up more effectively. Ow! I feel like we just don't bother fighting these guys, to be honest. I feel like I'm, I'm happy just not fighting these guys. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna get my stuff, level up again, and we're just gonna keep on uh, wandering on downwards. It's all absolutely fine. Uh, okay, my Radan soldiers did not do the best, best job. Did not do the best job there. Must be sad. A lot of I've seen a lot of blood splatters around here. I feel like a lot of people die here. Um, I can probably even get up to the next level. I know it's like uh, many, many thousands away, but I've got so many elite. I've got I've got three Lord rooms. I'm gonna pop all three. I don't know what that means, but it's gonna be hundred and fifty thousand. That was too many. I should have just popped two. Two would have been fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for actually that's not a round number. I need round numbers, otherwise I I will curl up and die. It's it's just important to me. Wonder if I could actually make the next as well. I'm at 77. I need another 77,000. And I've got two hero rune fours. No, that won't be enough. That won't be enough, unfortunately. So we're just gonna crack on and hold on to those runes. So it's uh, it's all right. Everything's under control. Onwards and downwards. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Samir, who's been a member for two months and says, I started a new playthrough of this game, melee only. People are right. Sorcery really is easy mode. Wow. Lord. Rude. 
Uh, shout out to DB Explorer who gave us five dollars and says, "Nice hat." It is a really good hat. It is a great hat. Like this indeed. cave. This is nice, though. Admittedly, it's a little bit. Oh, that looks like. I'm guessing this is where the Lake of Rock comes from, because that to me looks like I don't know plants creating the rot and then a waterfall that goes mysteriously downwards it forever. I feel like I might be a you know somewhere nearby to the Cave of Rot, right? The Lake of Rot, because that that feels Lake of Rot to me wouldn't you say yeah i mean that tracks yeah uh behold gorgeous view i agree but i suspect these flowers are the source of the scarlet rot so okay let's check out what's going on over here first yeah precious item ahead as i suspected this room is probably just an item dead end hello heroes room five yeah don't leave that behind right then we're going forward and to be honest i'm a little bit concerned that there was a very big room with a very big scarlet rot lake and nothing in it. You know, just putting that out there. But that's that's my concern right now. I just feel like this, 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 this. Hmm. Backstepping required ahead. Okay. An enemy that I might need to back away from due to them pushing me hard. All right. Have a bit of a poke up ahead here. I feel like I don't want to be in the red stuff. I'm assuming that just makes my... I'm just gonna, we're going to we can test this before whatever shows up, shows up. Yep. You step in that stuff, Scarlet Rot meets stuff. Oh, hello! Oh, it's the prawns! It's you bastards! Okay, well that's interesting. And don't do your thing. Don't do your bullshit. Don't do the bullshit. Okay. It might be a pro... Oh, hello. Is that... Does that to you look like the giant skull of a dragon with something glowing inside it? Dra dragon skull with like its nostrils. Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about the flying butterflies. No, I think those oh, are but I think those yeah. are butterflies. Right, there's also clearly something going on over. Oh, I'm very slow. I might need, I might need to bolus in a second, but I just want to know what this is. Rot grease, completely worthless. Great. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Bye. Get rid of that. Just debolus myself. Okay. This is going to be a difficult fight. Read message. Try suffering. Try target lock. First off, range battle. Okay. People saying range battle is... Oh. There's something in there. And I might be able to snipe it before it's... I'm really supposed to. Oh. No. Not from using the wrong weapon. I'm not. Uh, Alright. Well, let's give it a go. Terra Magica. Whatever's down there. Let's see if I can hit it. Uh, Moon might be able to hit it because Moon's got splash on it. It's only got 500 health, whatever it is. Uh, okay. Let's just use this. Whatever it is, there's more of them. And I can't even see them right now. They've only got 500 health, which is really not much. Just a basic attack would do the job. Well, this is a thousand. What, in terms of how much uh, XP it's giving? Sorry, Root. Or songs. No, two thousand I mean, ago. They they can't be nothing. No, I mean one, a couple were five hundred HP, and then one was nine hundred, and one was eight hundred. Ah, some but of them are a bit tougher. Eight hundred. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not seeing anything else, so just get a little bit further forward. See if that's drawn their attention. Whatever they are. All right. I don't see any more trouble. However, I also don't see any way to cross this without taking... So, okay, in which case... Um, oh, no, that's just a ghost. Equipment. Set the bolusers as an item I can just spam use. Uh, the bolusers were completely at the top, weren't they? Yes, they were. Uh, set them right there. So, the bolusers are now available for quick use. Uh, nope. One more I can lock on to. The rest is mastery can do the job. I think it might be going away from me. It might have moved out of range. No, it's fine. Whatever it is, something lives in the Scarlet Rot. But oh, of course it does. Yeah, which I do not like. Well, there's an island in the middle, which I thought was a skull, which I could probably use as like a little starting point. Now that we're going to get close to them... You can backstep in the rot to move faster. Oh, but then I won't be able to see in front of me. I can see how this is uh, a problem. Jump! 
and now just start going and see what's what's around. See if anything's nearby. What is that? Jump out. Jump. No, jump out. Eat the boluses. Whatever it is, we can get a bit of a light hitting on them. Uh, can I get up to the next level? I don't think I can. Okay, there's another thing over there. <sighs> All right. I mean, there is a there's an island there's kind of an island over there. I don't think that's actually on the way to anything though. So I might just take out. Oh, just got you. Is it? Oh, is it a prawn? That one I can see. That's a prawn. I can see you. Which suggests maybe they're all prawns. But prawns have more health than that. Unless they're like baby ah, prawns or something. You can equip a dagger or maybe something else with quick step. Yeah. Uh, for the rock. Interesting. Okay, well that... No, they're not all prawns. That one's just a special back. And you just need to go down, buddy. Before you start casting your stupid threads at me. Because threads is terrifying. Uh, go to Great Glintstone. I see you. Okay. Check there's nothing over here. There's one over there. And pop another bolus. Get me out of here. Go. In the next safe spot. I still haven't discovered... Okay, that's a proper prawn up there. So don't worry about him. Acquire the materials. And then how do we get out? It looks like there might... It might be that over there, actually. Oh, uh-oh. I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear trouble. Prawn noise. Prawn noises. Prawn noises. Prawn rats. I think it's a baby. I think this might be where the prawns come from. I think this might be their nursery. I think I'm just murdering babies. I think that's what's happening. Okay, I think I go over there. Um, and then it's all fine. So jump. And then just walk because there is no way to go faster. Okay. Yeah, you need to be careful with the boluses as well. If you have something that can let you walk quicker so you use less of them. Ah. I think I might be able to craft more. Uh, I can make a few. Yeah, I've got enough to make a few. So that's fine. Okay, well we made it through the prawn nursery. So that's Good. Uh, then just make sure we drop. Oof. Careful onto here. Ooh, this area is stressful. It's all fine. Round two. Here. Everything is under control. Here, says somebody. I feel like that's not quite actually where you want to be. I feel like just dropping about here. Doing a jump forward is the easier, safer option. That gets me to here. Sword out just in case trouble. Now, oh, I thought I heard footsteps. Don't trust a room with a free thing. Never trust a room with a free thing. Check every angle first. Ladder downwards might be useful. Golden room 10, not bad. Okay, before we start going down and around, check everything else. So, okay. There's something going on over there. Looks like I need to go up along that branch, then drop down to get over there. But that's a one-way trip. So we do that second. Uh, Jeff, I go up here, then I can get onto that branch. So we're going down that ladder first. It's all under control. It's a very short ladder. Hello. What's... Oh, is there a big room at the end of this? Because I don't trust this. Keep hitting the lock... Just keep hitting the lock-on button. Just for... Oh, I don't trust this room. Oh, it's a safe room. Oh, I was wrong. I should have saved this room. Yay! Okay, we're all fine. How's my... Oh, now I can definitely get up to the next level with all my bullshit. Right, well, I just use all... I just spam all my bullshit. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Demon Runner, who gave us five Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says those uh, crystal guys, the crystalline whatever. Yep. The cr yeah. Yeah, crystalline something. Crystalline, yeah. yes. They take more damage from blunt weapons like clubs or maces. They will crack and take more damage. Well, I'm holding a club right now. This is my primary weapon. Yeah, I know. It's a club. Um, uh, alternatively, I've got my magic club right here. And then my defensive club on the other side. And uh, Larsa gave us 50 uh, Danish kroner. 
and says looking forward to watch this later i just wanted to drop in and donate 50 clubs and say thank you for all the clubs you really make my club club thank you for rearranging that to bring the club mockery up next i figured that was good that was coming oh yeah, dear yeah this is what i do this is why you have an organization system with categories that I then ignore if you ever wander out for 10 seconds. With categories like Happy Pride, so I can, you know, pepper them in at regular intervals. And about Elden Rings, about other games, recommendation, general things, Tabby Love. Oh, Tabby Love. Uh, so speaking well, sure, of... Hang on, what isn't Tabby Love, though? What messages don't love Tabby? This is specific <gasps> because we were talking about her being poorly. Yes. Yes. Um, but Miri Dog gave us ten dollars uh, and says, "My dog, rap legend Coco Dodo, <laughs> wishes to express uh, sympathy to Tabby. He's also a little bag of health problems. We just got back from the vet, and he's snoring next to me while I watched the stream." Yeah, Tabby came and joined you in your office, I think, for the first time since she came back today, didn't she? Yeah, she came to she come went and say on her hi. Nice Matt, and then we had. Cuddles. Well, you were very happy about that. And we were also very so happy to see happy. she was eating so much of her chicken. Yeah. Because she was... Well, her biggest problem is her pancreas and kidneys act up and she stops eating, which makes her feel worse, which makes her want to eat even less, etc., etc. So she gets stuck in a cycle of not eating. Uh, that's the problem Tabby has. And her Tabby medicine has. is in her food. And all the know, medicine's so in like, her food. Yeah. So, okay, drainage channel is where I need to be if I want to travel away then back or anything. So, okay... We're through the nursery. We're making progress. We're going for it. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Amazing. Um, you know how there's, there's various commands like ban some of the mods, ban Claire, ban John, whatever. Yeah, I feel like that last one gets used a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and um, and uh, when when you do uh, when you do exclamation point ban John, yeah. uh, Nightbot says, I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> As much as it wishes it could. Exactly. Uh, and then... Um, <laughs> here is a thing I didn't know had been coded in, because obviously <laughs> no one has ever used it. Uh, exclamation mark, ban Tabby. <gasps> um, Who in would that it? case, Nightbot has been coded to reply, No, your place. That's about right. I feel like anyone who types ban Tabby should themselves be banned. Well, I think uh, I think uh, the person who uh, typed that in did it to demonstrate what Nightbot would say, and for no other reason. Good. Um, as I know, they love Tabby very oh, much. Oh, what, what, what? Uh oh, uh oh, uh, fog, fog, problems, problems, mistake, cocking thing, which I forget the name of. Uh, ow! Bastard thing. I am I in summoning territory? I'm not in summoning territory. Oh fuck me! Uh, I don't know how to fight these things, aside from random bullshit, and I, I can't escape this area. Uh, ow! Oh, these these bastards are scary. Uh, get up to the high ground, it might be possible I can get some range. I might There might be a bit of a safe spot around the rear. He might not be able to get to us effectively. Uh, I mean, he's big. Like moon or something? Yeah, I might be able to... Uh, over here, I might be able to... I promise, without a lock on him, it's very hard yeah. to... It's very difficult to... Okay, he's going to try and do a Scarlet Breath attack there. Can I just bypass him? I mean, I'm not sure why... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a problem. Without a lock, I can't really reliably cast magic. And I don't know where the lock's supposed to be. Because it clearly ain't on his head. So... Okay, wait. Can I ice storm him right about here? He's doing something. That's it spooked him off a little bit. But I don't have the lock up here. Which is very... Oh, the lock's on the middle of him. Which is a problem. Because uh, it means I can't really do much to him. Uh, oh, that's... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, he's got Scarlet Rock Breath. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay. Um, what's plan B when I don't have any assistance in the form of my friends? Uh, okay, if I can just get over to here. He's, he's a very fast mover. Uh, we're just going to try and vaguely... <laughs> Broke the lock at the exact moment the spell went off. So it just randomly misfired. Brilliant. Love it. Okay, get over to here. Okay, hold about there. And random bullshit attack. 
did something. That did some good damage. To be honest, that worked better than I think anyone was expecting it to. Uh, I think what I can probably do is I can lure him over to this side. Then I just retreat up the hill. And then, yeah, while he's trying to do his attacks over here. And then stay over to here. Then we just activate random bullshit attack and we can get some good damage on him. Boom, 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 boom. Just move slightly, you bastard. Uh-oh. Oh, now I'm in the thing. I'm in the drink. I'm in the drink. I'm in the drink. I can't cocking say. Uh, ow. You know you shouldn't be drinking that, right? Yeah. It's all fine. It's all under control. Aside from the bits where it's not. Now he's just holding still for a sec. He was just doing his, his thing. He just did a big explosion. Then he's over to here. Okay, just wait, wait. Scarlet Rot. Uh, balls. No, that was just my stamina breaking. Nothing else. Oh, this is... His attacks kind of go through the floor. Which is... Feels wrong. Uh, now he's in a... Uh, fudge. Okay, get up. Get to a high position. Get to a high position. I, until I'm, I can't get the lock on because it's not on his head. Which is kind of fiddly. Uh, he's doing a lot of explosions right now. A lot of explosions. Okay, there's a lock. Okay, and get out! I think I'm being eaten. I can just about take that. If I can get up fast enough. And I need to get up now. And then I need to bollocks. Uh, bollocks. Go. Okay, so if I get eat, I can, I can survive and eat on full health. But only just. And go! didn't work so well. Uh, ow! Ow! I can't see what's happening. Oh, this is shield broken. Out of everything. Activate final mega potion. Last chance. Fall into fall into rot. Get that. Get those remains. Road over to here. Get out of here. Activate. Lock on, you stupid fuckwit! And this is my last chance here because I'm out of... Well, that's me, Deb. Nice. Don't know why I even have to take him out. Um, if we kill him, does does it open a door? Hmm. Interesting. Well, someone's just saying I never fought this enemy, suggesting this is not the right way. Uh. Also, there was just a message on screen, something about passive healing something, and I don't know what it was. Um. Also, oh, I was under the effect of my thing. I, I didn't lose my 9,000 runes because I was under the effect of my thing when I died. Lol. Okay. So hang on. If that's not the right way to go, then what what is? If you get... If you beat him, you get the next part of Millicent's quest. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not sure that I don't... You don't have to kill it. It's part of a quest. You want death for Millicent? Yeah, but... I'd, there's questions as to how much I care about Millicent, to be honest. Wow. Like, she's fine, but I'm not sure I, I... But what's the alternative way through? Like, this looked like it was a... There was no other way to proceed. I've crossed this. There was no other way that way. I... Ice spells against it? Uh, I've not got that many good ice spells that can work at range. Uh... All right, and you can't even. Oh, can I not even? Can I? Can I not even summon human friends? A human friends allowed here. Are we allowed human friends? If we're allowed human friends, then okay, we're going to attempt human the friends. The same branch you used to get there, you can use to cheese him. If I can get him to spawn, but I, it looked like he wasn't spawning until such time as I jumped. Ah. I can jump. Uh, la, 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 la. I think I see how we cheese him. Yeah. I can jump down off that down again. I just need to get him to spawn. Hey, buddy. As soon as I hear the rumbling, then I can jump to here. Yeah, this spot. Jump there. Then I can run back to the high ground. I just need to spawn him. I think he spawns if you go deep enough in. As soon as we hear any rumbling, we just run. He was somewhere around here last time. Yeah? Hey, buddy. You want to come out and play? Because now I know how to cheese you. Yeah? No? Well, I'm not going into the thing. You could you could take that and shove it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss myself straight off the cliff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the jump. Just FYI. Hey, buddy. Hi. Be wary of monstrosity. 
he, he, he's not coming out to play. <laughs> Hello. Hi. If I step in the thing briefly, will he come out? I've just made some. I've made made a bit of splash. Do we need to go around further? Buddy. Well, some people are saying touch the rot, but you've clearly done that. I put my foot in the rot. I did. There he is. Okay. Looks like the trigger is like on the far side over there. All right. Fuck you, buddy. 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 Jump. Now get over to here and then get some distance before he knocks me off. And now I'm ten million miles away. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. So now we cheese him. Claire, all yours while well, Operation Cheese is done. Oh, okay, so, uh, do, you, do you love that Operation Cheese? Operation Cheese, go! Random bullshit, activate! Uh -huh. uh, shout out to uh, Joachim, who uh, gave us 50 Swedish kroner, uh, kroners, and uh, said, I'm happy to see a Source game clicking for John. Yeah. There are so much, uh, there's so much fun, quirky, silly, memorable stuff in them beyond the difficulty uh, and some well wishes for Tibby. Oh, Tibbs is a good girl. Okay, I've just said something interesting by the way. Mm -hmm. After only three blasts from this thing he fell over. Uh, clearly the four arrows do way more poise damage than anything else would. That's way more poise damage. Well, the rest he... of mastery. Yeah, because there's four arrows. So I'm guessing each one does a certain amount of poise damage. Because that was way more poise damage than we've seen before. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck doing your stupid... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Activate cheese mode. That's how you beat Souls games. All right? You cheese them. Nom, you... nom, 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 cheese. Claire approved... Nom. Like, Claire... There's no way Claire would ever did not approve of cheese. Yeah, of course. Obviously. And it looks like, actually, the attack that breaks him does... And I never heard this before, but it looks like the attack that causes a poise break does bonus damage. That's like 2,300 damage, as opposed to the normal attacks, which is like 1,600 to full four hit. So I thought that was actually a bit less, so... Yeah, because that might not have been... Maybe that just hit a different part of his body, but they were doing about, yeah, 1,600. But the attack that breaks him does like 2,300. So I'm not sure if like, you get bonus damage on the poise break or something, and... All right, so that's nice. that. That's that taken care of. A gold. I literally can't use a golden seed. Why? I, uh, my because they upgrade your flask, and my flask is already fully upgraded. Oh, I see. So all right, Can that's, you pop it? Huh? Can you pop it? No, 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 no. That's um, that's great souls or remembrance as you pop. Ah, uh, I'm not sure the seed do anything now. So okay, now but that yes, he's don't fall, John. Watch your footing. Now that he's dead. What am I supposed to do now? Because that's still a dead end. So where was I supposed to go? Because I went, you know, into what I felt was... Am I supposed to go the other way? Like, beyond, beyond those three... Because I never got to the end of the path the other direction. I got I got past two Royal right, Revenant, uh, not the third. Now rest and come back. Okay. Zussi now says after killing the rot monster, uh, suggests reloading the area and heading back to the air to the arena you find them in. Okay, we'll do that. Claire, while well, I just mm. head back over there. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Shout out to Micro Raptor who gave us fifty Swedish krona. Excellent krona. Uh, and says happy Pride Month. I love that John sometimes chooses sometimes chooses queer options in games. It is this is such an awesome and supportive community. Ah, I, I you know I don't even think about it. So it's just like, you know, it's it's sorry, it's not such a twat thing to say. It's I don't I don't see I don't see color or so. It's like, I just don't even really think about it. It's just you know. It's just we have like a lot of queer people in our lives. Yeah. So it's a normal part of our lives. Yeah. You know. All right. So back to the fondue bowl. And apparently, yeah, if you're looking to summon someone, you'd be looking for a big, here we go, golden thing. Be summoned to assist Millicent. Be summoned to challenge Millicent. Why would I want to challenge Millicent? 
does, does she want to be challenged? Because plenty of people in this game are just kind of weirdos who want to test their strength against other people. And, like, most people, like, well... The game's kind of about how everyone, like, you're trapped in this deathless society where everyone who dies comes back. Apart from the people who don't. Like, demigods just don't. Everyone else does. Like, demigods, the most powerful of all creatures, are the only ones who aren't immortal. Which is kind of weird, when you think about it. So... Okay. People say do it, but, like, they're not specifying which one they want me to do. Uh, help her, help her... Okay, help her. She drops a talisman. No challenge. Uh, okay. If you go back to... Oh, Gowry. Yes, he had something to do with her. The guy outside... Uh, Selenia... Solana... Celia... Celia City in Kaled. Yeah, different talisman if you kill or save her. Help her for a better reward. We'll give it a go. Sure. I'll assist Millicent. What are we assisting her with? FYI. <laughs> Um, okay, Millicent, you know, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be wanting you to do most of the, the line share of the work here. Alright, just let's stay out the way and... Oh, blimey, okay, well, I got immediately punted off a clip. Ow! This isn't going well. I feel like I didn't assist. I think Millicent's winning this by herself, actually. Amy, Mar Amy Mary and Maureen. Nice. Uh-huh. I feel like she was winning that. I think she was doing just fine by herself. And we should just let her do her thing. Uh okay, I'm just gonna i I'm just gonna stay back and like just toss in bullshit magic. Just stay back and don't fall in the water. Broadly, yes, that's the plan. I'm just gonna try I'm just gonna stay near her and uh just do bullshit. Actually, you know what? Ice magic could probably be pretty good right here. Because that's air of effect, so but Oh, fudge. This is... My spells are too slow. These people have lots of fast moving attacks here. Uh, okay, now none of them are paying attention to me. Apart from the fact... Okay, two of them now are. Which is... They, they hit like... They, okay, these people hit like flipping trucks. This is this is not going desperately well, actually. Uh, how much damage... Do, they're also good dodgers. That's excellent dodging. Um, so magic actually is not the... Oh! Well, okay. Millicent is... Actually, Millicent can heal. Okay. I think we just need to basically run around in a circle. And just distract. Yeah, you did say you would stay back and then you didn't stay back at all. Yeah, I think we need to... They, they were kind of rushing me. I think I just... You have to keep you have to keep Millicent alive. I think Millicent's doing a pretty good job keeping herself alive. Millicent's doing sure. just fine. I think I stay out of this. Uh, okay, magic's clearly not working. All you have to do is keep her from getting stun locked, and she will win. Okay, I, I'm gonna go to Rani's moon. Uh, if I just basically run in a circle and just draw their attention, because uh, Rani's moon is actually Rani's moon is air of effect. That will hit all of them. Fuck you. And then I can spawn a second moon at the meantime. That's doing a load of damage. Uh, just keep putting the moons over there. Boom. That's going to take you out. That's Amy dead. Uh, okay, now some of them are coming in my direction. So now Millicent has basically got less stress on her for the time being. Uh, get over to here. Go over to sword. I'm now kind of trapped in a corner. Oh. Are they affected by the raw? I'm not sure if they are. Take out. Oh, okay. Right, there's Mary dead. We done it? I think she took. Yep, there we go. I took out. Uh, I took out two. She took out two. So the moon was really effective because the moon's Very a big good. area of splash, and I can do it from so far away and at home, so they can't dodge it. Okay, so rotten winged sword insignia. Sometimes I am baffled how your decision making works, John. Okay. I mean, it worked. It did work. In fact, like, once you did that, that turned into a really easy fight. Um, because she did all the work. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Okay, so if you do a, if you're going in for like a, a, a really big swingy swing, say two-handed, uh, two-handed power stancing, that will be incredibly powerful by the Luxie of it. It's so, alright. That's pretty cool. But you often do chain... Is that only for chain attacks with, like, your swords or whatever? 
Because you often it do says, shit in magic. I think it said weapons, didn't oh, it? Oh, fair enough. Uh, attack normally means not casting. Mm. Attack normally means a, an attack with a weapon. But if it does apply to... Okay, now we need to quit and reload. It's very strange the way this game works, which is like, you know, why can't the next stage just be here now? Why do I have to reset the game in order to make the next stage of the quest load? And make and then... sure to talk to her. Well, I hope she wasn't there because I just went away because the game said, because the chat said, now reset the area again. I didn't see her. Uh, okay. Well, I hope she's there now. We're going we're gonna to go back to her again. So, yeah, it just feels strange that there's so many instances in this game where you have to, like, uh, yeah, do this weird thing. Where you just have to, like, reset the area for anything of note to happen. All very peculiar. Right, take you out. Over to here. Over to here. I see what looks like something glowing in the distance over there. Zoop! Uh, oh, something's saying it boosts some spells. Hi, yeah, I see you over here. Right, so... What what have we got? Because I, I tossed some moons at your sisters. Oh, you're not looking so hot. You okay? Oh. Hello. Hi! Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel like you could. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. Okay, but like, are, are you okay? But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Okay, the needle was the gold needle I gave to her in the early stages of her quest that, like, cured the scarlet rot. So now she's... she's scarlet rot again. Please. Let me pass alone. The scarlet rot writhes now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse-laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. I mean, or you could just put the needle back in. Please. Okay, now she's repeating herself. Um, they were saying there was a special artifact if I was to... If I was to, you know, take her out in a duel. If I just kill her now, do I get the artifact anyway? No, she's got a magic barrier. She's got the magic plot barrier. The essential barrier of yellow. Boo. But, okay. Now you reload. Now I have to reload. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did no one any, is this how it's just always been in Souls? You just have to reset the universe over and over again to make well, the no, plot I think, happen. I think you you should have... I think you didn't need to reload before talking to her. You need to talk to her and then reload or whatever. This just feels like the sort of thing that somebody should have said to them. Hey, I mean, sure, is, yes. is there a better system than having to reload the entire... The reload the game every time to make the plot progress? Like, just... Not... All right, take you out again. Back over to you. Uh, flibbly lipple. Because it's not like, you know, the game's waiting to assumption. Oh, well, the next time you pass by this area, so the plot passes organically. Because this is a dead end. It's not like we're coming back here again. So, okay, is she now a, a weird monster creature? Do we have to... Oh, is that the thing I would have got for fighting it? Do I get both the rewards because I helped her? Because that would be nice. Unalloyed gold needle. Key item. Okay. Uh, infantry, key items. Read the description. See, I'm getting good at this. Um, removed from by Millicent from her flesh. Bears no trace of befouled blood. Moist with dew. Gross. There is something I must return to Melenia. The dignity, the sense of self allowed her to resist. Oh. I see. Is this an I Is this like, because like when you're taking on um, what's his face? Ah. The omen. When you face what I see. There's a special... No, let, let me try and figure this out myself. There was a special item you can buy from Patches that makes the boss fight against 
uh, what's his face? <gasps> you knocked over the tabby photo, you monster. Mm -hmm. That makes that fight easier. By any chance, is this item something I can use in the fight against Melenia to make that fight easier? Because that feels like the best option to me. Um, so what people were saying about the like the plot thing that you just asked about before, yeah, uh, was that like the needle doesn't cure the rot itself; it just cures th the adverse effects of it mm -hmm. uh if millicent would if millicent had chosen to live on with that uh needle she would have flowered like melania and spread the rot eh. she wanted to live as her own person without the influence of the god of rot the needle would have caused her to become a rot valkyrie in the service of the god of rot so she took it out to spot stop herself from becoming a weepon uh, and that's from XDZ2, Twitchy B, and Ethan Burke. Uh, so thanks for explaining. Oh, fascinating. So, okay. Now that that's taken care of, how, where uh, are we supposed yeah, to okay. go now? It's, uh, it's probably not going to benefit your playthrough, but it's very important lore-wise, the needle. Apparently. Oh, fine. I mean, I see there's something going on way down, but I definitely can't make that drop. I feel like I need to be going down, but I don't see a way of safely going down. There's definitely something going on down there by the Luxie of it. And there's what looks like a path like at the ah. bottom of the waterfall, but I don't see how to get down to it. So ceiling fan enthusiast says the point like the idea of the system with the reloading. Yeah. Um uh it's always been this way because you reload every time that you die. So as you progress your advent uh, as you progress in your adventure, the NPCs progress and it makes them seem real if the system worked better than it actually does. Uh, so that's okay. the idea, but it doesn't always work. I see. Uh, so thank I you, see Ceiling conceptually how yes. that's supposed to work. So, okay, I can see there's a hole up there, but I don't see a way of getting up to it. Go to the buttresses through the bonfire room. Reload to the grace. It's where you... Buttresses. It's where you need to go go past the grace. It's what we call a loopsy round moment. Okay, hang on. Uh, I mean, yeah, the only place I didn't go was... Uh, flibbly jibble. Yes, the other way round the tree. Past all of the... Go outside from grace. Okay, we're going to go outside from grace. Uh, so now we're back at the prayer room, and okay, everything still looks about the same to me. But it looks like I need to go, yeah, just now down the other way, presumably. Uh, hello, don't mind me. Just back off for a second. Hello, you're about to explode, aren't you? Enjoy how they don't damage each other, though. They don't damage each other while exploding, which is uh, which oh, is excellent. because they're like fire magic or something. Something like that. Right. Okay. We're back outside. Uh, outside. Oh, outside from the drainage channel. Ah, I see. So yes, apparently, possibly now there'll be something outside if I look outside from that area. Okay. Okay. So uh, whilst you get there, shout out to Samir who gave us uh, eighteen hundred rupees. And uh, says, Happy Pride Month, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Pride Month to you, too. Uh, indeed. And Samir has been extremely generous today. There's loads of uh, different donations. Uh, and Samir also uh, donated 5,000 rupees. Oh, blimey. Uh, and says, I must say, John has become genuinely good at this game for someone who never plays this type of game. Yeah, the other one's just, like, so it's been a mixed bag, like... Dark Souls 3 kind of worked for me, but I, I did hit a wall eventually. Dark Souls... Uh, Sekiro 100% didn't. Sekiro was Too just like... No, Sekiro frustrated the hell out of me. I could not get into Sekiro. Uh, oh, I, re I remember the... I remember when you recorded the Sekiro video. Fuck Sekiro, like, Jesus. I remember when you recorded it. How, how frustrated that and annoying That fucking you giant like, boss. Jesus. Like, at some point, John was yelling at that game so much, I, like, knocked on the door and I was like, are you okay? 
do you need anything? And normally I don't go in when he's recording because like it takes a lot of concentration to, to record. You don't want to break the flow, you know? Yeah. I would only go in if there was something like really urgent. Uh, but I was quite worried actually by like how, you know, uh, the the noises coming out of, of, your, uh, of your recording spot. So I had to go in and ask if you were okay. And then I heard a lot of cursing about Sekiro. <laughs> I don't think I've been... This doesn't look familiar. I don't think I've been here before. And I've not picked up an item here. So, all right. Drop to here. Just be all careful in case there's something bad. Just a butterfly. Not sure what they do. Presumably crafting of some description. And there's... Oh, uh-oh. Ow! Oh, yeah. I thought I heard that coming in. All right. We've got some prawns active. We've got a lot of prawns active, actually. Uh, But in all fairness, we've just got... We should be able to take these guys. Oh, just a basic charge comet does the job. And... Oh, are you the babies? I think these are the babies. Uh, and you are not the baby. You are the prop one. Because uh, you're up top. And just let shield eat some of the hit there. And... Oh. No. And... Go. Two. Three. Done. Alright. Shield's working pretty well. These are not what they once were. Yeah, I think the little ones that are crawling are like babies there. Yeah, they look smaller, don't they? That yeah, I I'm just murdering babies right now. That's that's what's happening. Hey John. Yes. Are we the baddies? We are not the baddies. Okay. So there's an area down here and there's an area over here. Okay. Presumably they're connected because it looks like there's a door outside there. So alright. I don't see you guys. Let's just take out the Oh hello. I see you. Hi. And boop, boop, boop. screw you. Oh, there's another one somewhere. There's a proper adult one who's got some proper bits and pieces going. Can I hit you from where I am? Not with my hat in the way. Oh, blimey. Okay, I think the little ones can spit the the thread spell. Just I don't think it's as powerful. Uh well a basic, yeah, basic comet works fine on you bastards. There's another one up top. I can't get over to the other side. That's out back out onto the balcony. Just check there's nothing else here. I don't have a shot at anyone else. Oh, I see. I see. Look, I can see him. But yeah, sometimes the looker's like, no, you need to look onto the right bit of him. Otherwise, you're not allowed. Right. Three comets will take care of you. So that's you dead. And that'll be you dead too. Right. Saw them. Yeah, we're in. there's a lot of prawns here. Just kind of weird, because normally I don't think of I didn't think of this as prawn territory. I thought prawns were like, I think like a slaver race who ins or like possibly slaved or raised or necromanced the weird crystal minor creatures that you run into on occasion. Like that was like the the hint I was getting. I thought because like you see them in mines, like running the mines, like they're slavers, which I thought was what was going on, but. I might have misread that one completely. Uh, okay. I need to check the outside, though. It looks like I, I saw some humans around the outside. And not that bit of the outside, though. All right. We'll have to loop round and maybe back up top. Claire. Uh, yes. Shout out to Sovereign Warrus, who uh, gave us £10. And says, hey, John, Claire, and Tabby. I hope you're all well. Thank you for the amazing streams. I'd love to recommend the book. Dragon Age Asunder after you've played Dragon Age 2. Ah, okay. Um, well, I'll have to wait then. Keep up the great everything. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, you want to shoot threads at me? Here, have some mother flipping threads, mother flipper. Wow. All right, I see you guys. These guys are dropping some good stuff here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to Terra Magica. And I'm going to Loretta's Mastery. Surprise. Uh-oh. You. Hi. Yeah, I figured you might be a bit surprised by me, actually. Right. One of them just came up behind, from behind his shed there. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you. Right. Loretta's Mastery. And no, the big one. The big one. The big one. You. I think I might be launching a, a military assault on a graveyard right now. Um, is is the implication I'm getting. Um, so it, it's possible, like you say, that we are indeed the baddies. That that feels like a bad... Uh, 
Uh, so their actual name, by the way, um, they're oh, is it pests? Because I know their spell's called pest threads. Of the prawn, you mean? Yeah. Uh, no, it's the kindred of rot. <laughs> okay. Which is why they show up in rot. You see, this is why I just call them prawns. That's way better. Yes. All right, so we're taking out all of these bastards. This is well, they're kind of this, they're in a graveyard. Do they have graves? Is this their graves? Are they just live? Do they just live here for funsies? It's hard to say, you know. Uh, right, I'm just going to keep working my way through them. I think if I'm just careful, this shouldn't be too difficult to do. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Cutie Funny, who gave us 10 polish of slotty and says, Happy Pride Month to all those who celebrate. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Julianne has been a member for seven months uh, and says, So much love for all of you. This channel is full of warmth when needed, and we have so many laughs. I like to think we do anyway. Yes. I, I, I like to think, you know, the live streams have their own different special energy. Which, you know, maybe not the same as the videos, but it's got its own thing going on. Yeah. Which I I've always think, liked. I don't think they were saying anything other than that. Well, some people like, you know, some people are like, oh, I don't like the live streams. And I think what they, when they say that, what they always offer, what they basically always mean is the live streams are distinct from the videos. Uh, is uh, what people like, I think people say on occasion. Uh, yes. Oh, well, no, I not the pest just, threads. Ow! It's just Those not what Julianne hurts. specifically yes. was saying. Yes. No, no, I wasn't accusing. I wasn't uh, accusing. No, no, no. Uh, I know that. you weren't, but it's just like because... Oh, I made a mistake. Cast faster. He's about to pest thread. Thank you. Okay, Comet eats a little bit too much. This is why I'm boosting mind. I need a little bit more... A little bit more magic to keep me... Uh-oh. Yep, thought so. Luckily, there was one up top, but luckily we... Uh, I heard him. Go. And, oh, you're doing the stupid thing. No, you don't. Got off before he got off the pest threads. All right, we're good. Magic getting down fast. Ooh, pest glaive. I've already got one of them. I got one of them really early. And I got, okay, I, first time I, I think I was on you know, my second playthrough. The first time I played my, this character actually. Um, I got teleported to Celia Cave. And I was really excited. Uh, because after finally managing, I got a pest glaive really early on. And I thought, oh my goodness, this damage is so much higher than all my st my normal weapons. I spent ages grinding to respect just to use it. Then discovered it was terrible. Uh, and just because something's red doesn't mean it's good. Uh, I learned a valuable lesson that day. <laughs> a valuable lesson about... Oh, there, 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 there's two. There's another one. Great. And I'm getting... This is probably there's a third somewhere. Ooh, Ghost Glove What Pickles... Pickers Ball Bearing 3. So that will basically be, yes, my ability to buy... All the um, spirit ash upgrading stuff I want. Though, admittedly, I have just burnt the uh, the round table hole to the ground. So, not sure if that's even still there. Is is Roderica even still there? Like, everyone was kind of evacuating last time we were passing by. So, question mark. Also, what's at the top of the building? Clap! Uh, yes. Indeed. Uh, shout out to Christopher, who's been a member for 28 months. Uh, and uh, says, uh, so another 12 hour Fallout live stream this year? I love the Fallout 3 one. Also, any plans for Fate of Iberia? Keep up all the good work. You know, the weird one was Fate of Iberia kind of came out of nowhere for me. I didn't realize it was actually like out until I just saw it on Twitter. Normally, like, uh, creative, like, uh, not creative assembly, the other ones, Paradox. They're like, you know, they'll let me know about stuff way ahead and they'll make sure I've got it in the calendar. They just didn't really let me know. They just, I don't know, they just didn't really, uh, I didn't hear a thing about it until it was already out. I mean, I'd read the dev diaries, uh, but all right. I mean, it was clearly like, it's a small flavor pack, so clearly they weren't planning any activity. But, uh, yeah, it kind of snuck up on me, uh, to be honest. So I've not had a chance to actually look at it yet. Uh, so I, I don't know. Sometimes flavor packs aren't really big enough to like do uh, a video all by themselves just because there's not enough material uh, to work with. So uh, we will have to see. We will have to see whether, yeah, I feel like there's enough to actually work with. Because sometimes, sometimes, oh, I see you, buddy. I'm glad I noticed you. That was uh, kind of out of uh, nowhere, actually. No, you don't. Oh, you're one of the ones with a shield. You guys are nasty. No, you don't. Okay, but... Nope, he's coming in for the counter. And no, you don't. Oh, that's he's tough. Oh, okay. Go for the... Oh, blimey! Okay, he's not kidding. 
He ain't kidding. Okay. No. Oh, I'm out of magic. That's a problem. Oh, that's going to be an issue in a second. Uh. Ow. He really cocking hurts, actually. This guy's not nothing. All right. Chill out, buddy. Chill, 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 chill out. He's also, he also healed himself. I just need to break him. No. No, he's coming for the counter. Ow. They get the counters too, which is hilarious. Oh. Heal. No, he missed that. I can't, I think I just cancelled his attack out, but I didn't get through the shield. No. Oh, he got, he got in anyway. I shouldn't go in for that. Ow. Okay. That's a problem. That got a good attack him. Oh, okay. That was good. Nice. Get the light. Gotcha. <sighs> okay, he ain't nothing. He's not messing around. Our boy's not messing around there. All right, guard guard counters are really good in this game. Even the enemy get them. Blimey. Uh, okay, I feel good that I killed him because there's a lot of red right here. Just apparently, there's another Grace uh, nearby. Uh, oh, is there one? Was there one downstairs? Something. I think it's it's sometimes hard to know which is the intended way to go forward. So you always want to go to the way you're supposed to be going last. So it's mm -hmm. possible there's just a grace downstairs uh, over here, and then I can yeah I could reset because now uh, I've taken out all the guys on one side and well, there's a lift. This feels like this is just taking me down, which is where I don't want to go. Uh... Yeah, I felt, well, okay, there's a gray set. Uh-oh. It does feel like a bunch of traps near the grays, doesn't it? Ooh, what is that? I'm not touching it. It feels bad. It's color-coded red. That's rot color in this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, just... Ooh. I feel like stuff. Okay, we're not, we're not going... Oh, we're not going... We're not... No. We're not, we're not going in there yet. What the... What is this? Help me. I saw the boss door down there. Ah. What? Remember what uh, Millicent said specifically about uh, the rot and all that? Flowering into a rot Valkyrie. And this is a flower that's color coded for rot. Should, is that Millicent? No, I don't think that's Millicent. Millicent. She died rather than becoming uh, becoming that. Oh, okay. But, but I mean, it could be somebody else. I don't know. Hmm. All right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm way off. Uh... All right. Just have a bit of a Luxy Roundy Pokey McGibbly. Oh. Yes. I think it's time to uh, let you solo her. No, no, no. We're not. We're not doing that bullshit. We're activating all the shortcuts, and then we're going back out to that bit outside because mm -hmm. we want to. Like I just very briefly for the splittest of seconds. Went. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> okay, so that we've now got. Yes, yeah, so I passed this by earlier. This is the the shortcut we saw earlier. So all the shortcuts now there. Mm. Oh. I like it when I get things right. Okay, now I've got all that set up. Uh, though this looks a little bit dicey, I'm going to cotton wool up, and I'm going to try and make this jump. Um, so cotton wool. And I think this is down to the area I've not been to yet. So jump to here. This is where the Erd Tree Avatar was, but it's now dead. That I think I yeah I can get down there. That's where I'm going. That's where I need to get down to last. But I am pretty certain yeah there was some stuff beyond the Erd Tree Avatar. So we're just gonna make sure we haven't missed anything. Because we missed whatever the Erdtree Avatar, the other one dropped. <laughs> oh, Sombra Ancient Dragon. Now that you don't want to miss. Yeah. That's plus 10 for a unique legendary weapon. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, if I have anything else, that's good. So, I think now it's time for me to pass the controller over to Claire. So that Claire can solo her. <laughs> yeah, sure. Good luck with that. This is the block button. This is the roll. <laughs> All right, just do that. Just whenever you panic, just keep rolling forever. That's that's the plan. For Pride Month, I want to be soloed by Melania. <laughs> Lol. I see a Crystallian over there, which is a problem because, okay, I'm just going to... Oh, I've got 236,000 rooms. Oh. Whatever's in that room, screw it, I don't care. 
Yes. Um, I'm just getting some lore info from ce- ceiling fan enthusiast who uh-huh. uh, is very good at uh, giving uh, giving bits of lore. Um, now uh, I don't know if you want to hear that bit of lore because you know maybe you make your choice whatever. as to whether it sounds like it's going to ruin the experience for me or not. Hmm. Use common sense. I mean, it's not about the mechanics of defeating her. I don't. Oh, go ahead then. Um, so, um, you know how, um, yeah, you know how, uh, we were saying that, uh, Melania, Malinia bloomed, um, so. Yes. Yeah, you. Yeah, and that's how Caleb ended up the way it did. Right, so the, demi- the demigod Melania, that's her second Scarlet Bloom, uh, so the first one was in her defeat with Radan. Mm-hmm. And then um, if if she gets three Scarlet Blooms, she becomes a goddess of rot. So why does she just bloom again? Is there a, Does it take energy? Sacrifice? People? I, 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 I don't know. What lets her bloom versus not? I what? mean, I thought from what we had heard before from, uh, from Millicent that it was like a build-up yeah. of rot. But yes, it's, it's, if she blooms three times, she will be. Um... Is there any reason we don't want her to be a god? I mean, anyway. there's, there's plenty of gods just floating around, like demigods and all that nonsense. They're everywhere. FromSoft will not tell you because FromSoft. Uh, sorry if I. Sp- well, some people are saying it's a spoiler, some people are saying. Um, and much this is a thing I would have realised or even noticed oh, by myself. Oh, she doesn't want to bloom. She wants to cure her rot using that needle, I guess, that... Uh, I'm happy to... G- oh, well, I'm going to give it to her then. Oh, we'll just go for the pacifist ending. I'll just go and it should be like, I want to, you must kill me so I don't bloom. Like, well, I've got this golden needle. She'll be like, oh, brilliant, thanks. And then, okay, oh, now I am your new waifu. ba ba da ba ba smooch, 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 job done. Is that where we're going with this? The pacifist ending. Uh, Lofted Aphid says, uh, I love how people say Law will spoil the game as if there was any way in hell you'd actually figure any of this, uh, figure out any of this whilst playing. Lol. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, No Such says that sounds like a mechanic that's going to show up in like a, a cutscene during a boss fight, but I feel like you'd want to. I, I feel like it would be really overwhelming and kind of frustrating to like you know, find out afterwards that you didn't figure it out because it was really, really unclear. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I think we're just going to ignore that guy over there because he's terrifying. If we can just sneak past him without him realising we're there. Great. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't... Yeah, he hasn't spotted me. Good. Right, drop down. No need to fight him because he's scary. Oh. Uh, and now we're just down on the low ground. So, blooming basically means turning into an evil zombie god, and she tries to fight off the bloom, but if she is, poo- but if she is pushed close to death, um, then she will bloom. It's like the Avatar state, but really evil. Oh, there was another one. Oh, there was another one. Fuck you. Bye. So long, loser. I'm off. Yeah, have fun with this. I'm, I'm just going to go grab the, the local loot, and oh, that was just a base. That was a leaf. Oh, great. I'm just here to get the stuff. All right. I, 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 I'm I, fine. All right. No trouble. No trouble. Heroes Rune 5. Great. Who else is around? Oh, fuck. That's a, that's a, that's a great archer. He defies little things, but they really cocking hurt. Go. Get out the way. Get to the low ground. I, I just want, I'm just here for the items. I don't actually care about anything else. What we're going to do is... Okay. What, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the I get to keep my items thing... And uh, then I'm going to jump off the thing and... Oh, hi! Sorry, I just ran into you. Uh, I just want more items. More items. I'm just trying to die, actually. Would you mind if I just... There's nowhere to die! I was trying to toss myself off a cliff, but there's no cliff. Oh, and now it's worn off! Fuck! Okay, this is good. This this has all gone precisely to plan. Oh, now I found the cliff. Oh, Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Now I found the cliff, it's too late. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Ow. He's too, his, his reach is too long. I can't even, I can't guard counter him. I can't guard counter him, the reach is too long. Ow. Fuck. Oh, well, it's only 100,000 rooms. It's actually not that much these days. 
I got the items, it's fine. Oh no, his weapon is too big. Yeah, the problem is he knocked me back so far that the guard counter couldn't reach him. Which is that? Oh, never mind. I did get to keep them. Yay! Genius. 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 Okay, so apparently that effect lasts longer than the infinite magic. Uh, okay. So in which case, it, it's time for me to ultimate mega myself up here. Oh, you've here. got three minutes of not losing the runes. Oh, nice. Okay, so the infinite magic thing only lasts for a certain amount of time. But, uh, yeah, the other stuff doesn't. So, okay. I will now, we're now banking everything we've got. We're going up to the next level, 100%. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, uh, uh, shout out to Aero Drew, who gave us $5. Uh, and says thank you both for all the amazing content. Uh, another Solaris series anytime soon, maybe? The impossible run was how I found MATN. You know, love to tibbles. Uh, I wouldn't have said so, but Overlord was actually really good. Like, I think Overlord is probably the single best expansion they've done. But then again, actually, it's kind of not so much Overlord as the free expansion, the free update that accompanied it, because the Vassal contracts are really, really huge and interesting, and they actually make it worthwhile to do something other than paint the galaxy or color, which is really cool. Um. So, uh, I mean, never say never. It's not imminently planned, but we shall have to, uh, we shall have to see. Okay. Is it, is it time for me to solo her? Uh, okay, so what are we doing in terms of, uh, Tibbs, though? Because it's 11, should I? Go? Yeah, you go, you go take care of Tibbs while I die horribly. That seems reasonable. Okay, can I watch the first dying horribly, though? Because I'm kind of curious about you soloing her. Okay, well, if we're going in, then Titch is coming in with me. Like, that's legit. And all of you at home, prepare your PC versions, because I'll be needing your help, potentially. Um, okay. What, so are you going to try to solo her first, and then once you fail... Well, so I think soloing her... Solo her... Does that include me using the in-game summons? Fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Titch yeah, is helping yeah, yeah. me out. Sure, sure, sure. Like, Titch I'm... Well. Okay, let's let's know what we've learned here. She's presumably like the Clean Rot Knights. Like, because those are the elite enemies we've seen pottering about. So, possibly armed with Halberd. Um, Valkyries were mentioned, implying flight. So, stay on the move. Hope she's slow. Let Titch draw the the aggro and just hit her with comets, and we'll just see how that works. Uh, no idea how well that's going to work. Also, don't really know why we're trying to kill her, to be honest. We're just sort of here. I'm just a psychopath. Ooh, this is fancy. Oh, oh, she gets a cutscene. Ooh. Is she the puddle? Is it Alex Mack? Do I have to kill Alex Mack? Okay. Hello. Oh, she looks like Millicent. I mean, she's probably her mom. She's even got the same missing arm. That's weird. Are her and Millicent, like, somehow connected? Again, she's probably her mom. Yeah, but, like, just because you're... Yeah, I know like what missing you're an, missing an arm isn't a hereditary trait. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Oh, she's Katana. That's a fucking big I sword. Never known defeat. Claire Tana. Sorry, yes. 
Okay. And, oh, blo ow! Ow! Fuck! 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 She's really fast. Okay. So the whole I hope she's really slow thing, not not working out to date. Okay. Uh, let's draw some attention away from uh, her, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. So none of that worked. Uh, how's Titch doing? Titch is doing all right. And now we just put a bit of magic on her. Okay, magic resistance doesn't appear to be too high. But she's really fast, which is a problem for the tracking of spells. So I'm going to go over to Moon. Because uh, Moon's tracking is pretty good. Ow! Ow! Uh-oh. Okay, she decided to come for me. Did she? That was weird. Uh, did she decide ahead of time? To change, to change priority target onto me before the spell was cast. Which feels odd, but okay. Right, oh, the moon's doing huge damage. Uh, okay, back away. Let Titch draw the attention. That did less damage. Was that a, a break? Uh, that might have been a break attack right there. Oh, blimey. Okay, she's got a big... She's got a big wooble. It's... She's shredding Titch. Okay, uh, I think the moon does do poise... I think it was, that was a poise break hit. Uh, 1,400. She's going down to that. If I can just draw her attention off Titch while staying at extremely long range. Titch pulls her back over. We might be able to juggle her. Which might be the best option we've got. If I just spam Moon while Titch just basically keeps tossing everything she's got at her. She occasionally dodges them and she's really fast. So magic tracking is going to be difficult. Oh, that was, that was I think, a break hit right there. Or like a crit or something. Uh, she's got to be coming for me at this point, not Titch. So, we've almost got her phase one down straight away. She's losing the 10% right at this moment, which is good. And, yeah, there we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. The moon's coming in. One more. And, ow, 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 shields! Ow, fuck! I think I died, but so did she! Does that count? Oh, she's got a phase two. Oh, of course she does. She's one of the main. The problem is I just died. I'm 100%. I just died. I just. Do, do I. Um. D what? Uh oh. What's happening? What? What? Wait. What was I supposed to be looking at? What? Such a John thing. I think to I've do. broken the game. It doesn't count, but uh. Oh, she just okay. She just she just thinged. Bloomed. She just bloomed. Okay, so now she's a rock Valkyrie. Oh, so she's a god now. But then again, I've killed gods before. So that's fine. Uh, I, I suspect I'm going to die the moment this cutscene ends. Which is hilarious. because yes, you're already dead. I think I'm already dead. You will witness true magical <laughs> horror. Lol. Uh, okay, uh, am I going to die or not? Am I about to die? No. I, that now rot, she says, to the, the corpse. Um, am I going to immediately... Yay! Immediate death! <laughs> then again, Titch, Titch just did great damage to her. Titch, Titch did some great damage. LOL! Alright. So. Now, okay. So, Moon is the correct answer. Moon is the correct answer. Getting two face two first try is honestly pretty great. Uh, yeah, no, honest. Like a lot of people, when you got to that cutscene, were like genuinely impressed. I don't fairness, I just moon spammed. Moon mm. spam is the answer. I'm changing my flash distribution to six to nine. Um, what can I do to increase the power of? I do have abilities to boost my moon damage. Uh, the... There's a big difference, John, in this game between gods and demigods. Oh, I see. Uh, which is... Is it just Rani's hat 
the boost the the magic or is it the rest of Rani's gear too? Because I'm willing to make fashion compromises at this point. We're we're into I'm I'm into fashion compromise territory. So uh yes, yeah, so hang on. Strengthens cold sorcery, which I believe includes her moon. Rune arc as well. Rune arc, yeah. Okay, so oh Claire. It doesn't suit No, I can't do it. Oh come on, Hanny. I can't do it. It doesn't look right, but you're right, we're rune arcing. Uh, what else do we have? What other piece of equipment might be relevant? I mean, I think Titch did a great job. I think T Titch did a really, really uh, good job. People are saying just the hat. I don't... What, yeah, what not you... not the rest of the armor pieces. That yeah. that makes sense. Uh, spell just the hat time. and carrion scepter. Uh, okay, so I've got the carrion scepter already. Uh, obviously, being inside uh, the uh, thingy. Uh, what's it? We jibble. Uh, Terra Magica. Terra Magica. Moon with the hat. Do you have anything that can stagger? I mean, and anything. Any like long-lasting damage? You know, like bleed or or whatever. Uh, bleed isn't long-lasting damage in this game. It's just a burst damage effect mm. that stacks up. Um, People are recommending frost things. Ooh, remove your golden scarab talisman. It's true. I could get rid of that uh, to give myself something that's actually a little bit more. Poisoning or rotten the vicinity increases attack power, but I'm guessing that is only actual attack, not magic. Because um, a lot of this is all tied to purely attack. Boost attack power, raises poise, etc. Uh, roar and breath, lowers FP, consumed by skills. Uh, I mean, we could double up Spells consume less FP, but I'd lose a bunch of hit points. That feels like a terrible idea. That feels like the worst possible, possible idea. Do you have the Spiral Glintstone Sorcery? No, I do not. Okay. I do not have such a thing. Da -da. Uh, faith, Dexterity, and Strength. Uh, but, but, but Race's Attributes increases damage taken. Three, but only the physical ones, nothing on the rest of it. Uh, Erdtree's favor increases maximum hit points, stamina, and equipment load. Honestly, that's that seems pretty decent. I, actually, I'm not sure where that came from. I'm not sure how long I've had that. Um, or I could massively, I tell you what, Cerulean Amber Amulet plus one is not bad. That's a pretty significant increase in fp right there that is a it's you know what it's not it's not bad but then again i'm not chain casting i'm using the moon so i feel like actually the cerulean is not bad so i'm gonna put the cerulean on uh i feel like titch did a really really good job um mm. i'm seeing in the co the chat yeah apparently she vampires so trying to like take her on one-on-one -on -one with a shield's kind of bad so yeah the thing is that is something that they have been saying in chat but like i i didn't want to specifically tell you that because that felt like you know i think i saw it happening and i yeah. assumed it was because she was attacking tetch and she's got that big flaily mcjibble attack where she flails with the katana which absolutely shredded tetch which is why i think my priority has got to be keep distance just moon her because the it does so much damage and the range is effectively infinite she'll try and run over to me titch will hit her because titch is really fast she'll turn back to titch she'll get hit by another moon and i'm kind of hoping she'll get stuck mm -hmm. changing target and won't be able to actually use all of her attacks now in theory i've got poison bone darts but that feels like i can't possibly be the most sensible thing i could be using uh at the moment uh i feel like that's that's not bad she's clearly doing physical damage with the katana um so yeah we have yeah i can't move over to anything yeah better. wolf suit says uh, i did this with john's uh build he's immediately found a viable strategy sweet so, um yeah. okay is there anything else i can do to help myself so yeah i don't have enough stuff to get out to the next level um so just reset my all my stats but yeah if we just moon her like i think moon spam from the far side of the room with terra magica with uh yeah titch in play 
And then I've just got to keep distance till Titch draws the first, uh, first bit of attention. And then I've got to make it happen pretty fast. Otherwise, Titch is going to get shredded. Um, so we're going to give it another go. We're going to give it another go. We're going to see how this works. But, like, then there's phase two, which all I know is she ah. dive-bombed me and did a thing. Yes. Next Jenner uh, says, uh, I did this with a mimic and I took off all of my spells except Stars of Ruin. Interesting. I don't generally set Stars of Ruin, actually. Mm. Um... Okay, we're just going to give this a go. Have I got the right... Yeah, I've got all the right stuff set. So we just go in. Spam, 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 spam. And now we just back away and just draw the attention and hope that she's going for not me. There we go. That should draw the attention away from me. Now I just need to get into a good position out of the way. That, yeah, reduction is really nice. That is one hit. So, okay, now we're a pretty good distance away, but not too far. Activate that. Start spamming the moon. Okay, go. And now moon spam. Activate. Go, bullshit moon. Activate moon bullshit. And one more. Now we drink. And we hope and we pay attention. That's doing a lot of damage. And now she's coming over to me. But she's going to be distracted very fast. That's big damage. That's... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I didn't even see her coming over this direction. Fuck. I mean, you can see that that... Does uh that, that does work? Yeah. Yeah, you just need to make sure to. The, that was conceptually working quite well. The problem is I've got to keep an eye on her positioning because she can really charge. She can cross the arena in seconds. So and if the moon's blocking her, I don't see her coming. I can't get out of the way. And once she's on top of me, I'm lacking in options because the shield is not like you know an invincibility force field. Yeah, it blocks yeah, yeah. the direction you're holding it, and she's fucking swinging all over the place on top of me. So, yeah, that's that's tricky. That's tricky. You go take care of tabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go uh, check on her. Okay, we're just gonna try this again. I think conceptually this is not a terrible idea. And then, yeah, go for that. That hits her straight away. That's going to get her. Okay. So it can be... I'm kind of caught on myself right now, which is probably a bad idea. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter because she can cross so fast, it doesn't really make any difference. She's going to come over to me. Keep shield up as far as possible. And, yeah, right now she's on Titch. Titch is capable of staggering her and knocking her over, which is quite impressive. And that's a big hit. Yeah, 2,700. She's kind of hidden by the scenery, which is precisely the opposite of what I need to happen. Uh, I can't see where she is, so keep the shield up. I've not got a good shot at her. She cleaned her plate. Oh, clean plate. Tabby is eating food. This is very exciting. Oh, wait. Wait, she just got some health back. Oh, she's about to charge it. No, fuck, 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 fuck. Ow, 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 fuck. Fuck me. Okay, that really hurts. Okay, get ow. Oh, she's about to do something bad. It's kill me. <sighs> and then she got like all her health back. Okay, she can't be allowed to do that because she gets all her health back. Jesus. Okay. Start running when you... Okay, when she jumps up in the air, that's always going to be, hey, I'm about to charge. And it doesn't matter what way she's facing. I'm guessing... Actually, I've seen her do it to... I've seen her do it to the other side. Don't know whether she can cover the entire arena. I think I just need to cover the distance. Like, I think that's what we need to do. So, get him. Spam the Titch, and then just start running. And that, that we're just going to the other side of the arena. And we just kind of hope that it doesn't. this doesn't affect me in any way. So now we just... I'm just going. I'm just going over here. And we're just going to assume that shit's going well behind me. I'm sure it's all fine. I'm going to go into the very far corner. Okay? So I'm going to be right over here. Okay, and now we're gonna now we're gonna move. All right, and now, Titch, Titch, I need you to not be doing the thing you're doing right now. All right, and one more, and she can, cl yeah, close territory fast and drink. When the lock on goes up in the air, that's the point where we need to start running. I think I'm so far away. Titch is breaking. I think that's the problem. Titch is. Uh, oh, she's she's using the. She's just. Oh no, she's about to do a thing, but she's doing it to to Titch, not to me. I needed to be in a position. Oh, she's getting all health back. Oh, that's bad. Oh, Titch is really fucked on this occasion. Uh, Titch is not in good shape. Uh, I need to draw Titch's attention away. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, bye. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck me, that hurts. And then she gets, like, all her health back. 
Titch did much better the first time. I don't know how Titch had the stay power first time. Titch is plus 10. That's a full... That's a max Titch. That is a... That is a max Titch. Um... Who else do we have? I do have... I could do... You know, I'm going to try sending in Katana John. I'm going to send in Katana Mimic. And just see what happens. Uh, at that point. We're going to send in Katana Mimic. So, get in there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there we go. That's Katana Mimic. Drink up. Go to that. And now... I need you to go. Go, 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 go. Take care of her. Bye. And now go. Lovely. Right. Get over here. Don't stay in... Yeah. Be more in the center. So that she can... Also, I need to have this ready to go. Terra Magica. Go. Where is she? Oh, my Mimic. Yeah. Unfortunately, the... The companion AI does sort of decide... Hey, I 100% I want to stick close to you. Uh, but I'm hoping she will, as a katana user, try and stay closer to my mimic uh, tier, who's doing okay. Ah, the problem is because I'm allowing her to attack my mimic. My mimic is oh fuck, here she comes! I missed that. Oh, it's coming again. No, ow! Oh fuck. I okay. So actually, having a friend kind of hurt. Because now she just, yeah, I do not want a companion who wants to stay in play. Yeah, Katana John not only got fucked up, Katana, Katana John actually screwed me. Because Katana John actively got hit and healed her. That's the problem. So the mimic is not going to, fl okay. Who else do we have? Who else have we got? Who else have we got here? Who else, who else have we got down the bottom? Because we've 100% got the... We've got the materials to upgrade anybody who we want to upgrade. That's fine. Um, we could send in, honestly, anyone who's got... Yeah, anyone who wants to get into melee is a problem. That's going to be the issue. Um, da, 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 da. There are people who are good at range, like... Weirdly, um, I've had good experience with the marionette soldier ashes. <laughs> they just they just spit arrows all day long, but I can't have them draw on the aggro. Like that's that's for a build where you want to be Captain Aggro, and then they just stand to the back being a ridiculous amount of DPS. So that's not gonna fly, I don't think. The Stormhawk might be interesting. I mean, I think Titch is actually just generally pretty good, because Titch does dodging. So Titch isn't getting a hit. As often as some other people. So I think that's that's part of it. I think we need to... I think we need to accept we're not playing fashion souls at the moment. And okay, I, I need to find a bit of equipment that fits a bit better. Like that is... It's... it's. I don't like it, but it suits a bit better. And I can at the bare minimum then put on better equipment down... Down over here. I can put some, some good, some excellent boots on in this part of the world. So that, that will be, that'll be all absolutely fine. Not though, not though to the bottom though. That's, that's, that's too much. Right. Some scaled greaves. I might even be able to increase my, uh, yes, the amount of, not, not much. Just, just the littlest bit. Littlest bit. Get some, uh, there we go. Get some vulgar militia gauntlets on. Nice. All right. There we go. We're now, act we're now activating, this, this armor's weird. I feel like this is going to get in the way. I feel like you don't want a head on your armor. Okay. You can parry her. Oh, cocking hell. I can't parry normal enemies. <laughs> I'm not parrying her. Jesus. Let, let me parry her. Dear oh flipper dear. No. No, 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 no. Okay. We, we've met... Hilariously, we made it, we made it work. Uh, the first time. Okay, go. Stay away and just, just run. Just run. She was too far away to get the hit in. And... No, don't mind me. Not me, not me. I need to be not too close. If I'm too... If I get too far away, Titch breaks. So that's that's the problem. I need to be sufficiently far that Titch doesn't break. Uh, I need to be near enough by... Yeah, there we go. And now we just... I think we can get three moons off. Can we get another? No, I don't think we can. Now she's not jumped in the air yet. I mean, she's... Oh, now she's jumping in the air. Fuck, we're about to die! That was just a really bad, unlucky timing on the jump. Like, oh, she's not jumping, so I can start a moon cast. Like, by the time I was done with the moon cast, she was 
there. The Mooncast is, uh, yes, unfortunately not, uh, not, not, uh, not working on that occasion. Okay. It's all fine. Everything's under control. I mean, I could just straight up, once the fight begins, immediately down the infinite magic potion just so I can spam in the first stage. I mean, you say Moon's not the best, but she dodges it because she moves so fast. The other faster moving spells just miss her. Comet Azur's definitely not going to work. Ice Storm doesn't feel like a good idea. Like, I, I could accept that Loretta's mastery... I'll give Lor oh, I could give Loretta the mastery. I feel like Moon is actually working. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. Now we're fine. Now we're fine. Uh but yeah, then she does the thing. She always does it just not quite close enough, unfortunately. Don't mind me. Yeah, attack her. Great. Oh wow. Okay, just flipping. Nail her to the ground. Brilliant. Well done. Uh okay, now Terra Magica. Alright, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. And we're going to activate. Uh oh, no, not me! Not me. Go, go for, go for my, go for my friend. Infinite moon, infinite moon, infinite moon. Three thousand. Infinite moon. Ow! She's right here. She's coming for a normal attack. On. Ow! I think she's about to stab me. I am hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, let's, let's, let's have a think. Moon might not give me the effect, might not give me the speed. Let's, let's have a look to see what we do have that's got better tracking. Okay, what have we got that's got better tracking? Which is, if we just get rid of Ice Storm, we do have Stars of Ruin. Stars of Ruin has got itself ridiculous tracking. I, I'm not convinced by the power, to be honest, but it does have a really, really good tracking. And then we have got Loretta's Mastery. And better and better, if we're not using Moon anymore, I can play Fashion Souls again. Yay, Fashion Souls. Uh, that goes on. Now I'm on a heavy load. So now I need to, now I need to go over to some, uh, some lighter boots. Some nice lighter boots up top. Uh, that might be a bit too, too light there. What else can we put on that's... The thing is, I want, I want to prioritize the trousers. Because the gloves are always terrible. The gloves, the gloves never give you much. But trousers can give you a lot. Actually, oh, Exile Greaves would be acceptable. Or Land of Reed Greaves. Those are fancy. They come with nice shoes and everything. And then all of you are not quite... All right, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Land of Reed Greaves. I'm happy with that. There we go. We're back. We're flipping back as we should be. All right. So, based on what other people are saying as well, a Mimic who has got that... A ma Let's just try a Magic Mimic. Let's just try... Oh, Elden Bling. Elder Bling is excellent. Um, let's just try this. We're going to go in. I'm going to spawn the Mimic. And we're going to see if the Mimic is going to do what I want it to do. And I'm just going to spam that. And we're going to see what happens. So, go! Excellent. And heal. Right now. And now... Go! Okay, this is actually interesting. Because if what she does... Please draw some attention... I'll just flip it. Oh, that's just insulting. If she tries to dodge every attack, but she basically can't. That's interesting. Because I think that's what she's trying to do. I think she's trying to, like, hit... Oh, blimey! Ow, 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 please. Okay, I need to let my Mimic get close to me. Nope. Nope, bye. I need to let... I need, I'm going to lead her into my Mimic at this point. Oh, there's, there's some tracking. Flip me. Go, 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 go. Okay. Get some magic in. And, yeah, just don't let her do much. Now I want her attention back on me for a second. All right, that's good. Now she's she's going to come over. No, 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 no. I survived it. I survived. No, I fuck. I did it. <laughs> I mean, I admire the... I, I, I admire the idea... But I feel like we're not doing the damage. The Mimic ain't helping on that occasion. Now, possibly the same strategy, but just using, yeah, Black Knife Titch combined with a Terra Magica Stars. Possible. I mean, I think it gives, I think it holds me in place less long. I think it holds me in place less long. Uh, so, yeah, T Titch is doing the job. I think Titch is the correct answer. I should also not summon Titch this early because she she always misses. 
this first attack. She always misses that. And then you go over to here. And then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love how Titch just can straight up just push her down. That's that's good. I like that. Right, okay. And now go over to here. And now... Stars of Ruin. And now spam it. Because we can get the next one going before the first one's even gone. And now, uh-oh. Titch. I need you to do something, Titch. Okay, that works. No. Oh, blimey. Okay, so she's got a big charge. That hit her. Good. Right. Get going. And now Titch is in pretty good shape. Now we just toss loads of magic at her. And... Oh, she's about to do it. But I don't, I don't know the answer to this. I don't know the answer to this ability. I just, even holding my shield and dodging, I can't deal with it. Um, I don't know what the answer is when she does the... I think people are saying waterfowl dance. Uh, because even when I see her doing it, and the moment I see her doing it, I'm like, okay, get out of dodge, start dodge rolling, block with your shield. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, dodge through to... Oh, dodge into her. Oh, that feels like a bad call. Uh, yeah, you should fire one moon just to get the damp... The, yeah, magic, magic weakness. That's interesting. I feel like we're slowly working towards something that works here. Slowly, uh, fold a bit. Now summon Titch. Close enough to actually, like, do some damage. Uh, and hopefully we can hit her on that occasion. She always just spams that just a little bit too early. Uh, okay. Next up is... Sorry. Terra Magica. Sorry, I know you're being knocked down right now. It's very sad. And then we, then we want, but then we want moon. And then we start to throw him. And then... The moon missed! Of course it cocky did. Now she's gonna come for me. No. Nope. Okay, and back off. Right, that's going to draw her attention back to to, to, to you, right? I, it didn't. Hit her again. That's good. That's good damage. And then back into the effect of that. Back into the effect of that. Oh, she's about to come for me. And I don't, I don't, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for this jelly. But she's not done a single jump yet. Knock her down. Magic. This is going pretty well. And now go, 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 go. And now draw attention back. Oh, she's about to do it and I'm fucked. R R dodge into her. They said dodge into her. Which way is she do I'm dodging it. I'm trying to dodge into her. Oh, fuck. Now she's doing it again. Fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Piss off. Piss off. I'm trying to... Oh, no. Fuck. Titch. Where are you, Titch? Titch, do something. Titch. 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 Please do something! Thank you! Magic spam, go! Random bullshit attack, go! Get out of the way! Titch, go for it! Just hit her with the minus 10% right about now! Right about now! And go, 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 go! Oh, she got like so much of her health back from attacking you! Oh, fuck! Oh, she got out of the way of that too! No! Time! Knock her over! And, oh, she's about to do, oh, no, this is about to go horribly wrong. Then again, no, she's getting so much of her health back. She's going for Titch, but she's, this is going horribly wrong. I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can. Bullshit attacks, go. No, no, no. Titch, do it, Titch. Take her out. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Bullshit attack, activate. <laughs> okay, now she's go. Okay, now we all die. Now we all die. Now we all die. Uh... <laughs> okay. Run. She's about... Okay, she's about to do the nuke. Immediately run. I don't know what the... Far oh, fuck. So far. Ow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Um, I don't know what she's going to do at this point, precisely. I'm just going to top up everything. Uh... Go, go, go. Activate bullshit attack. I'm out of range. It's not doing anything. Uh, she's going for tit. Oh, tit. She's being slaughtered. No, Titch! No, fuck! Titch is dead! Go, random bullshit attack! Ow! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, no, Titch isn't dead! How is Titch not dead? I don't know! Right, go! Go, Titch! I believe in you! Let me heal up for a second! She's down on the ground! Go! Random bullshit attack! Activate everything! Spam! Spam random bullshit attack! Spam random... Oh, no, it's me! She's attacking me with a random bullshit attack! Spam Oh, no, Titch is gone! Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Fuck! She's getting all her health back and I can't do anything! Uh-oh. Oh, this has gone wrong. I've got no health. Ow! Oh, she's, she can knock out all my stamina in one. Fuck! Ah. 
Well, she's got us now. <laughs> I feel like random bullshit attack worked pretty well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now's the time you get to come in. It's time. It's time. I'm, 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 I'm officially done with soloing her. This is this is now. That was that was good. Titch, Titch did well, but now it's time for all of you. All right, it's time for all of you to come in and assist. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, the multiplayer password is MATN. The group password is MATN. All right, so if you want to come in and play, that's how we do. So we're just going to, at this point, uh, activate <laughs> this. And everybody, you can now come and help me. You can now... Some people were, were... Some people anticipated this might be about to happen by the Luxie of it. All right, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. That was tense. That was tense right there. That was... Oh, I like this. This We've got some... I like... I like Bethany appears to be dressed in what may possibly be her outfit. It looks vaguely clean rotty. That... That seems... That seems appropriate. Uh, oh, no, we're unable to summon, unfortunately. I think uh, Bethany lost. We have got... Who else do we have here? Oh, no, Bethany's back. I'm going to try Bethany again. I, li I like the winged helmet. I feel like she's got a winged helmet, potentially. So we're going to see if we've got if we've got a Bethany. All right, we're going in. <laughs> oh, God. This is all fine. Everything's everything's all A-OK. -okay. Whew. Okay, I feel like I get the first the first round, the random bullshit attack. That went pretty well. Okay, we're going to do a fancy spin. We're going to do a polite fancy spin. Yeah, I feel like you are definitely dressed like the like the right person, uh, to my mind. And, uh, okay, holy warrior. Love you hugely, John. Oh, love you hugely, John. Did amazingly with the fire giant until you lost connection. Then it all went wrong. But I feel like my, basically, Stars of Ruin spam is the right answer. That's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be Stars of Ruin spam. We're going to be activating Stars of Ruin spam, and you guys are going to be the front line. Uh, oh, wait. I don't really want to have a front line. But just any time. There we go. Now we give you a polite, fancy spin, too. Not sure if you missed the fancy spin there. One more fancy spin for you. Oh dear. Love you hugely, John. Failed miserably. We're summoning coal. Coal seemed to look like a badass. We're, we're going to summon coal instead. So, uh, I'm sorry. Love you hugely, John. Has definitely had connection problems before, which is very sad. So, last person in. Last person in. We tried our best. We got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Right. And now we're going to give you a polite, fancy spin. Hey. There we go. All right. Everybody in. Unless every anyone's a faith user. Everyone's a faith user needs to spend the next five minutes prepping. Nope. Let's, oh, never mind. That, that one person was a faith user and needs to spend the next five minutes prepping. So we might run into them later. Who flipping knows? All right. This is fine. And uh, all right. So someone's definitely going in with a sword. Maybe someone who knows how to parry. It's, 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 I mean, we live in hope. We live in hope that someone knows how to parry. And random bullshit, go! Random bullshit, random bullshit. Uh oh, not me. No, not me. I'm important. I can't die. I'm too important to die. Someone else draw the aggro. There we go. Oh, that was nice. That was good. That was good right there. And we've definitely got a faith user. We've got faith magic going on right now. And then. Buh, 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 I mean, I've got, to, I've got to not draw too much attention. Because if I draw too much attention, I get hit by the waterfall. That's up fucked. Um, so we need to know draw attention away from Cole while Cole heals for a second uh, that works. I need to heal up too. This is I mean she's taking She's taking a big hit. I'm gonna pop a moon on her if I can because the moon at the bare minimum means bonus magic damage Which I think applies to her. Oh did that did that miss? Oh who's she going for? Okay, she's not going for me, but I don't want to change her mind Bethany do what you can we believe in you. I'm not quite in rage. I'm not familiar with using the stars and go, 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 go. She's getting her health back. I think Bethany's in a lot of trouble. I think Bethany's down. I think we're down one already. You did your best, Bethany, but I think Bethany's dead. The game hasn't... Yeah, there we go. I think Bethany's dead. I mean, it feels... Bethany feels dead. I'm doing my best to draw her some attention away. Oh! Ow! 
Okay, there we go. Thank you for thank you for bonking. I feel like Cole's doing some excellent bonk here. Uh oh. I feel like unfortunately on this occasion, yes, the mega bonk is uh has worked against me. And oh, Bethany, Bethany is oh Bethany. Oh, I'm I'm in trouble. Oh, this is this is. I think I might need a team of magic users for this. And uh, random bullshit activate. No. Random bullshit, go! She's now strong. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh dear. Where's let me solo her when we need him? Dear, oh flippy dear. Oh no. Apparently, yes, she did waterfall to waterfall, which is uncommon and unfair. Alright. We're going to try again. And I'm going to probably prioritise... Yes, people who look ranged. And I, I know you're thinking, John, how do you know how they look ranged? Also, I'm going to 100% pop a rune arc. I've got 28 of them. Fuck it. We're going in. Uh, I think you can tell runes people because they wear, they wear fancy hats, not helmets. That's how you can tell. So we're, we're going to try again. We're going to try again here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prioritize what looks like fancy hat people. Like, oh, you see, you're wearing, you're wearing a headband of some description. That, that, that's promising. That's promising right there. That could be, that could be very promising. Yep, you know what? Ragnarok, you get to come in. Um, I'm gonna trust, oh, he's using a sword, oh no. John, you can tell, you, John, you can spot this. You, you can, you can see their loadout. You can see the loadout. So that is, that's a big sword. Right there. So we've got, we've got you. Oh, that looks good. That is, oh, oh, Katana versus Katana. Yes. All right, we're, we're doing it. Katana versus Katana, and just give everyone a fancy spin. Fancy spin, welcome. You get welcome with a fancy spin. Like how everyone just does the fancy spin too. I'm watching possibly some people don't have the fancy spin emote, so they're recreating the fancy spin as best they can. I'd like to think that was true. So, okay. And fancy spin for you. Okay, we've got the ultimate, we've got ultimate Katanas here. It's Katana versus Katana. This person's definitely got what looks like a staff to me. Is anyone a faith user and thus needs the next five minutes to... Ragnarok, do you need the next five minutes to prepare your faith incantations? Because I suspect you do. We all good? All right. Everybody in. Let's cock and go. Let's, let's flipping solo her. But like, as a three. Let everyone else come in first. And... Oh, we've definitely got a faith person. That's dragon magic right there. And... <laughs> Fuck you. Doesn't do that much damage. Oh, they're just... Uh, they're, we've got two people wailing on her right now. Activate Terra Magica. Activate one moon for magic damage. Because he's definitely got a magic sword. So that will actually help. And that was a hit. And that's... Activate random bullshit. Now lead them back into me. Back away. She's coming for me at the moment. Uh, which is fine. She's definitely being staggered a lot. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people who are sta uh, staggering her. Uh-oh. Back away. All right, and she's down the ground. She's taking a lot of damage. She's about to waterfall dance. Who is she going at? She's not going at me. Good. That means this is a good chance for me to heal. Uh, I think my thing is worn off. She got a fair bit of health back there. Random bullshit activate. I just love my... Okay, this the the the, uh, the, the, the random bullshit spell is, is quite excellent. But the team is... Oh, no. She just got some really good hits in an annihilated stake lover. I'm about to be destroyed too. I need someone else to draw the attention, please. Someone else needs to draw the attention for a sec. Is everyone else dead? Is, it, is everyone dead? I feel like everyone's dead and that's a concern. Because I, I think she... I don't know what she did, but she just killed everyone. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Random bullshit. Go. She's getting her health back by attacking me. Which feels very unfair. And she knows I'm about to attack, doesn't she? She 100% is pushing the moment I'm going for... That was a good dodge by sheer coincidence. But she's getting health back faster than I can take it down. I think what I need to do is, I need to do, like, one, one, uh-oh, okay, go, no, 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 what's she doing? Oh, she's about, oh, now I'm fucked. Well, that's me, dumb. I think Ragnarok just disconnected. Okay, I think, well, well done, bear. I was state lover, 1970, excellent fighting. I think, yes, what, I think there was one kill and one disconnection. Which was, which was bad luck. Which was bad luck right there. But I think we, that was going pretty well. Like, if we could have just kept up that momentum into the second half, that would have worked. So, alright. We can get some new people in. 
We're getting some, we're gonna get some lovely new people. And at some point, I'm gonna run out of these summony things. And who's we got here? We've got people with swords. We've got people with. We've got someone who doesn't appear to have weapons. I mean, that's that's so badass. I can't not I can't not summon that person. That person appears to not actually have weapons. Like going going into my like, nah, I don't need weapons. I don't need weapons. Let me solo her without weapons. I feel like that there. That's uh that's the badass person. Right there. Then we have got... Oh, hang on. I think I recognize you. I think I recognize you right there. I think that's that's an old favorite, isn't it? Fire Warrior Yol. Does that ring a bell? I think we've had Fire Warrior Yol before. I think Fire Warrior Yol gave a good attempt. Oh, we've got flipping daggers. It's cocking daggers and... I don't know what you're holding in your hand. I'm not sure what the other hand is. Oh, you've got... Okay, you've got a varied loadout. Oh, a la da You've got a very varied loadout right here. I, I trust someone who doesn't show up wearing armor. That's that's who I trust right there. So we've we've kind of got you know we've got the backstabby, we've got the ta oh, you know what we've got the warrior, we've got the rogue, and I'm the mage. We've got a party here. So all right, oh oh, we've got someone who's doing a thing. Okay, we we've got we've got faith incantations going on. We got faith incantations. Uh, all right, team. I don't know what, what, what incantation that is, but it's something. Oh, she's running in on this occasion. Sometimes she's in a hurry. Sometimes she's in a hurry to kill us. And go. That's... Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got the... Uh, okay, activate one moon. Activate one moon, then go over to random bullshit cannon. Uh, random bullshit cannon, go! Go, 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 Yes, random bullshit cannon. There we go. We need to all just draw the attention equally. Oh, who's she going for? Not me! Fire Warrior Yo! Do what you can, Fire Warrior Yo! We're trying to do Oh no, I think Fire Warrior Yo got got absolutely destroyed. And now she's Oh fuck! 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 I'm sorry, Chulio, I feel like I let you down. I I, I let you down, Chulio. Oh no. That was oh oh dear. That's it's okay. I I can't blame anyone for dying. I I definitely have died too. Like more than once. Oh dear. Oh Julio, you did your best. In fact, you, you outsurvived me. So you you could officially we could officially say, had I not been incompetent, you would have won it. I think you would have had it. Okay, I think that was that was uh entire, you would you would have 100 percent carried that if it hadn't been for me. So let's go for some exciting, sexy new people here. Uh, maybe we could. Okay, let's 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 try some. So, oh wow, that's a big sword. Pumpkin. Oh, it's love you hugely, John. Okay, you've got another chance, love you hugely, John. But if you immediately drop out and crash, I'm sorry, but I think we're gonna have to we're, we're gonna have to put our faith in the uh, yes, the more stable internet connections. So all right, let's see if we let's see if we've got yeah. And who else do who else do we have around? Who else do I like the look of? We've got, oh, that looks, that looks magey. That looks magey. That's definitely a mage. All right. Love you hugely, John. With your massive lance, which I do like. That's, I think love you hugely, John has problems, unfortunately. We love, we love you, love you hugely, John. But I think there are issues. Now, I think that is, that is, that's Chulio again. There's, there's a big pile of them right on top of each other right here. That is okay. We're gonna, let, let's go for the let's go for the badass line here. Let's go for the badass people who have got like you know all sorts of the, the big armor. We can go for the big armor people right now. All right, we, we we tried we've tried doing the faith magic. All right, let let's just go in uh, all swords blazing. Claire's gone to feed Tippy Mips. Uh, so we're going in right over there. Polite uh spin, obviously right there, lovely, and then. Off we go. Check. Oh, you see, that's good. That's Bethany. We had Bethany already. Bethany's had a turn. Uh, Tree Sentinel. Tree Sentinel's been here a while. Uh, I saw Tree... In fact, Tree Sentinel might have been the very first person in. So we're going to summon Tree Sentinel. So, okay, we got people in armor who are doing... What was that? And you go is inside that um, inside that candle there for a second. So, I've also, uh, Dolor is doing some excellent work here. Summoning Tree Sentinel right here. Give Tree Sentinel a polite, fancy spin to welcome them to my universe. And now, okay, the faith people are doing their thing. I wish I knew what any of these spells did, but I don't. You done with the casting? Okay, oh, we got to, we've got multiple faith people. They're all faithic. 
They're all doing their faith. Sometimes she's in a real hurry to get started. Sometimes she really takes her time. Right, Terra Magica. And screw it. Let's activate. Oh, it's, there's a lot of faith going on. The dragon, yeah, dragon lightning seems to do a very good job. Okay, everyone just ra toss random bullshit. Toss random bullshit. There's a lot of lightning going on. Right, let's get the moon on her. The moon's hit. That means we get bonus damage on the rest of it. Random attacks, go! That's doing, yeah, bonus, uh, bonus magic damage. Uh-oh. Oh, she's coming for me. I need someone to draw some aggro for a sec, please. Thank you. Right, she's close enough. I'm inside the effect. And go, 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 go. Oh, she's coming for me now. Oh, okay. I've got just enough shield to stay alive for the time being. But not for too much longer. All right, cool. I just didn't take too much damage there. Uh, yeah, we've definitely got... Oh, I'm out of magic. I'm panicking already. This is... I like the magic... I like the lightning. I like the amount of lightning that's going on right here. I feel like we, we've got a good team going on. I feel like this is working. We're just kind of... Just shooting her with 10 million bits of random bullshit from 10 million miles away. Which I think is working very well. And go, 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 go. Get over here. I think there's also consistent damage being done. So she can't really pick a... Uh-oh, who's she going for now? Uh, come on, Tree Sentinel, we believe in you. Try not to get hit, because otherwise she's getting her health back. Go, 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 random bullshit attack. Go! This is going pretty well, actually. This feels like this is going really well. Everyone's alive and safe for the time being. Random bullshit attacks activate. Well done, team. This feels like this is a good team. This is, this is an excellent team. So everybody prepare and run. I don't know who she's going to try. Ow, she nuked me. Go, Ado! No! Oh no! I'm so sorry! That was going really well until I fucked it! Ah! Oh, she just nuked me! I literally tried to get away from her! <laughs> <laughs> this team deserves a second go. This team deserves a second go because I fucked that. Oh no. That was going really well. That team had great synergy. It was let down by the idiot captain. That was a great team. I, 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 will, I will happily hunt down that team again. I will very happily hunt down that team again. There's Tree Sentinel. Alright, this was... Oh, fuck. Who was the other person on the team? Oh, fuck. Who was the other person on the team? Someone remind me who the name of the other the, the other team member was. Fuck. Who was the other team member? Uh... Tree, Sen tree Surgeon... Uh, tree Sentinel. Not Tree Surgeon. Uh, was who I summoned second. Fuck. Guys, who was the other person? I forgot who the other person was. I'm so sorry. I forgot the name. Uh, we need to find the same person. Uh, just get some distance. I tried to get some distance. I was literally sprinting. Oh no! Who is it? It wasn't you. Oh fuck! I forgot who it was. Uh, it wasn't Caleb. Yes, D yes, Dora, 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 something. Uh, Dora, Dora, Dolo. There we go. We're going back in. We're going back in. That's him, Dolo. Yes, yeah, sorry. I actually even said Dolo. Okay. We're going it again. This time... Okay, chat. What's, what should I do at the start of phase two to stop... To not be nuked straight away? What what do I do? What, like, do you... Is there a particular direction to run? Or do you, like, dodge? Dodge roll everything? Like, what's, what's the solution, chat, to that? Okay, round two. You all, you all get... You all get fancy spins. All right, before you get in... Oh, you've got a tabby. Alright, uh, her food's ready. I'm just gonna pop that Okay, okay, team. Let's do it again. That was a really good effort. Alright, I let down by me. Let down by my cocking incompetence. It was going really well. Okay, let's let's get a, a moon on her if we can. Let's get the moon, because the moon is excellent for just bonus magic damage. Got the moon, so that's good. Oh, blimey, that was... I think that was the madness vision that I've seen before. I can't see... Oh, she's coming for me! Oh, okay. No! Ow, 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 okay. I need someone else to draw a little bit of aggro for a second there. A little bit of aggro. All right, there we go. Good start, team. Tree Sentinel is clearly an absolute beast of a player. Tree Sentinel is an absolute, absolute monster. We're doing some good damage here. I mean, uh, Tree Sentinel's also doing a really good job drawing the aggro. 
And was that... Oh, no, Teresa! Oh, no! Something's gone horribly wrong! We've had a disconnection! No! Okay, it's it's just up to me and Era now. It's up to me and Era now. Random bullshit attacks, go! Okay, so now it's now it's just lightning. Oh, I feel like she's coming for me. No, she's not! Oh, no, Dolo! No, Dolo! No! Okay, this was... Okay, she changed target midway through, which was fascinating. Uh, the problem we've got now is, I think without, uh, yeah, without tree surgeon, we're in a bit of trouble on, uh-oh. No. 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 I got out of the way of the stabs there. I'm kind of getting used to her timings for the dodgers. Then knock her down. Random bullshit attacks go, and then she's trying to get in, and then I just need to get away. Uh, if Dolo could draw some attention for a second. Oh, that was a lovely attack right there. Really nice. Lovely, 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 lovely. Who's she going for? Oh, that's me, and that's a problem! We had a really good team. And then I just got nuked at the start of phase two. Absolutely nuked. Oh, no. We're so sorry. We're so sorry, Tree. I think that's possibly... Oh, dear. It might be... It might be T... Uh, uh, Nakanishi in chat. Who that was. Who tried to help out. It was... That, that team went really well, but I think we had a disconnection. Now, I think yeah. that I chose my timing to go cook dinner for Tabby real well. Because nothing's happened. <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs> We've come up with better strategies. We've come up with Yeah, better... now you can tell me about them. Uh-huh. Tree Sentinel, as Tree Sentinel is connected, Tree Sentinel gets to come back. We'll try, we're going to try someone else in the mix. Mm -hmm. We're going to let someone else have a go. Uh, which I'm going to do entirely on the basis of fashion. Obviously. Uh, it, it, it's always done entirely on the basis of fashion. Obviously. I think I saw a good mage at one point floating around. I might a second mage kind of uh, as part of the team. Just kind of going around looking for uh, people who look magey. This is uh, always always a good time. We've got plenty of mages dotted about. Was that? Hang on, that looked kind of magey. That looked kind of magey right over there. Uh, that's a shield. No, that's, that's shield of Katana. Uh, we've got, we've got, we've got a big person here. In fact, I feel like possibly tree. Love you stably, John. Yes, I think uh, love, love you, uh, love you muchly, John. Had connection issues and has now possibly, I don't know, got over from the Wi-Fi to a wired connection. So you get to come <laughs> in. I think tree sentinel might have disconnected. And that's love you stably. John has let us down again. No. Oh no, tree sentinel. Let's let's get tree sentinel if we can. If we oh, get tree dear, sentinel dear. in. We can get Tree Sentinel in. Uh, I think if we can't win in the next 20 minutes, we're going to have to call it tonight for the time being. Because we've anyway. got an early start tomorrow. Yes, Claire. Yes. Uh, shout, out to, uh, shout out to Alexander who gave us $5 and says, John, of course you are one of the baddies. Uh, your mask has a skull on it. It's true. <laughs> it, it, well, I'm not sure it's a skull. I think it's just a golden face. Oh, I don't think that's a skull. I don't know. But it does work that's... with the joke. Um... Mm -hmm. Possibly I'm the one having problems here. Because we are not struggling to summon anybody at the moment. Uh, I think possibly I, yeah. We might be having some... I don't know if the problem is now my end. I'll try a few more people. Then maybe I'll try resetting it by like going back to the, going back to the thing. I think I might be having problems. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Labyrinth, who uh, gave us $20 and says, I joined a Mass Effect D&D game where I'm playing as an Elcor Vanguard who enjoys musicals. Excellent. The story is not really relevant to the stream, but I thought you'd enjoy the mental image of an Elcor singing Poker Face on karaoke night. <laughs> Uh, what I want to know, however, is what is the... Oh, I literally can't. Uh, what is the word you use to describe the way the Elcor is speaking? Because Elcor speak by describing their manner of speech and tone. So what do you... How do you describe Poker Face when you're singing Poker Face? What is the, the uh, you know, happily, sadly... What, what Neutral do you... Neutral facedly. <laughs> Dear, okay, dear. And on. I also wanted you to know, because I feel like that will fill you with joy, as it did me. Yes. Um, that there was a... Ch uh, after, right after this comment came in talking about Mass Effect, there was a, uh, there was a chap in chat who, um, who said, um, 
oh, but has John ever played Mass Effect? Because I feel like he'd love it. Lol. And I was like, oh, have I got some playlists spamming for you? Can and I, I sent him a link again. to all six playlists Lol. that we have. Let's see if we've got anything better going on here. Dear, oh dear. Um, did you say singing at the start of each line? Ah, singing. Pa 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 poker face. Uh, d d d carry on, carry on. I don't know if we might be uh, forced to end this due to technical difficulties because we... Next Geno says you might have to quit to restart. Possibly, yes. Uh, um... We might be having some trouble here. Yes, okay. I'm going to very quickly restart the game. Uh, ah, interesting. Clap. Okay, so, um, uh, comment from Christopher, uh, who gave us £10, and says, I was actually surprised with Fate of Iberia, and that I couldn't just sit down and play it for a few hours. The struggles are multi-generational things, and it really requires at least, at least a mini playthrough. Yeah, I think that's the, yeah, which is kind of the problem of it, uh, because it feels like it, which is good. Like, the sort of thing that creates a macro multi-generational narrative is really great, but it also is very ill-suited to just a little showcase video. Uh, which I guess is the, uh, yes, is the thing. So, oh yeah, I'm, I'm full on network status check failing right now. Uh, okay, I need to fully restart the game. Hang about. We might have some trouble. I mean, I know the internet's fine because I'm live streaming and the connection's stable and I'm not dropping any frames. Mm, yeah. So I know the internet's fine. Uh, and it can't be scheduled maintenance because other people are applying to join my game. Uh, okay. Just give me a sec here. Claire. Yes, indeed. Um, okay, so our last message is from Camera Photo, who gave us £4.50. And says, hey, John, Tabby, and Claire, I hope you're well and enjoying Pride Month. Be loved, glorious, brave, true, and quintessentially positive. Uh, and there's a little pride flag. There are some excellent words in that sentence. I enjoyed it. Yes, indeed. I do like the word quintessential. Mm -hmm. Quintessential. Quintessentially is excellent. That's a good word. Anyway, mm -hmm. um... Okay, are you sure you're caught up? That you didn't miss anything while you were out? Yeah. That's fine. Pretty sure. Uh -huh. We do this. Okay. Uh, but yeah, folks, uh, if you have, uh... Yeah, she killed it. She soloed I, your I think, internet. I think Melania might have soloed my internet. Um... Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, but yeah, folks, uh, in chat, if you have any comments or questions, if there's anybody who, um... You know, uh, isn't able to donate right now because it's a wild time for everybody, or doesn't want to because you know yes. it is again a difficult time. Absolutely, uh, and plenty of people are supporting us in many different ways. You know, um, so if uh, if you still have something you want to say, you know, um, now is the time. I think unfortunately we're going to have to wrap things oh. up there. Oh, uh, having some difficulties here. Uh, Melania has done something. Uh, Melania has officially <laughs> has kicked my ass so hard it's broken everything. Um, um, mm. So yeah, <laughs> Mel Melania has soloed the internet. Hey Claire, what do you think John's game of the year will be? It's hard to say. She, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Mm. Definitely Card Shark. That'll be on the list actually. Yeah. Like nothing else because I have a huge admiration for games that. Do something weird and different and interesting. Yeah, like making a card game where like the entire card game has only clubs. Exactly, really where impressive. every card is the cl is clubs, which mm. is just a really interesting system, uh, narratively speaking. Like playing as a blind person who thinks everything is a club. Uh, <laughs> that's 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 key. You that's mean. that's the absolute key right there. So okay, uh, Melania has soloed my internet. Uh, well, the internet's clearly fine. She she soloed my game. Or something. Um, so we're going to have to... I think we're going to call it there. But that kind of uh, works. Whilst, um, mm -mm -mm. whilst uh, we are... Whilst, uh, I'm, I'm going to do the pet pictures if yes. you want to talk a little bit more. But I need to tell you right now. What? I went and put Tabby next to the food to let her know that the chicken fairy had been. Yeah. And she like immediately went and ate some. Is she still eating just like plain chicken at the moment? Or is she back on pouches? Uh, 
No, she's eating plain chicken because it doesn't take me half an hour to put a pouch in her plate. It does take you half an hour to put a pouch on her plate. Well, but this time it has one. One time you went to feed her and it was pouches and you came back 20 minutes later. Yes, because there was like four different medicines. <laughs> this time there's one medicine. So it does take you, you know, rounding up half hour to put a pouch on a plate. <laughs> um, John. Yes. No, I had to like take some... Raw chicken from the fridge. Ah, yes. Clean and a cutting it. board and a knife. Cut it into tiny small pieces. And this then cat. cook it. This spoiled cat. Oh, dear. Right. So, yes, we're going to wrap things up there. We've made it to the end of the hailing tree. But, unfortunately, uh, Melania has soloed me. Uh, and has, has soloed something. So, hopefully, we will be uh, back. I mean, maybe next time we do Elton Ring, we could do the Volcano Manor. And we could, like, you know, come back to Melania at the end. Uh, we'll have to see. So there will be more chances to, uh, there will be more chances Maybe to take on the lady. Maybe you can try and do that, um, whatever that monster was that you couldn't beat with help from chat last time, remember? The monster I couldn't beat with help from chat? Right, you had help from chat and we tried a few times to beat a monster that was, I think, like, a, some kind of a bug. That does not narrow it down, I realise. Um, Do you mean the giant dragonfly creature? Because we killed that. No, I don't mean that, because we killed that. I mean... It was like in a kit that does not... Oh, in a ca oh, a monster in a cave. Oh, <laughs> I know <laughs> what you're referring to. Monster in a cave to. in Elden Ring. Easy. Do you have fingers, Claire? Uh -huh. what, were we playing this on a day that ended in Y? Do you remember? Because that would have narrowed down a lot. On the day where Tabby was the best cat in the world. Oh, I yeah. see. I see where we are. So yes, the we'll gravity do... monster. Uh huh. Uh, gravity. Oh, that's true. We never beat the gravity monster. Thank you, Miss Jenner. The giant at the end oxen. of Celia Crystal, I think. Maybe yeah. we could do that before we go and try and solo her or whatever. I think, honestly, that's, that's pretty hard too, because that's a tiny arena. It's a really tiny arena, and that creature's got a bullshit air of effect attack. Oh, dear. So, yes, Millennia's broken everything. Uh, as we say, the anniversary video will be probably when the channel... The ninth anniversary will probably be when the channel's 10 at this rate. Just uh, like our 10th anniversary has still not been celebrated. Exactly. Technically. So, yes, the ninth anniversary will probably be a week on Saturday... Uh, assuming Tabby is all fine and there's no more stress that messes everything up. Saturday's video hasn't been recorded yet. We're a bit behind because uh, of poor little Tibby Mibs. Because uh, we needed a bit of time off to take care of her, obviously. Uh, but yes, uh, next Tuesday, the, this one I know is happening because I've already recorded it and everything. Uh, Trek to Yomi, a samurai game that kind of is very, is very gorgeous and is designed to look like a, a very old samurai movie, which is beautiful. It's an interesting game. It's beautiful. I've got some thoughts on it, which we'll, uh, which we'll be sharing next week. Anniversary next week. And, of course, uh, Empire continues as well. As for Fallout, there is a one-off this week. Might be a one-off next week as well. Again, this is kind of the whole tabby business. You understand, like, you know, we're not necessarily in the right mental place to to work our usual speed when Tibby Mibs is not healthy. Uh, I, and I we, think they understand. Yeah, and we we were really yes. worried for her, you know, her ongoing life. Uh, we thought this, you know, this could have been this could have been her final week. Um, so we, you know, we, we were we, we were upset. To spend time with her exactly. in case that was the last of the time that we had. So uh, Fallout might be two one-offs, uh, and then a new series in two three weeks. We'll have to see. Uh, and then anniversary should be next week. And then Empire continues. Empire, we're nice to head on. So Empire is uh, nice. And, and also, very excited. The most exciting thing of all, coming up in Empire, I start putting my howitzers behind my front line, not in it. Oh. I know. It's, it's, it's shocking. And I, in the, in the, the biggest let's talk all about the things that John got wrong, John discusses how farming actually works. Oh, God. I know. It's great. So... There's there's some good there's some good moments coming up in Empire. It's getting very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff right there. And yes, uh, oh, and as soon as I can get Chivalry Two, we'll look at Chivalry Two and the horses. Uh, Ali, a special special one for Ali right there, as that was like the second uh, super chat that came in was talking about Chivalry Two. I don't think I'll get early access to it because even if they did give me early access, who would I play against? Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Uh, there wouldn't be enough people to actually like maintain uh, big games. So I may as well wait till that's out properly, uh, which is super cool. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Wobble gave us two uh, dollars and uh, two pounds and says John got bads for repeatedly failing his team. <laughs> We no. had yeah, three cents no and a dollar era. We were we were we were doing so well at juggling, and then just when the second phase began, she just came down with the the bloom nuke, and I just got one shotted. Ah. Like I was literally running away and rolling away as fast as I can. But it was just like nope, dead. Yeah, from full health. From full health. Oh wow. Yeah, like and I wasn't. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I was I supposed mean... to do. Uh, so that was, yes, that was kind of bad luck. I, I think she's, I think she automatically begins every phase prioritizing the main player. Yeah. Like, in that this case, sense. the host. Uh, because you can see she's always walking at you first until she gets distracted by someone in the first phase. So I'm assuming it's second phase. She resets her aggression and attention and says, my target is the player. Yeah. And therefore will try and use the first nuke on you unless someone draws her attention super fast, which is really hard to do because she's flying. So thank you very much to the guest fingers. You all did as well as you could. We had some really good teams. Uh, we in the end we you know we had to we we, we did we did. This we is why well. big armor is important. Mm -hmm. Uh to be fair, says Unmorbid, she's been the bane of my existence for two weeks straight. Oh dear. Apparently she's she's tough. In all fairness, I think I can beat the game without ever beating her. I'm not sure we have to kill her. Like, I think if I just literally completed Phalam Azula or Faram Azula, uh, I think I can just, like, go towards the ending now. I don't think she has to die. I think my understanding mm. is you have to kill a certain number of demigods in order to collect a certain number of runes to progress. But I've already done that because I've killed uh, Renala and I've killed uh, Godric. And I've killed Radan. So I've already killed three. And I've killed Mog. Um, and I've killed the guy who's not Godric. The fake other real original Godric at the top of Lindale. I think I've killed enough people I don't need to kill her. I you can just leave her be. You don't need to kill her. her. She's 100% optional. Yeah. Uh, and you literally need to kill two bosses. But if you don't kill her, your pride will be hurt, says Joseph. In all fairness, there's, there's other places... She's optional, but that's quit a talk. In all fairness, there are plenty of other places in this game where I have just not killed things because just like, yeah. fuck it. I think there's one room bear at the bottom of a dungeon, like in an early era in Australia. It's just like, fuck this noise. I cannot be asked with this room bear in this tiny fucking cave. Um, there's all the... I've not completed a single chariot dungeon. One time I got down to the bottom of one, and it was one of those bloody flaty worm creatures that we took out today. I hate the bastards, so I said, nope, bye, don't care. So long, loser. Don't give a damn. Uh, not a single chariot dungeon has been completed. There are a few other dungeons dotted around with really hard bosses I've just not done. Like, I'm not going to 100% this game. Um, she drops a good-looking hat, though. Fuck. Right, <laughs> so, the, the fight against Melania continues next time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shout out to Random Ninja who knew exactly what to say. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you all so very much for joining me. Thank you to all the people who jumped in and tried to help me, despite my own incompetence. And thank you to the Super Donators, to the Patrons, to all you people who support us and keep this nonsense going. Uh, hopefully we can get back up to speed over the next week. Schedule might be a bit... Weird, you probably noticed card chart was a fairly short video. Uh, Trek to Yomi next week will be a bit shorter too. We've had to make some slightly shorter videos just because uh, we've not had as much time this week. So poor little Timmy Mibs. But she seems to be on the mend now. So if that continues, we should be able to, to get a bit back to normal. Hopefully we can get caught up and things can go a bit back to normal uh, next week. So yeah, live in flipping hope. And for now, we're going to go and have... What are we going to go and have? What have we got for food tonight? I'm gonna figure it out when, when Great. we're Great! We're gonna go eat food! Thank you very much for joining us this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, probably we'll have a little vote uh, for next week, but I would say on the docket at the bare minimum uh, would definitely be Dragon's Dogma. Uh, so for people who enjoyed that, keep an eye on that. Probably Dragon's Dogma versus Loot River. So uh, I, I think that'll probably be the vote. We'll see who wins there. And, uh, yeah, join us for stream for that. Elden Ring probably back in a couple of weeks as we start moving towards the, uh, the end game. We shall, uh, flipping see. So, hope you all had a lovely evening. See you next week and plenty of videos or usuals, uh, coming as well. Oh, and, uh, for those, I know a few people asked, 
Uh, podcasts watch this space. Um, like we've had, there's been various health issues with various members of the podcast. We're just trying to find a time when everyone is healthy, happy, and can do it. Um, so podcasts coming, uh, when we can line that up too. Uh, obviously I haven't helped that this last week because, uh, I've been very distracted myself. So hopefully we can get, uh, the new podcasts out pretty soon. So, uh, early access for that will be hopefully some point in the next couple of weeks. Uh, everyone else two weeks after that. So, uh, yeah, that's coming up at some point too. Thank you all very much for joining this evening. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we will see you next week. That will be absolutely marvellous. So we got everything clear? Yeah, yeah, we, I believe All right, in that and case, I, we're going to go eat food. It's going to be delicious, and we're going to go pet our tubs because she is the best cat in the world. I will see you all next ever. week. In the meantime, I've been Chum. I've been Claire. Many a true nerd. This has been Abbott Ray. Thank you very much. And have fun. Solo ho! <laughs> we failed miserably.